everybody, we're getting the stream all started. What's up everyone? You guys ready? It's fight time. It's fight night. Yes sir, we're getting this live stream all going. All right, all right. Today is the final official day. Get your predictions in, man, because we're a few hours away from the big fight between Devin Haney versus Brian Garcia. The time is the Haney Garcia fight in the UK. So, the main card just started. Just the main card, Scott. So, while I'm getting the stream ready, it's probably going to be three hours from now. So, whatever time you're at. So, but we're going to get the live. Watch party, some commentary, just kick it. Some boxing degenerates, so give me about maybe one or two more minutes, and then we're just gonna kick this off, man. So what's up, Mari? Streaming the fight? No, the fight is not going to be streamed. Unfortunately, we can't do that because I don't want to come down and strike this whole channel. But we're just pretty much just creating like a like a fight companion chat. A whole bunch of guys just coming in. Chatting, talking boxing, making last minute picks, reacting together, right? So, Hendrix, 5 a.m. Let's go, bro, bro. What up, Thug Waffle? Hopefully, the ring girls are fine, right? I mean, we'll see. We'll see what the zone's working with. Ugh. Yeah, we can't do that, Mar. And any any YouTube channel out there that says they are, nah. They, they are. Everything is a live commentary, so. All right, all right. Give this about one more minute. We'll get the show on the road, man. Finally, finally, we get Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia, man. Any any jitters? Any last minute jitters for me? Anyone? All right. Let's just get this going. What's up, everybody? It's Ron Goodall over here at FightHype.com, and it's officially, officially today, the day of reckon. Devin Heaney versus Ryan Garcia. Appreciate everyone coming in early. We're pretty much just getting ready to start the main card. So, if you guys are just getting off work, sliding in, you know, we're just pretty much just gonna do a live fight commentary. So, if you guys are looking for footage, if you're looking for us to play the fight, it's not gonna happen. But what we can do is we can react together. We can commentate together. We can kick each other's brains. And pretty much, this is the cool part. We got a couple guys at the fight who's gonna be bringing us press conference, live reactions, exclusive interviews, and we'll be playing them all in here. So, in real time, you'll be able to see me react and watch all the different fighters' reactions that you see at the fights. If you guys see the crazy tweets and the crazy Instagram lives that go on, You'll be able to see me work here and kind of go and scour through the internet and create these videos that you guys all watch. So we could probably make a community effort, right? So maybe that if you guys see any tweets tonight of any fighters talking trash or whatnot, let me know. We'll get the video together. We'll post it up. As a community, you guys will be my fight hype chat, my fight hype, I don't know, workforce, right? And we'll just react to everything. So but let me first give a quick roll call to everyone in the chat, all right? I appreciate everyone coming in early. We're gonna have a really pretty chill, cool time. Let me get the chat open real quick. There we go. I'm gonna do a quick little roll call to everybody. All right, all right. So what up, Scott? I know I answered some of these questions earlier, but I'm just pretty much just gonna just start reading down the chat. And just so you guys know, I will be putting everyone's comments up here. So if you guys got any type of breakdowns, fight predictions, you know, I'll be sharing it to the community. So are you streaming a fight? I answered earlier. We won't be streaming a fight. We're pretty much doing a live fight chat commentary. The main card just started. So if you are getting home, um, the first fight is going to be Charles Conwell. Charles Conwell is going to be getting ready to fight, which is a tremendously great talent. Um, he's going to be fighting Nathaniel Gallimore. So... Get your DAZN ready, 
All right, I saw a couple people said fire sticks or somewhere online, so whatever. Get it ready, because the first fight is about to start on the main card. So, um, shout out to Hendrix, Mar, Scott, Thug Waffle, uh, Bang Bang Boogie, what's up man, salute. Elijah, we won't be playing the fight, but appreciate you coming in solo. You got Ryan all day. What's up, man? Dominion, uh, Dominion? Damn, I might have just put your name, I'm sorry. Uh, Arizona boy, what's up, man? Ryan getting knocked out. You're always in the chat, and you're always in the comments. People always come for you, bro. Uh, what's goody, Brody? What up, Zion? What up, product? Never folded. What up, broski? Product of the trenches. First time on the chat. I appreciate it. So, just recapping quickly. My name is Ron Goodall. I'm one of the many few people that do interviews. I've been over here at Pi High for probably about, I think it was six, seven years now. And um, you might have heard my voice, but just never seen my face. So, this year, I'm deciding that we're going to probably go live. We're going to probably break down. I'm going to bring a lot of people doing interviews and stuff like that. Pretty much doing live fight companion chats and just hanging out with you guys. And maybe I'll probably start up like a call-in show, get some Zooms, yada, yada. So, but this is what this is. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Excited to watch it with you. Appreciate it, Justin, man. You know, and like I said, we're going to have a whole bunch of footage from our guys out at the Barclays Center who's going to get all the exclusive interviews. My boy Hans, my boy Kevin. So, um, appreciate you guys rocking with me. Right now, if you guys are coming in the chat, Nathan Nathaniel Gallimore is going in the ring and he's facing Charles Conway on the first card on the Barclays. April 20th, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, what up, Vibe? Yo, who you got winning tonight? I got uh, I got Devin Haney. Um, I think by default, I think it's safe to say um, the bookies probably got it right. The antics that um, Ryan Garcia has been having and some of the things that's been going on in his life has probably indicated that um, this is the safe bet for me. Um, how much? How much to the fight? Hold on. Okay. Uh, how much fight to the main event? So there's, I think about four fights. So it's probably gonna be from three hours from now. Charles Khan was just coming in, but what's up, Diego? Ryan with the Heineken power lift hook. What up, the alien? Uh, Coors Light uppercut. Uh, what time is the card? The main card is started now. So we got Charles Khan will walk in the ring versus Nathaniel Gallimore. So. This should be a good fight. The day scene. I agree. I agree. I got Charles in that fight. Uh, what up, 90s baby? I got Ryan early. Devin, if he goes the distance. I got Ryan early if he clips him. But but my main pick is going to be... Um, let's see. Verify another way. Um, I got Devin Haney. And I actually got Devin Haney by potentially a stoppage. So... Uh, what up, Jet? What up? Appreciate you, Jet. Um, sorry, I'm just logging into stuff right now. So if it seems like I'm a little preoccupied, try another way. Log into your tablet. Confirm. All right. Uh, Ryan wins by knockout 10th round, 50 seconds to go. Screenshot this. All right, everyone. Right here, this is Jet. Jet is saying that Ryan Garcia, 58 seconds left, 10th round. The most viral moment ever. If you do this, I'll make a video posting them. Fight hype. So, um, that's it. Time. Make sure it's you. Cool. Continue. Password created. Um, dismiss. Oh, okay. I think my chat just messed up here. All right. Um, what up, man? Did Scrappy Ramirez win this fight? Scrappy has not fought yet. We're just getting right into the first fight with Charles Conwell and Nathaniel Gallimore. The fight hasn't officially started. Just kind of just getting in the corner, getting the ring announcement going together. Devin and eighth round knockout. I like that. I like that. When our wins the Armando Sean fight. Big salute to fight hype, by the way. Can't believe I just described shameful. <laughs> Why? Why is that so shameful? Like, no, nah, man. There's a lot of channels I watch. I don't subscribe, but I appreciate you and hope to see you in the chat a lot because we're trying to just kick it just talk boxing keep all that negative stuff out but uh amando sean's fight is going to be june 1st on um nate diaz and masvidal's undercard so the dream uh devin has no knockout power stop being silly look tgb my 
my mind is telling me decision, right? But my heart is telling me knockout because I know that Devin has been notoriously known to not have these knockouts, right? But because of the fact that how this fight is being set up and my questions is more relies on Ryan Garcia, right? Um, Ryan Garcia's missed weight. Ryan Garcia has a lot of antics. And I was privy to see Devin spar for this fight. I mean, in this camp and work out and train a little bit. And I don't know, I just have this instinct that maybe sometime throughout the fight, the Devin's gonna slowly break him down and it really depends on if Ryan Garcia wants to continue fighting um, or doesn't walk into anything crazy, right? Because anybody can get knocked out, right? That's the first thing I need to really know. Anybody can get knocked out. Not a consistency of a knockout artist, that's different, right? I wouldn't really necessarily say Devin right now fighting uh, his peers or world champion he's a knockout artist, but it can change at any point, so. What up, Oscar De La Coca? Hey, chat, we hyped today, right? Today's officially the fight day, right? And still, you think any can uh, KO anybody? You're not watching boxing, but Adventure Castle. Like I said earlier, my heart is on the Devin knockout. Maybe not officially a knockout, like he's gonna knock him out. Maybe, maybe like a corner stoppage, a ref stoppage. Um, maybe Ryan doesn't continue to want to fight. So that's what I meant by knockout, right? Because if you go by the definite of knockout, it means so many different things. So let me clarify. I think Devin wins by stoppage. The way the fight ends, I don't know. But I think it'll end by some sort of stoppage. Um, Ryan's coming out with the alien, with an alien. I mean, technically coming out with, um, well, help Bernard Hopkins, so. Ryan by KO, betting odds. Um, uh, I definitely know Ryan's the underdog, so. Gonna be worse than Regis for Ryan. He better invest in this last check. Yeah, you know, I think, I think maybe if Ryan doesn't catch Devin early, um, this could be a pretty, pretty one-sided beating. If Devin is on his A game, and Ryan isn't, right? That's the big question. We know Devin's gonna come and bring his best. So I don't know what version of Ryan Garcia we're gonna get because we've seen Ryan Garcia in the Oscar Dorote fight where he tried a whole bunch of different stuff and it worked, but at some point he was able to catch Oscar. So the question is, can he catch Devin? I bet 10,000 on Ryan, easy money. Oh, damn. All right, I got the screenshot right here for everybody. Right? So everyone who's just coming right now, the DAZN card just started. Charles Conn was in the ring, and he's fighting the thousand of Gallimore. And right now, the fight is heating up in the middle of the ring. First round is about to end pretty soon. And it's pretty much a slugfest. Charles Conn was just signed to Golden Boy, so this will be his essentially first fight in a while with his new promotional company. And it seems like it might maybe be Charles Conwell versus Virgil Ortiz down the line. So, um... Charles Conwell is highly ranked in WBC, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, number one. And Virgil Ortiz just moved into Division 154, and uh, I think that would be a very action-packed fight. An incredible win for both, so. Um, what's up, man? What up, 99 Nova? Um, Ryan would knock out Haney in the third round. Okay. Um, fix this dock real quick. Fix the dock. Alright, perfect. Um, what up, Dets? Appreciate you coming in here. What time does it start? So the main card just started right on the first fight. So it's Charles Conlon versus Nathaniel Gallimore in the second round. Uh, the day scene. I said Haney because Ryan trained hard for Javante and lost. Gotta be fair from a watching boxing. Uh, gotta be fair from a watching boxing point of view. I, I mean, I don't think anyone who picks either guy is crazy, right? But... As of right now, I definitely say that Devin Haney is the, the favorite. I mean, Ryan Garcia by far will need a knockout to win this fight. And I think everyone can agree that Ryan Garcia by decision is a very obscure pick. Um, even more obscure that when people say Devin Haney by knockout, all right? Um, I think Devin Haney by knockout is very realistic. 
Um, Ryan Garcia by knockouts, very realistic. And Devin by decision. So, um, did it start? Main car started. So, let me see. Let me see. Turn down. All right. Um, what up? Oh, I got a mill on Ryan. <laughs> what up, Thug? Um, guys, what time does it start? So, look. I'm going to post a graph up here just to save everyone the headache and the questions, all right? Let me go to zone, Twitter, zone. While I'm looking this up, where's everybody at? Let's see. Um, who wore it better? Oh, man. The zone boxing. All right, cool, cool. Save image, all right, this is gonna work. It's gonna save me a lot of repeating. And, and just so you guys know, I'm gonna read everyone's chat, so I'm just right now momentarily just posting something up to just save me the repeated <laughs> question, repetitive question, all right. All right, let's just get this right here for right now. Throw this right behind. Tempranero is gonna put this up. I'm gonna template, this kinda looks ugly, but I'll leave it up here just so that I can get through the chat without having to repeat. I like chat, all right, cool. Let's do this. All right, cool. Does this work? Does this work? Can you guys see this? If so, this is pretty much the main card. So if any time anyone asks, has it started yet? You know, this is this is the card that you just point to. So the main card has started. Has the main event started? No. So, but right now it's the second round and Charles Conwell is putting a beating on Nathaniel Gallimore. And personally, I think Charles Conwell is an amazingly great, talented fighter who's just been shoved and going through different promotional companies. So I'm not surprised by what's happening in the ring. So. All right, Oscar, we hype. Urban, I don't know, it's already starting. This man only went views, haha, -ha, it's already round three. All right, well, we're just kicking in here, man. Live fight chat and watch party, so you can kick it in here. Mindy, Ryan and K 7KO, okay. I mean, look, if he can get a seventh round KO or a third round KO, I think it's still either or very impressive, so. Um, because I think if he knocks him out early, that means you know, he kind of got Devin in trouble. I think if he knocks him with seven, I think that would be Ryan coming from behind, personally. Um, no, p Dog won't be streaming the fight. Regis is uh, rigid. That's why he got rocked by Pillow Fist Heaney. He's looking like a zombie. I mean, look, I know the big thing is everyone says, yo, Regis progress. It's a lot smaller. Devin came in, rehydrated to 160-something pounds, and I get it, but... I think Devin is starting to mature as a fighter. I think Devin is a lot more skilled than the people give him credit for. And because Regis was this very strong, rugged guy, um, I think people were kind of surprised uh, that Josh Taylor wasn't able to drop him. So because of the fact that Devin Haney did, you know, so. All right, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, cool. I think they said the music audio was a little too high. Ryan got you all fooled with antics. What, Skrilla? Who cares about the WBC? We be crooks, belt, and sanctioned feats. Get the KO and breeze. Oh, 30 million, I'll fight Devin. I think I'll fight Devin for 200,000, bro. Like, shit. First round KO, you can bet on that. This fight is pointless. Just how is Ryan gonna get his ass beat fight? Killmonger, well, how do you have this fight? Do you think it's gonna go the distance? You think it's gonna be a knockout? You think a corner stoppage? What up, Shutlitz? Anyone wanna bet? I got Devin. There's some Ryan Garcia bets in here, man. If Garcia loses, um, him and Rowley have to fight. I agree. I uh, got the random Ryan. Ryan's gonna catch him with the left hook. TKO then. I think. I would be surprised. Does anyone have Ryan by dis decision in the chat? Because I personally don't think the fight goes to decision by Ryan. Ryan by stoppage. If Ryan wins, I'm going to twerk at the homie. <laughs> Great. What up, Kato? You tripping. 
Hype cut, 6.7 times odds for Ryan. Some good money, man. Um, Ryan has a chin, been dropped, but got up, back up like nothing. And that was against a gold medalist. This is very true. It's time for Devin to beat the shit out of the actor. What up? What up, Twan? Killmonger, if Devin can't KO Ryan inside the rounds, he's garbage too. Yeah, hopefully, let me know if it's too loud. I turned the music down, so I'm sorry. Devin's going to keep his distance because he knows Ryan has the power. I mean, I think early on, I think I think they know that Ryan has power, he's quick, he's athletic. I think they might want to take him into the later rounds and just kind of work him apart. Um, are you showing the fight on here? No, the fight won't be shown on here. Bro got the Street Fighter 4, correction, Street Fighter 2 music, but I just changed it. When is the fight, guys? Okay, so this is probably way before I put the graphics up. All right, all right. Let me speed up. Um, Garcia and Haney have some reach. Ryu versus Blanca. I'm a real guy. Uh, Ryu, man. I will play Ryu. Uh, what time does Ryan or Devin start? Sorry, it happened 420. Yo, if everyone out there smokes, man, ain't no shame. Blaze up. Enjoy your time. Watch the fights. Much better music. Appreciate it. Salute chat. What's up, man? Oh, yo, that's pretty cool. You got the Puerto Rican flag on the frog. Okay. There's this um, Puerto Rican song that um, used that, your name as it. I think it was a, I forgot, it was like a dancing movie back in the, like, the 2000s. Do it, New York Times, music's so annoying. Do you want me, all right, real quick, guys. Do you just want me to cut the music off? I just have it on in the background. So if the music is a little too loud or annoying, this is just a trial period. If you like no music, we can just turn it off. Um, TJ Strickland, what's up, man? Welcome back. Zion, Miami, okay. Las Vegas, that's where I'm at. Both fighters are getting knocked down, uh, plus 700. I don't see this fight going any other way than Haney decision, but it would be a beat down of a decision. Okay, okay. You can see that. A lot of pillow fists on the undercard, expect a lot of long, um, oh, UDs. So you don't only see knockouts. I mean, Charles Conwell right now is beating the shit. I don't understand your Gallimore, so. Um, but I expected this. Charles is a knockout machine. I mean, I don't want to get a little grim on this, but everyone talks about Matias as being like the boogeyman because, you know, he's killed a guy and um, things like that. So, um, Charles Conwell is literally equal of that, except for he just hasn't won a world, uh, he hasn't won a world title. So, if he gets an opportunity to fight for the 154 WBC title, he would literally be the Matias of that division. Um, Hello from Germany. Oh, nice, nice. Ryan's getting smoked. Is he really? What up, chat boy? Uh, founder Amsterdam. Is it already 2:30 a.m. Europe? Uh, I think Ryan comes out crazy and gets knocked down by the six. Ryan knocks Roly out. We might get that fight if Devin beats Ryan. So, how many fights before the main event? I believe four. We got tonight, I got Devin Haney by stoppage. Uh, I don't see Ryan knocking anybody out. Devin's gonna be too calculated to get the win. Is this fight here uh, on here tonight or ESPN? It's actually on DAZN, so everything's on the side right there. Haney's chin is up when he bends over a lot of throws, body shots, right hook could be a KO shot to the body. And head. Yo, okay, so Haney's chin is up when he bends over a lot and throws body shots. Right hook could be the KO shot to the body or head. I have a feeling, all right, hear me out. I have a feeling that Ryan Garcia is going to try some right hands. Um, I think because he's aware that they know his left hook, he's gonna try his left hook, but I'm assuming that Derek James probably is gonna have him work on his right hand in this fight, just to have a variety and kind of get Devin off his game. If they had a game plan, all right? That could be one of them. Devin KO, what up Kai? Um, Ryan by six, he's gonna try and beat Tank KO round over. What would you guys say or think if Devin stood to the middle of the ring and just started like trying to back him up? You guys see that as a possibility? Ryan takes the first round, uh, first three rounds from Devin, being cautious and probably stoppage by Dr. in eighth round from a huge eye cut. Okay, this is kind of on par what I have, right? I don't, I didn't specify on my eye cut, but I do feel like Ryan might Try to be aggressive early. Try to be um, opposing as well. Try to take a lot of risks. Very similar like Dev, um, the Gervonta fight. Um, and Devin's gonna have to be patient, calculate, keep things kind of a little bit on the outside. Maybe try a little bit inside, get some respect. So 
Um, Omar, what up? Uh, Nako and 10. Ryan's gonna lose, and then uh, they go, they're gonna say boxing needs better mental health evaluation. I mean, that, I was, I was talking to a few people, not my philosophy, and um, that the doctor, uh, this, well, all right, let me rewind, I'm just rambling up. It's in New York City. New York City has always been very cautious and careful about how they take care of their fighters. So even though the fight is made, right, the fight itself, can still be looked very concerning and caution and with a lot of caution. So I wouldn't be surprised that because in New York City, they always have 10 doctors in the corner um, that they could potentially stop the fight. And it could be a very boring, anticlimactic stoppage, not a vicious knockout, not a, not a, anything that the fans would probably wanna see, but to protect Ryan Garcia, that could be possibly something that goes on. It might be to talk of the town for a little bit too, especially if Devin beats the shit out of him. This is live. The stream is live right now, but the fight is going on on the zone. Um, and if you guys are watching the zone right now, Charles Conwell is just destroying the thing on New Gallimore. So, winner gets Sabrina Matias, the real king of 140, a pure 140 fighter. Everyone else is new. I would totally love Matias to get an opportunity to fight any of these guys. So. I agree. I would love to see that. Ryan fights the drugs and weight. Haney lost to Loma, Cambosis. Uh, nobody thought was elite either with pro race. No good wins. Would you give him credit for this fight? And if not, what fight would you give him credit, Tony? Ryan Garcia for the win. Guys, the fight started? Yes, the fight did start, right? It's all on here on the side. This is the time right here. Main card start time. Your predictions on the fight? I got Devin Haney by stoppage late stoppage it could be any type of stoppage so i live in the future how long to the fight uh you all reckon probably like three hours from now maybe maybe three and a half hours did the fight start no not yet dry um uh, it's an easy fight for ryan hasn't started yet okay um let's see that's cool i heard that song appreciate you knowing about the culture bro so the music is fine the vibes are chill appreciate you hosting appreciate it man you know, and like I said, I'm open. I see I got my man Luminous in here and said turn the music off. So if you want me to turn the music off, I can turn it on and off. Um, if it gets obnoxious, you guys can all collectively in the chat just say turn it off. Um, and I'll make the adjustments. Yo, what's up, Jay Spin? Gary Russ versus Pitbull, who wins? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about Antoine. I like that fight. I think I might favor Antoine, just because he's a little bit bigger, right? I think it would be an explosive fight, but Antoine's gonna have to be um, on point. So, PR, DE, boxing's dangerous. If you think Ryan's winning, you need to be in rehab like Rhea. <laughs> Ryan needs a KO, I do agree. Ryan, wow. can't read that, my guy. Uh, Devin Haney by UD, there will be a controversy in the fight. Either someone gets knocked down or a foul points deduction, I believe the fight will be dirty. Ryan would have to make this fight dirty, right? So, um, when is the fight? The fight, the main card start right now, and Charles Conway was in the range of beating Nathaniel Gallimore up. And you know, Nathaniel Gallimore has been in a lot of fights with a lot of good prospects. And this is one of those fights where I think it's just showing Nathaniel's age a little bit. And, um, and I think at this moment, it's just a matter of time if this Charles can land the perfect shot. Cause I'm sure in the doctors, this is a, this is a good fight. For example, right? The Charles combo fight. I want everyone to look at this fight. That's on the zone right now. This is a good barometer of what they may allow in the Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney fight because New York is notorious for protecting their fighters. And so if this fight gets a little bit messy, and the Charles Conway fight is already getting there. He's beating the shit out of Nathaniel. This will probably give us a somewhat gauge on what they will allow in the Devin Haney fight, but maybe more because of the mental quote unquote evaluation. So if they're letting Nathaniel get beat up like this, I mean, I don't know, the ref is looking really concerned. So they might stop this fight. Fight high, crazy bastard. Yo, what's up, Yoni? Welcome back, man. Pocket, what's up, man? Cheers, Ron, keep up the great work. I hope it's a good fight either or. All right, I agree. Uh, they did say meet in the middle. Do you think Devin's gonna step to the middle? Do you guys really think Devin's gonna step to the middle? 
I think those three problems of being more fit might have more of an impact than what people think, all right? We're gonna find out if those were three problems Ryan struggled to get off, like fat, or those three problems that he's like, fuck it, I wanna use it as a weight advantage. I think Ryan legitly struggled to make weight, personally, because nobody wants to lose that type of money. That's an absurd amount of money to lose on the scale. Ryan's flat-footed and fights with his chin in the air. I agree with that test, um, I agree with that. Uh, when is the fight? Probably uh, the main card started. Main event will probably, I mean, the main card will probably start in a few hours. Haney's the better inside fighter than Garcia. Garcia is the best at mid range. I'll see Haney trying to find openings and staying out the Garcia's range. Yeah. What up, Zion? Uh, I can see Haney getting caught in the middle round, but bouncing back from you. All right, so a question if, if Devin eats a good shot, right? Let's say Ryan, mm, and Devin doesn't buckle and he's just maybe he catches another one. Would, would you give Devin Haney credit for a chin? Or if Ryan catches Devin and Devin gets hurt, he has to clinch, would you still consider what many people felt questionable about Devin's chin, right? Because a lot of people say, myself included, that Ryan can punch if he lands it. So if Devin eats one of those and it doesn't phase him, does Devin Haney have a chin? Maybe that might be one of the questions of the night, right? It just depends if he even lands it. Um. But I mean, uh, Haney wins by uh, stoppage. I think Ryan quits. A lot of people have Ryan quitting. So um, let's see. Ryan's hardcore fans will def pull the mental health card if he loses. It's built in there, right? But to be fair, if Devin loses, the th I think the three pounds is the built in excuse. So um, it looks like Charles Conwell got the win by, I don't know if it was corner stoppage, but yeah, Charles Conwell. Got the, not the decision, but he got the stoppage. So let's see. Haney by Davis, fight of the year. That's a fight that I really want to see, but I don't know if we're going to get that, all right? What is the fight? Probably in three hours. Ryan's super twitchy. What up, Callan? I agree. Ryan is super fast, super twitchy. Um, Devin will wait and let Ryan think he's doing good work like he did to Progress. Progress was confident for the first half and then round two, Haney started to work. Yo, I'm actually getting more excited. Like, just reading this chat with you guys, like, look, if you think Devin's gonna wash him, if you think Ryan's gonna knock him out, um, I think right now, just the amount of people in the chat already lets everybody know that we're excited to see this fight. Um, just because it's just nothing better than big boxing fights, right? Would you guys agree? Like, maybe I'm biased in this aspect because I cover the sport of boxing, but when you watch your football games, you watch your basketball game, it's game five, you know what I mean? It's it's cool and all, but when it's a big fight, it's been built up, the trash talking, all the crazy antics, and it's officially fight night. You get your boys, you bring your girl who doesn't watch the fights, you come around and all of a sudden it's like, damn, this fight's actually about to happen right now. And you get the ring walk, the lights turn down and turns dim, like, I'm, I'm pumped. I don't know about you guys, but this is why we watch this sport, right? And I don't care what nobody says. Everybody says um, they're a boxing genius. They, you know, they always get things right. But we've all gotten fights wrong. And when the fight is not in your favor and you're wrong, that is the most humbling experience that you get in any sport. Because you have literally have no, you are creating so many excuses. But at the end of the day, you know at that moment, Especially if it's a stoppage, you're like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> He's getting his ass kicked. The truth, all the, the narratives and all that stuff goes out the window. When the guy that you picked is wrong, you picked the wrong guy and he's getting his ass whooped. Nothing's worse than that. It's like sobering truth at that moment. So, but um, for everyone that's coming in, the main event probably does not start until three hours from now. So three hours from now, the, the main event probably does, is probably when it's gonna happen. But the main event card has started, like the graphic has symbolized on the left side. So Ryan's gonna start out moving a lot and then he's gonna switch it up and randomly press the action. Um, let's see, when was the game start? Ryan wanted 50 cent to walk him up, but whatever he got planned. Who do you guys think will be the ring walk, right? I feel like Devin's gonna come out with someone from New York. Just, just my assumption, all right? Wouldn't it be kind of dope if uh, they kind of paid tribute to a little bit of New York? You always question who's gonna be the guys that walk them out because the Eminem, Terrence Crawford walkout was one of the unexpected, coolest walkouts 
recently. Um, if Ryan loses, it's not because his mental, it's because of lack of skills. I agree that I would have picked Devin by skill wise, but I think it doesn't help with both of those um, combinations. Um, Devin will never beat the shit out of Garcia. West Coast Gotti. You got Ryan in this fight, man? I like your icon. Uh, Haney does have uh, have bigger Ryan in front of him. Loma reaches smaller dudes. Devin looks like a welterweight to me. I wish that, I hope someone does a next day rehydration clause. I mean, a rehydration on the scale. Because I really am curious how big Ryan gets on the next day, right? Devin and Seven, what up, Cornbread? What up, Alan? Fight hype is on. Leave the music on, dude. Okay, so leave it on. Music on. Let's see. Riley, Fred, Dev don't want the Anton smoke. I mean, I don't see. I don't believe that. I don't see why. Why would why would Devin not want to fight him? It would just have to make sense, right? Boxing would have to make sense. Uh, Ryan doing it for clout. Devin to do for him legacy. Big round for Conwell. All right. Did you got any? Did anyone see the Conwell fight? I mean, by looking at the stats, one thirty six to thirty nine has been like this was a pretty bad beating. So. I personally want Charles Conlon to fight Virgil Ortiz later down the line. I think that's a big, hardcore boxing fight, and I think that it'll be a slugfest. And I think Charles Conlon is long overdue for an opportunity. He's been highly ranked for quite some time for a championship fight. So, Garcia to get disqualified. That is definitely a big, 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 big common opinion, Johnny. Um, what time is the fight going to start? Central time. Uh, probably three hours from now. <laughs> Where are you located? What's the time? I'm in Las Vegas right now. So, which, Javante Davis versus Frank Martin and David Benavides versus Alexander Goschek is going to be here in Vegas. So, I get to cover that fight. So, I'm pretty stoked on that. Um, but yeah, I'm in Vegas. Yes, did a fight start? The main event did not. The fight already started? No. Garcia to get disqualified. Yes. Yes, I am watching it right now, Lamar. Charles Conwell did his thing. 1.5 ain't shit. What up, Gustavo? I mean, like Ryan said, he got all this money, man. That ain't shit to him. Um, did a fight start already? No. Fight hype is genuine. A great company. Appreciate it, Yoni. We try our best. There's a lot of us out there, so hopefully we'll get... um. Some good questions, some good reactions for you guys today. Sometimes it's hard to get these guys to really speak their mind or even get them on camera after the fight. I don't see Ryan even landing tonight. He's too emotional and predictable. Look, Ryan has a, a huge chance of landing it. But at the same time, I just don't see him winning the fight. Is there a Discord to watch the fight? No, we do not. Uh, if Ryan catches Haney, it'll be tonight. So we're here to watch Conwell by stoppage. I agree. Oh, you were just telling me, yeah, yeah. Charles Conwell was good, man. Like, hopefully, you guys, all, all you guys in here had an opportunity to look at Charles Conwell tonight, because Charles Conwell is a legit top 154 pounder. Ryan and conspiracy theorists. <laughs> Danny Haney's just too boring of a boxer. Would you be impressed if Devin stopped Ryan? So, just asking you, not challenging, just asking. Uh, this man Ryan be saying thank you Jesus then cursing everyone out the next second like bro So there's this I'm gonna play it right um, This was pretty funny um, I don't know if you guys got to see the press conference, but this was Ryan Garcia On the press conference. Where's the before and after before and after? Okay. Ryan King Ryan Garcia <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus is King, King of Kings, King of Kings. No, okay. He is the King of Kings. Jesus is the one above all. Okay. How you guys doing? Hey, where's your mama at, baby? Where's your mama? Oh, I'm gonna go flirt with your mama. Ooh, she got me fine as fuck. Uh, yeah, I want some of your mama. I want your mama now. Uh, get, hey, get your, hey, your mama probably in my den. 
Fuck you, motherfucker. Don't talk about my mom before I fuck you up. Yeah, that fear coming in your mouth like a bitch, dog. I put my dick in your mouth, bitch. Hey, pause. No diddy. Pause. No. All right. Just, while I'm reading the chat. Do you guys think that Ryan's doing this on purpose or you think he's actually unstable? Because those were completely two different contrasting like reactions, like the before and after. Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of Glory. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Right, a lot, a lot of people right now. Uh, I'll say to people that wonder if you're ready. I'll put my dick in your mouth, bitch. Hey, pause, no diddy. Pause, no. There has to be a little bit of something. Well, it has to be a little something. But then again, you can say all fighters are like the right? So, all right. But yeah, that's exactly the clip that I was talking about, Joseph. Ryan first round. What up, Craig? For all y'all that keep asking, did the fight start yet? No, bro, not today. Appreciate you, Isaiah. You know, make you like my bodyguard in here, man. Ryan's faster than any other fighter he needs fought. The gloves are small and pros, too. Hmm. Is Ryan the fastest fighter that Devin's gonna fight? He might be. It's all about footwork, player. All footwork. Agreed, Haney by DQ. Nobody watching right now. I saw the Charles Conlon fight. Sean Combs stopped Haney with a body shot. Ryan's a huge betting underdog. He ain't winning unless he does the fastest line of go. Oh, yo, chill out, man. Joe Blow is the perfect name for you, though. Oh, man. Guys, uh, help your brother out. One time at the main event. Oh, man. Yo, I'm gonna make a graphic. I'm gonna make a graphic, right? Look, this, this graphic does not even work, right? Let me get a tweet. Ah, oh, my lordy. Main event, uh, ring walks. Ring walk. Devin Haney, Ryan. Let's see. Mm. I don't know. It just hasn't started yet, guys. Just For anyone in the chat, right? Let me just, help, if you guys can help me out. When people ask, has the fight started yet? Can you just message them, at them? Because I think it's going to slow down the chat for me to consistently having to answer each one. Of, and I really want to engage with every, uh, when I mean every single one of you guys, I do want to engage with every single one of you guys in here. So if you guys have a comment, I want you guys to be heard here on Fight Hype. But I just don't want the chat to be slowed down and I'm like five, 15 minutes behind on what's going on in the stream and kind of just catching up. So if you guys can help me regulate that, then it'll make the chat go a little bit smoother. And I don't want to seem like I'm ignoring people, but if I don't read it, um, I might read one here and there or throw it out there, but just only because of the simple fact that I just want to get to it. So um, just put in the title. Uh, if I, um, let's see. Uh, a Dilla, no, uh, Fight Hype's owned by Ben Thompson. If that's what you're asking, it's not, it's not what you said. Jeez. Um, all right, let's go back to the chat. Uh, Ryan by KO in the six called it. Uh, Ryan by KO in the six called it. Main event, probably around 11. Tough fight, but body shots broke down Devin P. Diddy. If Ryan Garcia wins, are you guys going to just spam P. Diddy in the chat? Nick Danny. All right, cool. Thanks, bro. Ryan already owes 1.5. For not making weight. I got humble with the Crawford Spence fight. A lot of people did. I actually picked Crawford, but that was really a 50 50 fight on paper. So it's that's okay. Uh, if these fights go fast, maybe 10 30 at, early, at earliest. Hopefully it's an early night. All right. Um, Haney by round seven UD. Garcia is a six to one underdog in the betting. Uh, damn, that's some good money, man. If you put Ryan Garcia, man, just slide like 10 bucks on there. Uh, what time does it start? Unexpected. They literally talked about it on IG beforehand. What up, Moolah? Uh, ripping Dipset. Uh, Diddy said Devin Chin is glass. <laughs> I'm afraid something wild is going to happen because so much has happened leading up to this fight. Natural fitness lifestyle. What up? 
You think a Mike Tyson moment is going to happen? Fire emoji. What up, Harold? Can't believe people are actually picking Garcia to win. It's not a... I'm not picking Ryan Garcia, but if it happens, you know, everything's going to be like hindsight now afterwards, right? Devin needs to build up to the TO fight after this. I agree. I want Devin versus the TO fight next. Boxing is the best. I agree. Why does Ryan do if he loses? Disappear, repercussions, huge special. I think he'll fight Roley Romero. I think the Roley and Ryan fight is still a big fight, all right? So. When will the fight start in Vegas? Uh, the main card started now, so I'll probably maybe like two and a half to three hours from now. Scrappy's getting the ring right now. Stoked for the Davis Martin fight, all softball war. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I agree with you, Red. I'm hyped. I get to cover that fight. I'm excited. Um, Tank versus Frank is off. What you mean by that? Not what I saw today. I ain't seen nothing about that. You know what I saw? Um, Javon, Javon, Davis. Okay. So, not to get that all confused. Frank, I mean, Javante Davis versus Frank Martin and David Benavides versus Alexander Gacek live at MGM Grand Garden Arena. June 15 on PBC pay-per-view prime video posted by Premier Boxing Champions. Fight's on, man. I don't know if that's a good thing for you or not, but yep. <clears throat> it's going down. So, um... Then the main card start. Uh, when do they fight in Louisiana Monroe? Does nobody see this graphic? Like, <laughs> do I like do I have to make this? Hold on. Fuck, dude. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I feel like chat's trolling me now. Right? Main card start times. The main card has already started. But I feel like the chat is streaming, I mean, trolling the shit out of me right now. Right? Y'all trolling me right now, right? Alright, so let me put this back up. Maybe you couldn't see it, right? Maybe it's too small. You said EU. Maybe it's just too small, right? There. All right. Um, let's go down. Holy moly, there's so much I gotta get to. All right. Ryan has a lot of haters. I do agree with that. Ryan might send Devin to the hospital. If he lands the shot, Alex, how many fights are wait to the main event? I believe it's three now. Are you actually gonna stream the fight here? No, Luigi. Um, yeah, you're talking about Ryan needs exorcist? I still think Devin wins. Two more fights? All right, two more fights away, King Red. Reed, I appreciate it. Um, once the fight goes on, we're just gonna get this chat turned up, so. Uh, you think Ryan is faster and more powerful than any Haney's previous opponents? Uh, yeah, actually, I do think... I think he might be faster than Lomachenko, but I think Lomachenko has better timing and better placement and uh, a more skilled fighter. More powerful? He might have more power than Regis because he has more of like a snapping, whipping shot. So, um, let's see. Haney's a nine to one favorite to win. Vegas ain't stupid. They don't like losing their money. I agree. I got Devin. Cringe King. Uh, Diddy stopped Haney. Guys, we're kind of the referee's going to have a job on his hands this evening. I agree. 
uh, kind of both. No Diddy. Chat's gonna have, say no Diddy if Ryan wins tonight. Did the fight start acting a, like a cringe king? I can't tell anymore on purpose. He's unstable but trolling at the same time. What up, Christopher? What up, Chris? Yo, real quick, guys. Chris is did, uh, he did a dope interview with um, Cormier Moulton. He also has been sending videos for Fight Hype, so shout out to him. Pride of boxing. I don't know Ron. He's definitely unstable, but I have a feeling Ryan could possibly get a KO tonight. That left hook. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, for anyone who says Fight Hype is biased, this is another Fight Hype colleague of mine that uh, does great. He did this great highlight. He helped me out with the Nate Diaz and Masvidal. So you're going to start seeing some of his great work here on Fight. He got Ryan tonight. I got Devin. So you can see collectively, we're just boxing fans. And we're all just here. And we're not, we don't have an agenda. So, um, but I appreciate you dropping in, man. Uh, bro went full joke in uh, Ryan has mixed personality and emotional issues. He's unstable in everyone's programs. Um, Let's see, let's see. All right. Whoever's the better counterpuncher tonight wins. I mean, I think Devin by far is the better counterpuncher, but Ryan might need only to land just a couple punches, right? Because he's known to have that whipping knockout power. Um, whoever's the better counterpuncher tonight. What up, Lamar? Again, he's trying to be like a UFC trash fight uh, talk. Yusuf, no, the fight didn't start yet. Appreciate you. Did he work? Works. Yo, that would never happen, but. Can you imagine if one of these guys walked out with Diddy? If Diddy did a, a ring walk to one of these guys? <laughs> Ryan Garcia wins by, oh jeez. Uh, 70 bucks is crazy. It's very expensive, Super Cat, right? It's very expensive to be a fight fan. Um, guys, where to watch his, uh, watch US with the sauce. If you think Ryan's good as Devin opponents, you are a casual and just Ryan. I think Lomachenko is by far Devin's toughest opponent on paper, even with the Ryan Garcia fight. I mean, if he was able to get past Lomachenko, I would kind of find it hard for him to not get past Ryan Garcia if he doesn't get caught. So, um, Ryan, Jesus King, I'm going to F you up, F you up, blah, blah, blah. What is this? That's Ryan Garcia, Kurt. That was literally Ryan Garcia within like 10 minutes apart. Um, did he's going to find Ryan after the fight? Uh, what is the fight? Uh, it's easy to troll, not hard for quick minds. If Ryan wouldn't be acting scared. People wouldn't be hesitant to buy the fight. Ryan's going to start fast. Don't expect a slow start. I agree with you. Tonight, it's a spiritual. We got Oliver. Just, yeah, it, it became a religious war. I mean, a, a religious thing. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. King Reed, Ryan was finished before fight started. Coke is hell of a joy. <laughs> Without even name dropping, choosing strong, fast, has a proven chin. Um, what up, Black? Devin's going to put on a masterclass performance. This might be the fight. This might be his infamous... Floyd versus Gotti fight that, you know, a lot of fighters want. But that's only if Ryan, you know, doesn't knock him out. Uh, where can we, I got 300 child support money in Garcia. Don't play with your child support money. That's that's some good high quality uh, baby formula, man. I just got a, I got a, a six month old, so I know about that. Don't, don't, don't be doing that, man. The baby mom be pissed. Just put in the title. Oh, you're talking about the time? I mean, I don't know the exact time, so it's probably going to be. Fight Hype is not... Oh, yeah, I answered that. It's ran by Ben Thompson, which you might be able to see next week. Maybe I'll give you guys a little... Um, I mean, I, it, it's just, it is what it is. You need mods. I mean, I, I don't... Like, there's a lot of boxing chats out there, right? That have... Um, how would you say it? That block people. And I don't really want to turn a chat into... Like, if there's something that people don't disagree with... So be it. You know what I mean? This, I mean, to be honest, this chat has been really cordial. There hasn't been any, like, race and disrespect. Now, I'm only speaking early. Once the fight's over, there's probably going to be a lot of race, you know, comments in here. There's probably going to be a lot of um, religious uh, battle comments in here. So I just want to let you guys know we don't, like, want to get into the point of, like, modding and cut people out because we do value people's opinions to speak their minds. Just keep it respectful, you know, even if your guy wins or loses. So, um, pin a chat, put in a title, no mods. What happened to the sport? Oh my gosh. 
It's a while now, right? Stay motivated. But you can say it back then too, right? There was like Mike Tyson and, you know, I want to eat your children. Respect to Mike though. I want no smoke. Um, don't bet your child support, dummy. You're getting locked up. Placing loser bet. Is anyone betting on this? Got too many nerves to bet, man. I'm a bit uh, down that Ryan missed weight. Belts aren't as important, but Ryan needs to look good. All right, so for a lot of guys who's probably like new to boxing or understand the boxing business, right? Belts don't matter. Like, it's gonna sound wild, and it's not to disrespect any of the fighters, right? Belts don't matter in this particular time in boxing. Um, and even when you have the belt, it doesn't really necessarily determine you're the best fighter. Belts are a great marketing thing where it lets fans and people go, hey, he's the best fighter, we should watch him. But time and time again, we know that f certain fights aren't made or certain opportunities are created for people to get the belts. So by all means, belts don't matter. But when you are fighting, it would be nice for you to get a belt. It would be nice to see you actually raise, uh, rise to the occasion and show the world that you have some sort of level of championship um, pedigree. Even if people don't think he's number one, that's what you got into the sport, right? To become a champion. But on the flip side, you could have been a 15 time national champion. You could have already been like, I, I already know I'm good. Now it's time to get that money. Because like Tank said, prize fighting, right? Like Floyd says, prize fighting. Like anybody says, Jake Paul, um, at the end of the day, what I say, legacy don't mean nothing, um, belts mean nothing if you can't feed your family, you know, money feeds your family, belts don't feed your family, you know, so, but it is a little disappointing though. Uh, Garcia Boxing, sup bro, what's up man? What up Zion, what do you think about the video of Ryan practicing kicks? No comment, no comment Zion. Uh, Arthur, the boxing book champion, is watching from Far Banks, Alaska. Uh, is that you? If that if that's the case, shout out to you. I'll Google um, Google that book, man, and maybe um maybe I'll check it out. So appreciate you showing up, uh, A Dilla. All right. Um, nah, man, we can't stream the fight on here, man. Uh, Ryan is just there for the money, like his team. He misses weight on purpose, not to even have a shot. Um, let's see. Let me mod for you, bro. So you've been subbed for two years to your channel. So, I mean, it's not quote unquote my channel, but I don't know. I don't really think the modding thing needs to happen. You know, we're just kind of skimmed through. Uh, everyone's always hating on Devin. I mean, people hate on both fighters, so I'm not, but a lot of people do hate on Devin for no reason. Diddy's going to fight Ryan after the fight if Ryan wins. Devin will no doubt will, will win, no doubt. But if Ryan starts shouting no Diddy, then Bruley knocks out Devin, lol. That would probably be worse than Antonio Tarver. Worse than Antonio Tarver saying you have any excuses, Roy. Let me let me read hold on, hold on. I don't even have this. Oh, I'm sorry. What if Ryan starts shouting no Diddy, then Brutally knocks out Devin? Chat. This would probably be the most vicious and the most devastating way in 2024 to knock out an opponent. If Ryan did this, this would probably be extremely viral. <laughs> My take is Ryan has um, the puncher's chance. However, when Javante Davis fought Ryan, Ryan couldn't land his left hook, and Devin is the best boxer out there. So Haney by late stoppage, Ryan early stoppage. I agree with you, Alan, to the T. Um, not a stoppage, I don't know how it's gonna be stopped, so Ramirez fighting right now, gonna be a banger. Yeah, I had this on on the, on the side. Do you guys have, um, what do you guys think about Scrappy? Scrappy's definitely the A side. He's viewed as the guy who's Gonna be fighting for world champion. Golden Boy's putting a lot into him, so. Devin looks like Diddy Kong, one shot kill. Devin showed. Um, yo, you know that the handheld thing you are using right now? Use that same thing to keep up the time of the fight. That's 
I mean, the fights can drag out. The fights could be, so, they could be any time from now. But it's gonna happen like probably two, two and a half hours from now. Uh, can't wait to eat, Ryan. What do you mean by that? Ryan lost me as a fan, he's disrespectful and a liar. Thank the Lord. Yeah, he's really, definitely pissed off a lot of people. I think this is a mismatch. This match is planned and Ryan will win because there are a lot of money behind. So you think this fight's rigged? Do you think this fight is rigged if that happens? I don't really think boxing's rigged like that. I just think that crazy shit happens in boxing. And that just be one of the crazy things that happen into the sport. Um, let me see. If Ryan loses, he might go missing for a while. He might. This might be a mental breaking fight, depending if he loses really bad. Is Ryan fighting today? Yes, he is. Um, fight is real, universal, podcast. He, he deals with all the questions. <laughs> we love it. I'm trying. Look, like I said, we don't duck no chat. So you could put whatever you want in here. We don't duck the smoke. You can go to all the other channels and all the other podcasts that ignore. I'm not throwing. No, look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna bash. Right. I was about to. All I'm saying is here, we will read the chat, good and bad. So, but yeah, type whatever you want, man. I'll pull it up. Ryan, rolling Ryan is what is needed. I think that'd be a great fight, right? I mean, yes, Roly fought Pitbull and Ryan's fighting Devin, but if Ryan loses to Devin, they could still fight. It just won't be for a title. And do you need a title for Ryan versus Roly? Nope. So, it's 5 p.m. Los Angeles. What happened? Uh, just the main event just started. I mean, the main card started. All right. So I'm going to read the chat. Just bear with me, right? Um, I have a six month old. I got to wrap my little one up. So give me about literally probably like two minutes, literally two minutes and I'm going to run right back, but I'm gonna have the chat up. So, um, I'm gonna put my be right back screen on, keep the chat going. All right. I have the chat on the side right there. So. I'll be right back. Just a quick short intermission. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Appreciate you guys all sticking in here and staying with me, man. I know these dead screens can be a little boring, so. All right, but while I was out there, right, I wanna show you guys something real quick, all right? So at the Nate Diaz versus Masvidal fight, I bumped into Henry Garcia because um, his other son, Sean Garcia, is gonna be fighting on um, Nate Diaz versus Masvidal. So Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia obviously shows up, right? Guess what I got? Guess whose shirt this is?
right? <laughs> you already know whose shirt this is, right? If you've been following boxing for the last few months, you know whose shirt this is, right? So, if Ryan Garcia wins tonight, I will wear this shirt. I will wear it not just um, about two hours for the fight to start. I right, appreciate it. That's that's the that's the big missus right there. So the missus is the mod. But um if Ryan Garcia wins, I will wear this all week. All week next week. Because I picked Devin to win the fight. So it's kind of like an eat crow moment, right? I will wear this shirt. If De if Ryan knocks out Devin, I will put this shirt on immediately. 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 And wear this all week. Every live stream all next week, I will have to wear it. Free the children. Ryan Garcia shirt. Okay? Everyone, that's a bet. I'm betting everyone in here. That's the Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney bet, right? So, um, maybe that might be a thing. If I pick and I eat and I, if I'm wrong, I buy the other opponent's shirt. That might be the thing. This one was actually handed to me by Ryan and him, so. I'm keeping on my word, right? I'm just saying, I will, I will honor that bet. It's like a, <laughs> but that's only if he wins. That's only if he wins, all right? So I, I don't think he's winning, but I got the shirt, so. Um, all right. Thanks, a much harder fight than Haney. Um, in the beginning, Ryan displays a, fl a flurry of a oh, agile boxing movements, uh, exhibiting his dexterity and speed. However, as the fight progresses, he abruptly switches to more aggressive approach. Damn, bro, you made me feel like I can't read. Like, <laughs> like Dr. Seuss, like, great breakdown, by the way, Tim. It was me struggling. Um, Two o'clock, fight hype's not biased. I appreciate it. We try not to be biased, right? Fight won't happen. Don't don't say that, man. The fight's gonna happen. Ramirez or Semenis is on right now. How do you see the fight right now? I I'm waiting for Scrappy to do his thing, right? Because everyone's praising Scrappy to be this next top guy in the little weight classes. So thanks for the live stream. This is better than radio broadcasts of yesteryear. Appreciate it. Stay motivated. We're just trying to have fun, right? Like, there's a lot of super serious podcasts out there, and I just wanted to keep it just fun, laxed, right? We don't have to be so intense, you know? But when that main event goes on, oh, yeah, we're going to be rocking in here. It's going to be fun. Um, uh, honestly, I think Ryan might give Devin a knockdown, and Devin gives Ryan a master class. Would you, would you be, if you picking Devin to win the fight, would you be upset if, by any means, Ryan knocks him down, right? Would you be a little bit disappointed? You know, you could be honest, right? There's no, not like, you know, I think I think a lot of people feel that Devin's so much better that a knockdown is a little disappointing. But on the flip side, it's boxing. Ryan does have the power, so. Um, let's see. Bet no contest. I hope not. Y'all know what time, hopefully it's not a first round KO. If it is, it's an early night, man. My name's not. <laughs> Bro, if you really have some more money, I don't know if that's pointing to me. If I said your name wrong, I'm sorry. Bro, if you really have some money, more money, bet as much as you can Garcia win by knocking the sixth round. Damn, that's pretty confident, Nisty. Don't, stay in the chat, okay? Everyone who really believes in Ryan Garcia and Ryan loses stay in the chat and vice versa if you really believe in Devin stay in the chat I got all your guys I got all your comments up here so in just a matter of time honestly this fight should be in San Francisco Miami land fight should be in Vegas but if you really have some more money um, let's see in the beginning Ryan displays a flurry of agile boxing movements oh yeah I just read that down the poll really said 60 wait our poll says 60% Ryan Garcia Oh shit. Am I tripping? Hold on. 
Damn. 61% Ryan Garcia? Oh, shit. Well, we know who the people's champ is in here. 61% people voted for Ryan Garcia in the poll. Let's go, Ryan. Salute. What up, D Block Diaz? Oh, man. There's a lot to get to in this chat. Um. Let me see. All right. Haney got an advantage on Oxygen Tank, three or four fights. Okay. What up, Ramon? Yeah, I know, but there is some money in here still asking about this. Oh, you can leave them off a cliff. Haney, first six rounds, 100 on. Haney, Rabbit punches Loma a lot in the clinch. This might be a key in the fight, clinch fighting. I mean. I think there'll be a little bit clinching, right? No Diddy, I'll be streaming the fight. <laughs> Philly show is not going to work. Ryan's Philly show is not gonna work. Um, Ryan's mad he didn't get invited to Diddy party, so he told Diddy I'm not zesty enough for you. You're crazy. I don't think Ryan can take Devin's new uppercut. Oh, okay, you see you see Devin landing some uppercuts in here. Devin has been doing some, some Crispy uppercuts, I'm not gonna lie. Haney's gonna run around. He don't want want to stand and fight. Uh, rip and dip shit, zero, five, nine. Taking body shots from Diddy outside. Y'all crazy with these Diddy comments, man. Y'all just wanna troll me. You just want me to read Diddy, don't you? Um, gotta love Ryan Promus goes to the top of the game. What up, K9? Um, somebody's going night night. You think, you think Devin puts him to sleep like that? Like night night? Uh, what's good fam? Will we be able to watch the fight with you? Yeah, I'm gonna be here. I won't have the stream, so it won't be like, I won't be broadcasting the fight, but this is what, this is like a live fight chat. Build some friends, hang around. We're gonna get a lot of exclusive interviews too tonight. Just remind everyone, we're getting a lot of exclusive interviews tonight. We're gonna post it. We're gonna have the post conference. So I'll be posting We'll be posting everything outside the fight. We'll be having post-conference footage. We're going to be breaking down reactions. We're going to go on Twitter. You already know Tank's going to be tweeting. Shakur is going to be tweeting. You know, um, Teal might be tweeting. Like, all these guys are going to be watching this fight, all right? For the good and bad. Roly. So, we're going to be here in real time together. And we're going to be making videos and posting all that stuff. So, smelling salts on a standby. Damn. What up, Smitty? I hope Devin brings out the best for Ryan. We see a fight deserving of a legit rematch. I agree. That's a that's a positive way to look at it, right? Let's say that the fight isn't a mismatch, and then you actually do bring an entertaining fight. Then we don't have to sit here and dwell on the idea of like, oh, this fight's not good. Ryan's not mentally unstable. So, um, they would have caught a Rico if, if Diddy walked him out. Every time <clears throat> I see Diddy, man, I'm set up. Y'all setting me up with these Diddy comments. Um, let's see. If I hype this guy on the podcast, amazing. I appreciate it, Yoni. Um, Diddy or Diddy not? <laughs> Poor. Devin's going to kill Ryan calling it people. How much time is left for the fight? Um, all right. Holy moly. There's so much in this chat. Um... Watch the fight in the bar. What times? No side shows. Has it started? True champions. It's gonna be KO. All right, Marshall. What up, Marshall? I'm gonna skim around a little bit in the chat because I, I gotta get through this. This is a lot, and there's a lot of like, when does the fight start? Um, Ryan's got the hype, but Devin got reached two inches. He's gonna play it slow. What up, Paradise Island? Devin might get rocked tonight. That's what a lot of people are saying. Um, Ryan's going to fast. The undercard's weak. You know, I'm watching the Scrappy fight and I'm not scoring the fight. It's round seven right now. Are you guys impressed with the performance at the right now? I don't, I'm not 100% aware of what's going on. Let's see. Ramirez. Score card. If so, what do you guys have? Ramirez, uh, 
okay. I'll just have to get on my boxing Twitter and see what they're saying. Um, what up, Kim? Players, both fighters make it safe to their families, but should be a banger. I agree. You know, we don't want anything to happen to these guys, right? So, Devin feeling, Devin's finna work, Ryan, Jonathan Wise. I got Devin. I got Devin late round stoppage. Does the fight start at three? Hello from Oregon. I've never been there, but I want to one day. Haney would win. Mr. 704, I agree. Um, just so you know, guys, this is your receipt. If you got a friend that's at home, like, yo, man, you didn't bet that. You didn't pick that. This is your receipt, man. I'm going to be your guys' receipt. After the fight build up, I'm a big fan of King Ryan. Alex Haney's the weakest fighter in history. Yo, chill out, man. You talking about power wise? Ryan by knockout. King Ryan's boxing a superstar. Uh, Ryan's not patient. He's gonna be his weakness. <laughs> Get your ass in the car, drive to the bar, and watch the damn fight. <laughs> it's gonna be over. It's not going five rounds. Are we gonna see the fight? What up, room? What up, cousins, gangster? How much more time is gonna start? Haney's born is F. Would you be impressed if Haney stopped, Ryan? What, what would it take for you to be a, a Devin Haney fan? Just curious. Haney lost alone. We can't change my mind. What up, Millie? That was a close fight, you know? Um, I, I saw the fight going either way. I wouldn't be mad if people thought Loma won. I wouldn't be mad if Devin won. I wouldn't be mad at draw. So that fight really was a very great fight. And that was personally fight of the year for me last year. Even though no one didn't get knocked out or nothing like that. So... I don't, know if, uh, I don't know if Haney even wants to win, though. He might give it to him. I don't know about that. What? Ryan Garcia versus Devin starts at 10-15 CT. Thank you. Appreciate it, man, for helping. Uh, when did y'all start doing live streams for Fight Special for pay-per-view? We've been doing it for a little bit, I think. I think for probably like a couple of years from now. So, you know, collectively here at Fight Hype, just a lot of us. So... Um, anybody have a link to the fight? Uh, can we see? Blah, blah, blah. How much time is going to start? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. All right. I'm going to skim through the chat. Fight's already started. When is it? Uppercut. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm just going to start from the fresh of the chat because there's a lot of... All right. I'm all caught up. There's a lot of like, when does it start? When does it start? All right. The main event. All right. Let me click this damn pad. All right, we'll get this right. The main event starts about probably two hours from now. The main card has already started. So we're in here. We're kicking it. We're hanging out with you guys. You guys hanging out with me. And once the main event starts, that's when we're all going to be able to really communicate, chat, talk, break down, react, round by round. And I want you guys to give us your um, your predictions. Give us who you thought won the round. I'm actually gonna have a scorecard. You know, I'll be doing like a live by round uh, breakdown. Um, let me see. And just so you guys, if you guys are curious, how I'll be scoring the fight, I just Google this website called um, fight-score.com. Not affiliated, not sponsored. Just seemed to be pretty easy to. Um, Let's see. So I'll be doing a round by round scoring with this. And with this allows me to pick knockdown, who won, score 10, 8, 10, 9, and put in little notes like who is more effective, effective counter punching. So by the end of it, I can go back and see if I was fucking crazy or I was dead on right. So I'm seeing Ryan landing a very powerful shot on Devin. I mean, and I mean, well, I, I mean, dude, it's almost to the point where I'm just so antsy. I just want this fight to start early, right? We've been waiting for this fight forever. Um, but if he does land a powerful shot, does Devin go down? Is that what you're saying? Or... Um, it's like a car ride, right? Mobile to mobile. Are we there yet? Yeah. Right now, watching this scrappy fight has not really... Um, Caught my eye or attention. There's a lot of defensive flaws I see that's going on with him. And personally, 
uh, with the lower weight classes, with, with some of the lack of defense and a lot of the punches. You know, all it takes is a guy like anyway who's slick and defensive land a good shot to get these guys out. So I want a little bit more defense from Scrappy. Garcia is going to win. Smoke. Do you do round by round punch action? What up, Joker Tech? I'll do one for the main event, all right? And I might maybe do one for Arnold Barboza. So lately, I've been getting Adrian Broner kind of vibes from Ryan. You know what I, that means. What up, Penalology? I mean, a little bit, right? I I actually think there's a little bit something that's going on with Ryan though. Ryan's a little scared. Oh, that's what you probably meant. All right, my bad. It took me a little bit. Yeah, there's a little, there's something going on. So, uh, Garcia stopped end of the fourth round, profuse no bleed. Um, from Ruta to Tuta, I like that. <laughs> Ryan is handicapped. Do you say that by like mentally handicapped? Ryan was showing, you see Jim Lampley interview yesterday? No, I did not see Jim Lampley's interview yesterday. Uh, what was um what was in that interview? Ryan Garcia, you have to win. I saw Ryan knocked out cold in round six. Late in Cali. Me and Alicia are chilling right now. It's a date. You stupid. Hey Dilla. Ryan's a switch hitter. You think he's gonna switch it up? Like how Cambos has tried to? I listened to humility and what uh what was best? Just turned it on. Who you guys got winning versus Scrappy and Jimenez so far? What up, Herb IQ? Um, I'll be completely transparent. I've been reading the chat for most of the time. Um, I was hoping to kind of see Scrappy to kind of get this guy out pretty quick, but I do see it kind of being a little rumble and tussle. Um, I know that he's getting ready to get ready for a world championship fight, so. Um, but. I don't know. I, I would I would probably say he might be up a little bit just from what I'm watching, but I'm not scoring, so. I'm not necessarily asking if Garcia can win or not. What up, James? But because that is always a possibility, but how realistic that he's faking his current behavior? Mm, I just don't think it. I don't, I don't think he's faking it. I mean, and even if he was faking it, I think there's still some sort of elements of mental concern with the idea of faking it. If that makes sense? So even if he's trolling and he's putting on some sort of act, the fact that he's going into this position, I think there is still some sort of problems laying in to the idea of doing it like this. So, so sh short answer, uh, yes. Um, I mean, no, I don't think he's faking it. But there's always a, a possibility. But he has to win the fight, right? This might be, this might be his coping mechanism, right? There's a lot of fighters who do certain things at certain points so that if they lose, they can at least come out and say, hey, um, I was in myself. I was going through something. Uh, he can say I was drinking. He can say, you know, I've been going through a lot of mental is issues, as you can see. So, um, so, uh, the, the one to be brother. Let me, uh, where is it? Where is that comment at? I want to highlight that comment. Here we go. So, no shade, no disrespect. This is a guy that I've covered with, but Sean Zatel has never owned Fight Hype. He was, um, one of the lead correspondents. Um, it was me, Frankie, and Sean. So there was a few of us. But this channel has never been sold. This channel has never, ever been bought out. And the same owner from the start to now. So, but, um, damn, but not one of you, brother. Don't be like that. But, um, no, the channel was never sold. It was never, it was never his. Um, are we able to see the fight here or no? No. Um, let's see. Only fight at 140, and under that stands a chance of beating Devin is Shakur. No one, no one else is on their level. Um, you don't think Tank has a chance? You don't think Teal has a chance? 
I mean, I would favor Devin over Tio, but they, a lot of these guys have a chance. A lot of these guys have a chance, you know? Ryan got no power. I wouldn't say that. Can't say Ryan got no power. I I mean, I... I, I don't... Uh, like I've been getting Adrian... Oh, okay, all right. Um, let's see. I don't know why religion is even a factor in this event. It is not. Keep it real. I mean, there's always going to be some sort of contrast. There's always going to be race. There's going to be country. In this case, it's race and religion. I mean, it's boxing, right? When have you ever seen a fight not have completely two different contradictions? Or, right? It even, listen, even if they're the same race, all right? Ali, Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier was a prime example of two guys who were exactly the same race, right? They're both African-Americans. But it became still a racial, an event, because the fact is, Ali was very pro-black, he was um, for the people, and then he painted out Joe Frazier as like an Uncle Tom. And so because of that, he had an overwhelming support from like the blue and white collar side. And so at that point, even though the fight was black versus black, there was still some undertones in that fight that had a level of race or politics, right? So boxing has always somehow integrated something like that. Um, you can kind of see it in other fights in modern era where certain groups and certain countries or certain religions, they always create that division because I think when it comes to any sport, that division is there. But really at the end of the day, nothing's worse than fighting. Because when you look at the sport, if you, let's say you're a person who's very proud. Let's say like you're a, a Honduran fighter. Uh, you're born and raised from Hon Honduras. And then there's a Honduran fighter like Teofimo Lopez. And you're like, yeah, man, he looks like me and he represents me and he understands me. And he goes out there and he fights and he gets knocked out, right? You know, I like, in a, just a hypothetical fight or like any situation, it brings a primal support, but also brings out a primal rage, a, a kind of upset, right? Um, sometimes that goes into negatively towards not just the person who they're fighting against, but the person who essentially lost the fight, right? So um, that's when you start seeing death threats and things like that. So at the end of the day, you can't avoid it. You know, it's always going to be some sort of division in the sport. So um, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let me go in here really quick. And let me... But has anyone changed their pick in the last couple of days? Be honest. Has anyone changed their picks? Um, let me see if I can. Uh, All right. I had to just get this Haney Garcia streaming spam out because it was destroying the chat. Let's see. Is anyone else having trouble with the zone? Are you guys having issues with the zone? Because I'm able to watch it perfectly fine right now. And it looks like we're in the 10th round and this is a brawl. Personally, I expect a little bit more out of Scrappy in this, so. But boxing boils down to country versus country. Yeah. Um, yes, controversy sells. They've been selling wolf tickets, I agree. Mm -hmm. Has anyone changed their picks? No. I mean, someone's probably changed their pick. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Bro looks like Devin Haney. I do not look like Devin Haney. Did he? Y'all are tripping with these comments. All right, all right. All right, let me get this stream out. Put this one. All right. all right, cool. There you go, there you go. 
Why is the zone not working? Are you guys having issues with the zone? They're going to be going hard. Faye Farrow says, I can't wait for this car to be over with so we can move on from all the antics. It has kind of felt very exhausting in this build up, right? You know, there's a lot of different um, elements that are very shocking. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. When I've been covering this Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney fight, it's been very exhausting because don't get me wrong. I love getting content. I love every day not having to look for it, having to get something. But when you have to wake up and check Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter spaces, um, it's a long, long, long day when it comes to Ryan Garcia coverage. So I do feel like we're going to get a little break from it. And it's very actually pretty nice that this is going to end. Um, I, and, you know, Tay, like, I'll be honest. The main event, the main card is on right now. We have Scrappy versus Ramirez. I'll probably do a, a breakdown when Arnold Barboza fights and, um, and obviously when Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia is, so. Um, how many minutes is it before the boxing match starts? Probably, probably two hours from now. Fight hype, number one, the Haney era, appreciate it. Is fighting actually going on right now? Yeah, Justin. If you guys turn tune into the zone right now, right? Let me switch this, right? Where is it? Did I not have it up? So guys, everyone who's coming in right now, the card has already started. The main card has already started. The main event hasn't started yet. But, yo, you are going to show us the fight when it starts. So everyone who's in here, who's waiting, right? It's gonna be a huge drop off. But we are not streaming the fight. Like, the fight isn't being streamed right here. What this is, is pretty much a live chat of people who are waiting for the fight to begin so we can chat, we can react, we can talk, we can respond. And in addition to that, we have tons and tons of interviews from the fight going on from that point where we're gonna post. We're gonna have the post conference. We're gonna get Ryan Garcia's immediate reaction, Devin Haney's immediate reaction. We're gonna have all those types of things on here. But other than that, we're just pretty much just doing a live kick it, live fight chat watch party, just reading the chat. Everyone making their last minute predictions. You know, I got Devin Haney by late round stoppage. Some people got Ryan Garcia by knockout, so. Appreciate it. I blame Ryan for that. Um, let's see. Great point about self-destruct. Uh, what up, James? Great point about being self-destructive as a coping mechanism. Even UFC fighters would drink ETC the night before a fight. So they have an excuse if they lose. But this would be next level from Garcia. I think, and I, I even think someone brought up John Jones. I don't know where I heard it from, but someone brought up that John Jones would drink. I think that's what you're referring to. So that if he loses, it's like, so be it. And I think, um, I think there's a lot of things when it comes to fighters that they have to have this persona where they're like, I'm unbeatable, but they're human, right? And at some point, these people do get nervous, they do get scared, they do doubt themselves. And it isn't probably until the fight actually is happening and they're actually in the ring that they can start to warm up and feel comfortable. So, um, at the end of the day, like these guys go in the ring, they fight in front of the world, and if you get knocked out, you're in a thousand highlight videos. You cannot outrun that. Like, look at Roberto Duran, who still, today still is haunted by the no moss moment right so 
these type of fights can make and break people and personally i think um a coping mechanism is something where it might work really well for them so that they can be at peace and know that at the end of the day that regardless if they lost you know they can live on with their life so let's see the fight starts at 11 fight had to start yet um Let's see. Um, then you're gonna get the winner, go shopping. Uh, bought, uh, bought the damn thing for $70. And the only time I saw Garcia is when he was warming up in the locker room. At least he's there, right? At least he's there. That's the biggest concern. Is he gonna show up? Now we know he's there, so. Uh, Ryan vs. Rowley will be bragging rights for who's the clown. I would rather watch the coaches fight each other. I would not give Ryan credit for beating Rowley. Like, come on, now. Nah. Would you give Rowley credit for beating Ryan? Is the question then. Um, let's be real. What up, Xavier? Let's be real. No one was checking for Garcia after he was KO'd by Tank. People are already overlooking him and waiting for Haney's next fight. I mean, I can't really say that, right? If you look at this poll, right? And I didn't pick Ryan Garcia. But there's like an overwhelming support and pick for Ryan Garcia. I think we're at, we were like 60% Ryan Garcia. 61% Ryan Garcia. We have 20,000 votes. Listen. I don't know if you see it, but 20,000 votes. And by popular pick, 60% of Ryan Garcia. It's crazy, right? It's not. That's why we're here to watch the fight. I think at any moment, anyone could beat anybody. I got Devin Haney, and we'll see. Right now, Ramirez and Jimenez are fighting. Yes, they are. Who do you have winning? They're in the 12th round, 20-something 20, 20 seconds on my screen. Um, it's going to be awesome, crazy adrenaline. I agree. Um, for everyone just coming in, this is just us. Once the fight happens, oh, Scrappy is bleeding really bad. Yeah. So pretty much just letting everybody know, this is just kind of like a live companion show. We're not going to be showing the fight. We're just going to be reacting to it. We're going to be talking when the fight's live. If anyone gets knocked out, we're going to be screaming in here and yelling. And in addition to it, all right, let me show you what we're going to also have. Uh, move this. Move this iron. Right. So, right when the fight's over. Oh, shit. Mike Tyson's at the fight. All right. This is what I'm talking about, right? We're going to be able to sit here and watch all the exclusive content on fight hype, posts, coverage, and everything. And apparently Mike Tyson poses the Devin Haney fight. All right, let's see. Hold on. Good old Mike Tyson's here, huh? What do you guys think about Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul? Do you even like it? thing ever. I can't wait. You think you think Ryan will win her? Alright. 
But yeah, so once videos start dropping on here, we're gonna play like all the pretty much responses, all the post fight stuff. So, and we'll be able to react. So once the fight's over, we'll have all the sexy exclusive footage and um, we'll just be reacting that together. But yeah, Mike Tyson rolled up in there, so. Someone call Scrappy Ambulance. Brian loses, Rolly, Brian next, I agree. How many more fights to the main event? Let's see. Box. Box red. I know we got Arnold Barboza's on the card, so we got that. Let's see. So I think we got Bektamir, right? Bektamir. John Ramirez fight. Yep, that was the fight. Oh shit, Scrappy lost, man. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. That's crazy because they were really bigging this dude up so big. And um, it happens, right? It's boxing. But they were really putting a lot of effort building this guy up as the next big one. And um, let's put in time out. Okay. Um, yeah, tough fight. All right. Let's see. Tyson's a Terminator. He's going to punch Jake. Imagine Tyson gets dropped. Everyone says it's an exhibition. 19 of those votes for Ryan did bet on him. <laughs> what up? I hope Tyson leaves Jake lying on the canvas to sleep with one foot twitching. Should do a poll for Tyson versus Paul. When that time comes, Tiffany, we will. We'll have coverage out there. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's a little concerning for me. I'm a little concerned for Mike, right? Dude's a little, he's like in his 50s and I've covered Jake Paul's like, probably like five or six of his fights. I was there when he knocked out Tyron Woolley and hear me out, hear me out. I'm not saying Jake Paul is this world beater, beater but, um, um, Personally, at the end of the day, I, I'm i a little concerned for Mike Tyson in the fight. Uh, Ryan looks crazy. I hope Tyson leaves Jake Paul in the wheelchair. It's still Mike Tyson. Thoughts on uh, David Benavides versus Alexander. I think it's a great fight. I think David, there's two things about that fight. David is going up in weight. And yes, he's a big guy. But if he wants the Canelo fight, moving up in weight and going down in weight works in Canelo's favor. Now, I did an interview with someone who sparred David Benavides and Alexander, and he picks Alexander to beat David Benavides, and that's Lonnie B. So, it's a good fight. I do like David going up to 175 and making his lane and marking like his own legacy. If he wants to fight the winner of... Um, um, Arthur Betterbeev and Dimitri Bivol, I think that's a great, great um, journey. But if he really wants to have a fight with Canelo Alvarez, I think it's extremely dangerous because the simple fact is, if he moves up to 175 and comes on to 168, there's weight issues and weight concerns. And he's already been a big guy at 168. He's been kind of um, holding this kind of limit for some time. And I think that potentially at some point, if he goes up and down, he may pay you know, he may have issues fighting Canelo, so. Um, but I like the fight. The fight is all down to Garcia's defense. So just for everyone coming in, I think we have two more fight. We have two more fights before the main event. We have Bektamir and we have Arnold Barboza. Joseph, you know really is trash. Ain't no way he's beating Ryan. I don't know, man. I don't know. We gotta see how Ryan looks tonight, man. You know? The only fight that makes sense uh, uh, is him and Andrew Tate. That would be a big money fight, right? I think people wanna see one of the two get knocked out. All right, um, Trent, what round do you think the fight's going to end? 
Um, maybe eight through eight through eleven. Unless Ryan catches Devin early, right? Um, no, we're just we're just live we're just live chatting with everyone. When are you fighting again, Chad Dawson? <laughs> Do you just call me Chad Dawson, or is Chad is Chad Dawson in here? If Chad Dawson's in here, salute to Chad Dawson. Um, and that's actually a, a good comparison. If, if someone heard my David Benavides um, uh, prediction about Alexander, moving up and down, like that can do a lot to you. Um, I look like Jot. You look like Jot Dotson. I've heard that before. That's pretty funny. Um, the fight, we have two more fights before the main event, so. What up, Yanni? The question's getting done. No, no, it's just a whole bunch of people coming in here, you know? This is what I expected, all right? Haney all day, Haney. Um, let him know. It's eight, where's the fight? Someone's gonna reply. I think another hour. He said two more fights before then, yeah. So. I'm gonna show the card, guys, all right? Um, let me move this. This is the card. So everyone who's coming in right now, all right? So all these, all these fights have happened, right? Kevin Newman was on the prelims. Amari Jones was the prelims. The Darius, the Darius fight? Yeah, all these have happened. Um, we gotta wait for Arnold Barboza. We got Beck Demir coming up. John Ramirez just happened, all right? So, Devin Haney main event, Beck Demir, Arnold Barboza. Here we go, so two more fights. Hear me out. This guy, Pierre, 22 and 0. He's coming off one, two, three. Three knockouts, half his fights, about a knockout. Okay. Beck Demir, who's known to be a knockout artist, 13 and 10. This fight should happen relatively quick. If this happens quick, then we just got Arnold Barboza versus Sean McComb. Sean McComb, 18 wins, five KOs, one by knockout. So he doesn't really have like a knockout presence. He did beat, what, Sam Maxwell, a lot of fights in the UK, so. Can't really say I know a lot about him, but Arnold Barboza, kind of a 50-50. He might get you out, he might not. He recently had a fight. He's been on a, that might, that fight might end somewhere in the middle or might go to distance. But the Beck Demir fight should happen quick. We'll go to the Arnold Barboza fight, and then we'll get the main event, and then we'll be popping. Then we'll be posting all the crazy coverage uh, here on Fight Hype, so. All right, let's get back to the chat. All right, help me spread the word. Jake Paul versus Roger Hano bat up fight for Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. Well, there you go. We got about 5,000 people in here. The word has been spread. Your comment has been highlighted. So, try to get that Jake Paul fight. Uh, I'll box them up for sport jokes. What up, Keith? Ryan's kind of crazy, went crazy. He might just lose. I mean, Ryan Garcia has been a fighter who's been doing a lot of antics in this fight. And personally, at the end of the day, if he shows up, he's a marketing Jesus. If he knocks out Devin, but I don't think that's the case. I really think something is going on. And his three pounds over the limit has been in question. So now while we're kind of waiting for the Bechtemir fight to start up, I have a big, big fight prediction right now. Let's see. I have a whole bunch of experts. And I want you guys to tell me if you guys agree or disagree with them while I'll be posting your guys' chat up. All right. Does Devin get the knockout first? Devin, to <laughs> Devin told me he'd be disappointed if he didn't knock him out. I believe that. I believe that. Uh, I think the world expects Devin to win. Um, I got to say, I do expect Devin to win, but I expect something fun and crazy to happen as well. Not exactly sure what that looks like yet, but I see something crazy happening from Ryan. Devin said he'll be disappointed at himself if he doesn't knock him out. Does he get the knockout? He, he, he said he'd be disappointed, but 
I'm gonna skip that just because I hear Waka Flock and I don't wanna get an audience fight. So. Toward the process of trying to prove that he's the best fighter in the world. And that credential is that he has a decision win over Vasily Lomachenko in Las Vegas. I, um, in my last several years calling fights on HBO, I was very certain that Lomachenko was the premier technician in the sport. So for Haney to uh, get a decision win against him as he did in Las Vegas, convince high quality judges there that he was better than Lomachenko that night, that's quite a credential. And I asked Devin in an interview a couple days ago, is it your goal to be seen as the number one pound for pound fighter? And he said, yes, that, that's what we're working on. We want for me to be seen as the best fighter in the world. So he's part of the way there. So he has serious motivation. So he has a very meaningful goal. So he has the talent to perhaps reach that goal. All of that is clear. Ryan Garcia, um, based on everything I've seen, he has to land the left hook to upset the apple cart here. He's got the power and the strength to perhaps change the course of events if he can land that left hook. But barring that, he's likely to get outboxed by a better technician. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Devin, unanimous decision. I feel like he's just more ready and uh, he's a more sharper boxer. I know they had history in the amateurs. They both beat each other. I feel like over the years, Devin has developed more and uh, became the more uh, complete fighter. So I'm going to uh, go to, with Devin. When it, when it comes down to fighting styles, I guess they complement each other. Both of them, they always go at the races. Never hang the video down no knockout punches. So, for that, for that reason is, I think Ryan Garcia is going to try to take him in deep waters, being a good guy, walking down. You think, you, are you taking Ryan to actually win that fight, though? Cool. You think he's going to knock him out? He's possible. Yeah. All the signs are there, man. I mean, you don't need to read the tea leaves to understand that Ryan Garcia is going through more than just what a boxer goes through. Uh, now it's physical. You know, before it was like, you know, uh, men mental uh, concerns. Now it's physical. He didn't make weight by that much. I mean, I can understand one pound, maybe two pounds, but three and a half pounds, and especially when you're moving up in weight, this is what, your, your second or third fight at 140? How are you missing weight by that much? It's a huge event, it's a huge fight. Totally unprofessional, lack of discipline, all the warning signs that we've been seeing leading up to this fight, it just validates every single one of them. When Ryan, Ryan just went on Twitter just a few seconds ago, actually, and he was just like, hey, fight's still on. I have a three-pound weight advantage now. Let's go. Do, do you well, that's something to be proud of? I mean, that's what he said. That's nothing to be proud of. Having a three-pound advantage uh, of, uh, of trying to rationalize to the public you're not fooling anybody you're not fooling anybody i mean stop lying to yourself and i hate i i hate to be the the asshole in all this but someone needs to tell him because nobody's in his ear telling him the truth it's unprofessional lack of discipline and even if he does win say he, he pulls a rabbit out of his hat and beats Devin haney it's gonna be an asterisk behind him. no Devin is one thing about Devin. Devin's a box and he'll fight you so I don't see him uh, beating Devin unless he catches Devin with a, with a hook or something or, or, or knock him down or knock him out, something like that. But I don't see him beating Devin. I'm sorry. But I, I, I listen, I don't, I'm not going for nobody in particular. Oh, okay. I want them both to do good. Like, I want Ryan to win. So I, I mean, I don't want Ryan to win. My bad. I'm, 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 I'm distracted. Um, I want them both to do good. Like, just come out there and put on the great vibe in the fan. Get me the best person win. Who do you think is gonna win though? Who do you think is gonna win? Uh, I don't know. You're not leaning toward Devin like everybody else? Oh no, who would I put my money on? Yeah. Devin Hayes. You think you'll end up knocking him out though? No. No, I'm still on the um, accord of Haney uh, winning the bout by decision. It's hard to just always, you know, be out there. You know, I don't think he really took time out for himself to really get locked in and focused. And I don't think uh, people realize how much focus you gotta have at this level, man. And when you look at how busy Ryan has been for promoting the fight, that's gonna be tiring 
he's going to be tired mentally if he have to dig deep. You feel me? Sometimes these fights make you dig so deep that, man, if you don't have that second win because of you've been just so busy everywhere, it might pay a toll. It might pay a toll, bro. So, but if he wins, hey, who cares what he did? You feel me? He took care of business. But coming in three pounds overweight and then, you know, putting yourself, putting your, the spotlight on you, nah, you should have made weight. You should have shown the world that you're here and ready with no excuses, bro. Uh, I think Ryan may have got caught up in the promotion end of the fight a little bit too much rather than just letting the fight sell itself and being ready 100% for the fight. It's hard for me to believe that he won't be distracted on fight night. What's your official prediction, man? Do you think Haney gets a stoppage? He told me that he'd be a little disappointed in himself if he doesn't stop Ryan. So what do you think? Well, you know, he hasn't been noted for the power, even though, you know, he did drop Regis and hurt him a couple of times. Um, I think his power comes when he's more relaxed, when he's not tight and trying to load up with all his shots. You know, the technique has to remain. If, if both of these fighters lose technique, it's going to be a sloppy fight, and I don't want to see that. Much like those six amateur fights that they had. You know, once the game plan go out the window, it's just a slugfest. And that's not boxing at this level. There's levels to this. And I want to see somebody, I want to see both of these fighters really calculating what they're doing in the ring. You feel me? And I, that's when they're at their best. My kids, I don't want my kids enough to that. So when I was a boxer, I respected myself enough to do things that your kids look up to me and say, I want to be like him one day, and you not be ashamed of it. That kind of stuff is not what you really want in boxing. That kind of stuff is what hurts the sport, and I feel bad that he's going through so much mentally that he's doing things like that, but that's not good to me. Do you think that Saturday, Roy? What? Should he be fighting in this fight Saturday, Roy? I mean, he already signed up for it now. People, people spent their money to see it, so yeah, he got to fight now. But after this, he should really be evaluated. How do you think that's it? Huh? Why have a he got a left hook, he got a chance. He's got a hell of a left hook. So he always got a chance, but his mind, you just got to wonder where his mind is. But how do you land that left hook against I ain't a guy say all so that. I say, He just asked if he have a chance. I ain't say he's going to land it. I say he <laughs> have a chance. I don't say he's going to land it. I say he have a chance. Do you you say, how about stop Devin? Did Devin stop Ryan? I think so. All right. <clears throat> so I just kind of played a whole bunch of... Um, Legends that we we did interviews with. Um, yeah, let me get all this stuff up. Let me remove this. Put this up. Highlighted chat. There we go. All right. So that was Hall of Fame legends giving their opinions about who's gonna win the fight. Um, let me cut this out. Got so many graphics. There we go. Um, highlighted chat. There we go. Also, real quick, did you want me to keep the music on? Just like background music, or you just want to be dead silent? But that was Hall of Famers, it was current champions giving their opinion. You heard Roy Jones just say, hey, he thinks Devin's gonna knock out Ryan Garcia. So Obviously, the fight height chat, we're about 30,000 in. And we have 62, 61% people got Ryan Garcia. I got Devin Heaney by potential late round stoppage. But uh, let me get these little spammy bots out. So, but let me get and restart reading the chat. We got about 6,000 people in here. Um, we got two more fights, right? So, we got two more fights before the main event happens. And. Keep the music, keep the music on. All right. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it's just weird, dead silent. So, um, so uh, K Xavier three hundred five. Shout out Fight Height. Look at Haney's past three fights uh, versus Garcia. Haney has had bigger tests, more uh, advancement. Ryan has popular opinion. I get that. He's more weight and a new trainer, but I don't know. You do know. See, even though the popular opinion right now in the chat says Ryan Garcia, I think. Devin Haney is the more complete fighter. The man that has a better IQ, he can stick the jab out, he can turn, he's more disciplined, he made weight. I mean, at the end of the day, there's a reason why he's a big favorite. 
um, in Vegas. If you're a betting person, right? If you're a betting person and you want to make some money, then maybe Devin Haney is a safe bet. But if you want to just gamble a little bit, right? The keyword gambling, throw some money on Ryan Garcia, you'll benefit. But those type of fights and those type of odds when it comes to Las Vegas, they don't always work out. Now, granted, upsets do happen, but how often if you betted boxing all year round that you get the upset in big main events? It's usually never, if not, happens quite a little bit. So, but Ryan Garcia does have a chance. But I do agree that Devin's opposition has gotten him more prepared. His preparation has gotten him more prepared. And I think his skill is more prepared. And I think Ryan Garcia does have a winning knockout shot. But that's about it. It is a shot. And I think I saw in the chat, TX, RCN, Noob said it best. Boxing isn't a popularity contest, right? It's skill. Skill is pay the bills. The good guy doesn't win in boxing. The guy that you like doesn't win in boxing. The most popular doesn't always win in boxing. The one who can actually win the fight, more likely to win the fight, will be Devin Haney. But for everyone that's coming in right now, Beck Demir is in the ring. We have two more fights before the main event. And um, I'm going to read some more in the chat. Just imagine how crazy Ryan's going to get if he wins. Slick Nick, you dig. That's what I'm saying. Like, if he wins... Uh, music could be turned down a little bit more. Okay, let me turn it down a little bit more. There needs to be a volume. It's not, okay. okay, cool. Let me keep it out there. Let me know if it's too loud or too whatnot. I can't really tell. Um, but yeah, it'll be crazy. He needs a B level fighter. Ryan needs to take advantage of that. Three pumps. I mean, how would he take advantage of it? You know, he's going to have to land his shots. So if if he doesn't beat Devin Haney, then what does that make him? Um, put, there you go. Um, what we got? We got Dev by stoppage. Ryan is doing the okie doke. Uh, trying to get Haney underestimate overlook and we'll see if it works. Devin's not going to overlook Ryan. He's not. He's taking this fight serious because he gets too much... And uh, out of this fight, uh, the fight is not tomorrow. It's happening right now. Quit asking crazy questions. I'm gonna read the chat. I'm gonna read everyone in the chat. <laughs> but it, they are, every time someone asks, "What's your final prediction?" I always think of Cleverland answering, "Pain." Right, Rocky. <laughs> Seven eight five Yin Gang. No, it's today, tonight. Um, let's see. Two-dollar super chat from Armor Dan Bomb. Thumbs up. That's that's it. Well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the support. You're more than welcome to put messages, and I'll be happy to read your guys' comments. So, but I really appreciate you guys supporting Fight Hype. You know what I mean? So, with that, you know that's like a coffee. You know that's that's like something where I can um, pay a parking ticket when I cover fights. So, I appreciate you guys sending that out and donating. Um. Uh, let's see. Ryan's no longer relevant. That's why he's doing a shit show. This is still a relevant fight. You know what I mean? I feel like he could have did it without that. And I think the fight could have potentially done a little bit better. But that's just my opinion. Um, because I think a lot of people are starting to doubt Ryan. Even though the chat says 32, 20, 32,000 people have voted Ryan Garcia. Um, in the poll has Ryan Garcia up 62%. I think it's hurt the promotion a little bit personally. Because I think... For the people who are willing to go and spend the money, who want to see a competitive fight, they don't see this as a competitive fight. So, I got to agree with Mr. Jones there. Um, let's see. Boxing math is for amateurs. What do you mean by boxing math? Just curious. I know you're not insinuating over it to me, but just what do you mean by boxing math? Devin is focused. You better believe it. Mm-hmm. Um, put you in timeout. All right. Such disrespect if you can't lose in three. Ryan can win, but why is everyone going for Devin? I don't think everyone's going for Devin. Like, I think they just recognize that Ryan does not have the better boxing skills, and he relies more on his 
aggression and maybe his ability to land a good left hook. But his opposition that he's faced is nowhere near like Devin Haney. So if he's able to land it on Devin Haney, then that's going to be a, a humongous win. A humongous win. And I don't think, you know, the bookies see it. I don't think a lot of boxing pundits see it. And I think that if Ryan's able to do it, he will have probably the upset of the year, personally. But is it possible? Absolutely. Uh, do we know if Ryan is in the building? Yes, he is, Shabe. He's in the building. He's been in the back, warming up. Um, his behavior has been extremely odd, and I just have this feeling that he's going to flake out. I mean, he hasn't made it to the ring, but he's there in the building, so. Um, at best contenders for a business. Garcia's a stuntman. Haney's gonna win, y'all tripping. We see straight through Ryan. Ryan is more popular. Devin is more mentally for boxing than Ryan. Wait, wait. Ryan is more popular. Devin is more mentally for boxing than Ryan. Both are great fighters, though. But, of course, people are going to say Ryan because he has a bigger following. I, And I think that's probably what we're getting on the votes, right? Now, I don't think it's crazy for someone to say Ryan Garcia. But I think, you know, Ryan's popularity definitely has led to the, the poll. But I think everyone who's based on the channel, who follows the boxing, um, would favor Devin. Um, he just wants. Uh, I mean, we don't need subscribers. We got 1.73 e Kim. What this is is just a live chat watch party. So it's it's in the title. The fight, the main event isn't happening right now. We got two more fights, and then we're gonna start really going into. I think when the Arnold Barbosa fight goes in, I'll probably start doing commentary on that. Um, right now, as in, like I predicted, Bechtemir is destroying this guy. What is it? The second round, his opponent's completely bloodied. I expected it just an early stoppage. So, and it's in New York, so they might stop it. They're really sensitive about cuts. So keep in mind, real quick, I just want everyone to know, if anyone gets a cut in this Devin Heaney versus Ryan Garcia fight, there's a high chance that the fight may get called off pretty soon. Um, so just an accidental headbutt. Let's say, let's say hypothetically Ryan is winning the early rounds. They clash heads. It's in the fourth round um, or like fourth to fifth round. Um, Ryan's up three. Devin's two. He's starting to get in the groove. Um, that will be the, the case. That's what will happen. And they would give it to the person who's ahead of the cards. They would stop it. So, um, It's Kunk tonight. Yay. Yeah, we're almost there. We're getting there. Um, Devin's going down in the seventh. Reckless 1K. Did you recklessly put 1K on that? I'm just talking shit. I got Devin, so. Um, and real quick, for everyone who just joined, right? I just want everyone to know. I got Devin Haney winning the fight, but if you guys weren't in here earlier, I was at the Masvidal or Nate Diaz versus Masvidal Vegas press conference, and I covered that. And if you guys don't know, Ryan Garcia's brother is going to be on the co-main fight, and Fernando Vargas' son. So I bumped into Henry Garcia, and Ryan Garcia was there, and this was last week. Because I got Devin Haney winning the fight, and if you guys didn't know. This is what Ryan Garcia's shirt looks like, clearly. All right? If Ryan Garcia happens to be Devin Heaney, I would take this current shirt off, put this shirt on, and I will wear this shirt for a whole week. I will go, I will start interviewing people this week at the gyms with the free Free, free the children shirt from the Garcia family. Kind of like my Eat Crow bet, right? So it's actually kind of like a nice quality shirt. So, but on, on the real, not even just kind of showing like do free the children, but I will be wearing that shirt if he if he wins. Um, we got two more fights. 
Boxing is about styles. Just because one boxer beat another doesn't mean someone that beat him can beat the same guy. I agree. Facts. A thousand percent believe in me. Uh, so my dad was a boxing promoter and had the middleweight champion boxer back in the day. So many of these fights are rigged. My dad refused to rig his and got major threats. Lizzie P. Who was your, um, who was the middleweight champion that your dad had? Just curious. I think, I think that'd be interesting. Uh, what time does fight start? We're, we got two more fights, so. So once the co-main goes on, I'll do some round by round commentary. And then when the main event goes, we'll do, I'll do some live by round commentary. Um, Ryan can punch, Haney can box, stage fright gets the best of Ryan. The tickets are sold out, sales are low. Sorry pops, sleep in a minute, it's entertainment. All right. P Diddy said, come find me the, to the feds. What, you guys are crazy. Who's fighting right now? Bechtemir is fighting right now. Bechtemir is right now fighting Dim Bombay. It's the third round and as in right now, the only loss that Bechtemir has was against Gabe Rosado, which was a hellacious cracking shot that he was able to avenge in a rematch. So it just seems like another active fight to kind of keep him, get ready for the, for a potential world championship fight. Let's see how it is. So it's only in the third round. So we got about seven more rounds of this fight if it goes the distance. And then we have Arnold Barboza next. So it's 725. So at the rate of this, this, it might not even start till, what is it? Maybe nine, my time. So maybe two more hours. So you better hope Bechtemir gets this guy out quick so we can start moving this card and get into the main event. Um, let's see. Real talk though, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, who we got? I mean, I believe it's an exhibition, so. But I'm a little concerned for Mike. Saucy. Uh, nine, uh, $1 super chat, appreciate you, man. You can put messages in here if you have something. But I appreciate you coming in here and showing some support. The script was leaked already. Christian Cruz says, the script was leaked. Ryan Garcia wins in the 10th round. Bruh. Where? On Twitter? Where? Where is this Ryan Garcia script leak? Ryan Garcia script leak. I don't see it. If it ain't on Twitter, Twitter got everything. No, I know you in here trolling me. <clears throat> Javante's the face of boxing. What up, Joe Stewart? Do you like that Frank Martin fight that was announced? What about Ryan Garcia's new defense style? The shoulder roll? I don't like it. Go back to Ryan Garcia and put a right hand in. 30 seconds KO, Ryan's clone. Um... This guy, a real one of you less is watching. I'm not a real one. I'm sorry. I can be real and tell you I'm a real one by not saying we, we will get a copyright strike. So some of my belongings tomorrow to buy a few stones. Can't wait. Uh, Brian versus Broner next. That would be a fun fight, but I don't think they would ever fight. Uh, well, you can watch the fight. You can watch the fight on the zone right here. D A Z live on the zone worldwide is where you can watch the fight. Yes. Tank is the face. What up Tiffany? You guys like that Frank Martin fight? Yeah, we can't put that up. We'll get a copyright strike. You guys crazy. Like it says, live fight chat watch party. We're just in here kicking it, waiting for the main event so that we can actually 
get to the meat and potatoes of this. What up, Red Ron is a Ron is a fake one, but he's the realest fake one. Respect. Uh, Derek Jackson when Ryan gets KO'd. Oh. I mean, I think he's a troll. He's a troll, right? He knows boxing, right? Derek is a big Twitter troll. You know, obviously he has a thing against Devin and Crawford, but at the same time, he's been taking some L's then if you really think about it. He, his, his people be taking some L's then. Um, Mike Tyson beats Jake Paul, mile old, but hits hard. He has speed for a few good rounds. Just saying, don't underestimate Mike. He's a legend. Oh, no, that, I'm definitely not. He might fuck around and actually hit Jake Paul. If it's an exhibition, he might actually rock him for real, for real. Um, mention of Mike Tyson. It looks like Mike Tyson has showed up to give Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney some moments. So, hold on. Let me play this real quick. This. Take this down, this down. This is Ryan Garcia right now? What the fuck? Got a whole orchestra. How you doing, champ? I didn't expect to see that in uh, Ryan Garcia's dressing room. Um, <laughs> what do you guys think of that? Um, I like chat. Where's my boy at? Saucy plays. Two dollars super chat. Appreciate you, my guy. Um, who do I think wins tonight? I think I got Devin Haney. I got Devin Haney by late round stoppage, if anything. Potentially. Ninth, ninth, tenth round? I'm just guessing on the round, but I think it's later rounds. I think, I think Devin Haney will get him out of there. So, but I appreciate it, man. Let's see what some of your guys' reaction to that uh, interaction with Mike Tyson. And um, let's see. The string music, all right? Um, did Ryan fight yet? No, two more fights. Two more hours he'll be on. Yo, what up, Alex Gibbons? Sad music, what the fuck? No Diddy. He has no Diddy in his locker room. Um, why is he focusing on his hair before the fight? This is Ryan Garcia. Um, Ryan has not fought yet. We got two more fights. Bro playing fewer music for his walkout. He's gonna sneak a, in a sniff. That Titanic music when the ship went down. That's terrible, bro. You guys really, you guys really think this is the end of Ryan Garcia's career. He got a couple more fights, man. That was heart-wrenching. He's a sick dude. Ryan is a madman. Violence, what a G. I wonder what his ring walk song is going to be. It was funny and sad at the same time. Very cool. Isaac, why are Garcia fans off the rocker? I mean, we've seen stranger things in boxing, right? I think Ryan has a great big fan base, and it clearly shows, because 40,000 votes lets me know that Ryan Garcia is possibly the more popular fighter that at least came into this chat, right? I mean, I can't say pop because this is an opinion of who you got tonight, but I think a lot of boxing fans has Devin Haney. Ryan versus Cruz. Uh, I got, I got. 
I got Pitbull. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that out. It might change. When is the fight? We got two more fights. Spectamir has his opponent all bloodied up. Yeah, that fight might end soon. People that think Garcia is good probably think Paul will beat Tyson. I mean, I'm a little nervous for Mike. If it was prime for prime, clearly Mike Tyson. So, I mean, right now, I'm a little nervous, man. I know it's an exhibition. I don't know what's going to happen in there. Fighters, The fighters start when the second to last is done. Man, I can't find out a watch. No. <laughs> chill, chill out. You can get it on the zone. Beck got a vicious knockdown. I mean, these are some brutal punishing beatdowns that they're letting on go on in Barclays Center. So, are they stopping the fight or is that the end of the round? Oh, it's the end of the round. Yeah. Ryan's biting an ear. If he bites an ear, man, then I don't know, man. We're just in a weird state of boxing. Nah, bro, I like Haney, but the decision's not going to happen. Uh, behind me. Just put a mirror behind me. <laughs> I could put a mirror, <laughs> but ah uh, no. We put a mirror up. We'll, we'll get a copyright strike. Um, what up, Marley Cruz? Garcia won a f uh, fifth against this dude already a long time ago. Was young as hell. You talking about his their amateur fights? Both of these fighters are overrated in my opinion. Who do you like, Keith Webster? Are you a tank? Are you a, you a Teofimo guy? Nervous for Mike, you joke. Listen, natural skills and ability, Mike Tyson, by far. But seeing Mike move around a little bit, I have to see Mike in the ring, all right? So, you know. But by natural ability, 100%, Mike Tyson. Father Time catches everybody, dude. You think it's a joke. Um, bro, that eye cut is crazy. You see it? Like, I don't know. They might let this Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia fight go on because this fight is pretty brutal. The Charles Conwell fight with Nathan Gallimore is pretty brutal. So, um, Joe De La Paz, thank you, fight, for the hype before the fight. DLP family watching. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you guys supporting us, man. And if you stay around, we're going to have the post-conference. We're going to have um, Ryan Garcia after the fight. We're going to have Devin Haney's post-fight. We're going to have people's immediate reaction. We're going to have a whole bunch of exclusive footage. So if you guys missed it earlier, I played Mike Tyson going to Ryan Garcia's locker room. Um, so I'm going to refresh and see if anything new or anything hot has came up yet. So... All right, cool. So we're just still waiting a little bit. Um, but while I have all you guys in here, who are some of your guys' favorite fighters to watch right now? Like some of the guys I like watching are like Jerron Ennis, Terrence Crawford, Javante Tank Davis, um, Bam Rodriguez. Um, I have tons and tons and tons. I like watching Canelo. I like watching David Benavides. So just who's some of the guys that you guys like to watch at the moment? Ring walks don't start till 11 p.m. Guys. That's two hours and 30 minutes from now. So... Uh, three pumps. Uh, where's Sean been? Sean left. Uh, Roly's gonna have comments after tonight. Facts. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. The whole world is waiting. But yeah. Um, pretty much everyone you name. What up, Quality Steppa? Uh, Tank's trash. I like Tank. Tank's fun. You don't like that Frank Martin fight? Bud, Tank, Pitbull. What up, Steven? That's a good list. Two-time gold Loma. I like Loma. Loma's a dope fighter. Um, hold on. 
I might have some. Hold on. Is he gonna post? Okay. I'm gonna mute this really quick. So, um, I think Devin Haney's brother went live. Let's see if we get some footage in there. So this is this is Devin Haney's brother right now. He's showing a little bit of uh, what's going on in his dressing room. I can't play in the sound because they're playing a whole bunch of music. So. Let me see if I can. Seeing if you can flip the camera. All right, there's Devin right there. All right, so right now, AJ, back to mirrors in the ring. And then what I have right here is, this is Devin Haney's brother live on his Instagram. So this is all stuff he's showing behind scenes. Devin looks all cool and calm, collected right now. So that was a little sneak peek that Devin's brother gave out. So baby Sean doesn't look like a baby no more. I know, right? It's just crazy. Dude's growing up. Devin's brother is getting so much bigger. No violence in Dev's changing room? Clearly not, right? I, the only reason why, like I said, I didn't, I muted it because of the simple fact that there was um copyrighted music. So I didn't want to get a strike, but Right here, for example, that would be something that if I was recording, oh shit, what just happened right here? Did my screen, okay, my chat just reset it. Panic for a second. But um, if you guys just came in, that was Sean showing, Devin's little brother showing what Devin looks like in the dressing room. And if you guys haven't seen it, this is what Ryan Garcia looks like in his dressing room getting ready for the fight. Play this from the Brother IG. I'll be there. I'll be there. Thank you. 
Hey, I'm with you in everything. So those are the two contrasting dressing rooms. So one you guys got to watch in real time. That was actual behind the scenes from Devin Haney's brother. And then that was what Ryan Garcia looks like in his dressing room. So Oh shit. So Bechtemir has a cut. If you guys are watching the card right now, Bechtemir has a cut. So there's cuts on both opponents. Is this from a headbutt? Hold on. Let me mute the music so I can hear this real quick. So it seems both opponents, Bechtemir, they both have cuts. Oh, so it looks like, did they stop the fight? So Bechtemir's fight just ended. They're going to the scorecards because of the cuts. That's a pretty bad cut. I'll put user in timeout. Yeah. So while they decide who wins, it's probably going to be Bechtemir. Um Cool. All right. I know I need a. I need to get some of these these. Um, streams out the chat man because this this shit they spamming the shit out of the yeah, i need to get some of these guys out but um let's see he's doing all that just to get rolled up new pack All right, um, Eric Kelly, Mr. Quake. What up, Mr. Quake? Eric Kelly is the best boxer trainer ever. I like Eric Kelly. He's a cool guy. He's out in New York. Um, is it me or is the atmosphere in New York dead? Uh, I would wait to the main event. You know, boxing has kind of always had a late crowd, so. But I don't know. I would have to ask one of my, my guys who's there if the fight is completely sold out. Let me actually text someone who's covering the fight. Um, let me see. If the event. Kevin. How's the. Uh, maybe I'll be able to see if I can get some information. All right, three pumps. We need a quick KO in the next fight. I know, right? We're one more fight away, right? We got Arnold Barboza coming up. Appreciate it. Scout B, Devin Haney got this all day. I agree. I got Devin Haney winning this fight. Uh, anyone know how much long to the main event? We got one more fight. We got one more fight. So. Yo, dog, let's play some Fortnite after this fight. I mean, I don't play. Listen, 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 real quick. Listen, real quick. Uh, I'm not good at Fortnite. If you play some fighting games, you play some Street Fighter, you guys play some Tekken. After the fight, if you guys want some smoke, y'all can get it. So. <clears throat> Ryan, though, if I hype, let, I know I need a moderator to get some of this stuff out. Is Haney Ryan fighting? We got one more fight. We got one more fight before the main event. Close. I'm half black and half Korean. Garcia's a Joe. What up, Sheeb Defender? Did you did you catch? Did you blow up on Sheeb? You got some Sheeb coins, man. Um, I need this fight now. Ryan Garcia is the fastest hands. We'll win. Bro, that's so sick. 
Oh, you're talking about the fights thing? Devin lost a little weight. Just because he's sober is why you chose him? No, no. I, I, I'll be I'll be 100%. I've always thought Devin was going to win the fight. I've always, I always favored Devin. Um, I think Devin has the better skill set. I think he's fought better opposition, preparing for these type of things. So, let's see. Everyone's saying the ring walk starts at 11 East Coast time. So, we got one more fight. What up, Matt? Adventure has been away from boxing too in a while. Where's Sean? Sean has stepped away from the good old platform. He went, and did, went to do his own thing, so... But I appreciate the super chat, you know. Who do you have winning the fight? Uh, I mean, who do you have, quote unquote, winning the fight? You have Devin Haney or Ryan Garcia? Matt. Mula, I don't play games. I fight in real life. Them old ladies at the bingo never see me coming. Y'all are so stupid. This chat is so stupid. <laughs> How does anyone think Ryan will win, especially after you shut up missing weight and chugging a beer? I don't get Because he has a fast left hook. He has... Um, Youth, you know, he's a very strong and his boxing anyone can get caught. But you know, I got I got Devin. Devin's the more technical, fought better opposition, and the Regis fight already let me know that like, you know, he can make adjustments in this weight class. And, uh do anybody got the fight? Um What up Danny? What's going on? Yeah, we'll probably we'll I'll figure something out for this whole spamming. But um, my boy Danny's in here, man. He's been here all week saying Ryan Garcia got this. So Danny, let him know. Let them know it's almost here, one fight away. Ryan Garcia, that's your boy. So anyone right now who wants the smoke, I am Danny's here to let everybody know. But what's up, man? Um, so just real quick, let me let me put. There might be a confusion between Rob and Ron. <clears throat> I'll put this user in timeout. Um, let me switch. So as a reintroduction to everybody, my name is right there. So everyone that's tuning in, Ron Goodall from FightHeight.com. So if you guys spam Ron, I would see it. But if you spam Rob, I might might read it because I understand they're very close. So, all right, let's go. No, Ryan is totally gonna destroy him. Okay, we're one fight away. We got one more fight. One fight away. <clears throat> Ryan's gonna drop him. Uh, he's having a time of his life. Joe Stewart, what's up, LL? Let's go. I think Roley's there. Um, I don't think so. I think Roley's still here. Um, in Vegas, Street Fighter all day. Straight off the Dome podcast. What's up, man? Who do you play, man? Who's who's your main in Street Fighter? This. Garcia's punch doesn't look strong to me. You don't think so, Lizzie? You don't you don't think Ryan Ryan? You think this fight? You don't you don't think Ryan got it? No. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know if you <laughs> if if this is referring to me. My name is Ron, but no, I'm not gay. Not mad at anyone who is, but no. I got a I got a six month old and I got my wonderful beautiful lady over there on the other side of the room. Putting in work, sweetie. Um That's common. Sean was bad, there's no cap. We're two different people, man. We vibe too differently. So if you're looking for a, for like a, how would I say it? Like a, a commentator thing, that's not what this is. This is just like a kick it chat. So, I love Street Fighter, Ballroom music. Ballroom has some dope music. All right, so Bechdemir won the last fight. So right now we're just waiting for Arnold. 
Barboza to go get ready for the fight. And then coming up after that, we have the main event. Nah, man, I can't. Copyright. You can get a copyright. Main event has not started yet. We have the co-main coming up. Arnold Barboza, and then the main event will happen. And what's your uh, favorite fighting game? Mm -hmm. Tekken. Tekken by far. I'm having a good time with Tekken 8. What up, Peanut? Nah, man. We can't We can't show the fight. We got copyright shit. What we can do is show our post-conference and press conference afterwards, and, you know, all the footage we'll get covering the fight. But no, the zone won't let us show the fight. We got one more fight. One more fight. So probably an hour. Ryan and Fat L. Um, Devin will not be able to hurt Ryan, so Ryan will be too much. He's gonna walk down, uh, walk Devin down. Is Haney fighting? We got one more fight. <laughs> Isaiah, Isaiah, no, you sus, bro. But it's G. Hey, I don't know what to say to that, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> um. Why is Ryan playing funeral music in the dressing room? That's just Ryan. Ryan just being Ryan. You know? My man said reflect with a mirror. If I'm... If by, just so you guys know, the stream is going by so fast with so many chats. So if I accidentally miss, I'm sorry. Um, let me get this spin and put this timer out. 24 minutes. All right. Um, how do you think Ryan will lose? Do you think it's going to be a KO or a long fight? I think it's going to be a long fight that leads to some sort of stoppage. I don't know if he's going to essentially not want to continue to fight. I don't know if they're going to throw in the towel. It, it, it's probably going to be a long, um, long fight, but I think it's going to be a pretty highlight filled fight if Ryan does not hurt Devin Haney. What up, Scott B? Who are you using, Tekken? Uh... I use a little bit in Tekken 8 right now. I've been playing some Reyna, Alyssa, June, um, a little bit of everyone, a little bit of everyone. Um, boxing WWE, I agree. I don't actually feel he looks just Asian. Yo, Red is the biggest troll. Ever. But yeah, I'm mixed. I'm half. Uh, half and half. Ryan knows this is going to be easy. Damn. We said Ryan's going to say that this is the easy fight. I play Ken music to Johnny Lawrence's Cobra. When are they going to fight? We got one more fight. So I think in an hour. And in about an hour, the fight's going to begin. So. If Garcia comes up. Uh, combo and defense counters is over. Ryan has a winning opportunity, like it has a winning shot. So, all right, what time is the fight? Harong and Eddie are my favorites. Those are good choices. That's um, I can't tell what anime that's from. It's not secure car captor, no. This is a Madoka or something. Ryan's gonna crap his shorts after a brutal punch to his stomach. Damn. Mm, Ryan's left hook, but he usually KOs people who aren't as good as Devin. Also drops his right hand off in the hook, even on the back. Yeah, man. I got Devin Haney, man. Uh, I haven't played eight. God, I haven't played Tekken since PS1. Yeah, you know, the OGs, Tekken 3. I say hour funny, like rush hour. Oh man. I'll take Ryan Garcia in the fifth round. Okay, respect, that's respectable. I'm taking Ryan, worried about his mental state, but I got Ryan, okay. Stick with your guy, Planet Vision. I got you right here, embellished on the stream, so. Um, still one more fight to go, right, Mohammed? 
But I'm probably gonna call this fight, right? Because where's the Kome, right? So we'll put a little respect. Guys, when the fight start, probably in an hour, we got the Kome coming up. Fallout, Fallout's a good game. I haven't seen the show yet. What up, R. Mula? Has the fight started and what time does it start? Two dollars super chat. I appreciate it. Um, the fight, the main event hasn't started. We're getting the co-main. Arnold Barbos is coming in right now. So, at this point, we're just gonna wait. I'm gonna call this fight. Actually, I know I've been just chatting with you guys. Really, the chat was just to kind of be a fight companion, hang out a little bit. I haven't really did a really um, kind of like a commentary thing on this, but I'm gonna do the commentary for the co-main and then definitely the main event. So, um, it's just kind of just getting everyone all just all excited and hyped up. So. But um, appreciate it, man. About an hour, I'm assuming. And it depends how fast this fight goes. But um, everyone's saying that the walkout is probably going to be 11 Eastern time. So we got one more fight. Damn, this fight's taking forever, right, Joe Blow? Yeah, we got to wait, man. It just started. <laughs> I got Dawson on Street Fighter. Dawson's good. Can we commentate the fight since we can't see it? Yeah, Heather, I'm going to commentate the co-main. And then I'm definitely going to commentate the main event. So... Um, man, every man, every time they're close to each other, Ryan runs and acts like he did something, but he just looks like a shifty 50 year old who leaves a shove. Ryan wins, no injury. We got one more fight, John. I'm gonna commentate the co main event. So, Smokey's about to go in the ring telling Devin, damn, you got knocked the F out. <laughs> got him. Why did he say it like that? Sus. Ryan, I'll take Ryan Garcia in the fifth round. I got Ryan getting DQ'd. That's been a that's been a, a pick. A lot of people have been saying that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this fight. Call this fight, please. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, guys. I'm gonna take a little break from the chat. I'm gonna start calling the fight. I'm gonna look through the chat, right? But we're gonna get ready for the Arnold Barboza fight. I'm gonna actually turn, let's see. I'm gonna turn the music down just so I can actually hear the, um, the fight. And then we'll just cut this, cut this. All right, cool. All right. All right, guys, Arnold Barboza versus Sean McComb. The co-main event for Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Appreciate you guys all coming in here and rocking with your boy. This is going to be a great fight. You know, um, Arnold Barboza has been a fighter who has been tossed around at opponent after opponent, not getting his big marquee fights. He's been wanting Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo Lopez has not won in a fight. So um, he decided to sign the Golden Boy. So let me see. Let's go pull up his overweight Arnold Barboza. Okay. All right, so we got the co-main Arnold Barboza fight. 29 wins, zero losses, 11 by KO. He's coming off a couple wins, a common opponent of Devin Haney. Um, Jose Pedraza, former world champion. Antonio Moran, which, if I'm not mistaken, is a guy that Devin Haney knocked out. So, um, he actually went the distance with the guy that Devin Haney knocked out. So, he'll be fighting Sean McComb for the WBO Intercontinental Super Light. 18 wins, 5 KOs. 1 loss by KO, which was against Gavin Gwynn. Yeah, this is not a good loss. I'll be 100%. This is not the guy that you want to lose to. So, this guy, Sean McComb, just by looking at his box rec, 31 years old, he's a southpaw, which is good because there's a lot of southpaws up and around the division, 135, 140. So, but I got Arnold Barboza. So, <clears throat> how many fights have you been? How many fights have I been to? Too many. Um,. While they're doing the introductions, uh, these are some fights that I've covered. Uh, while we're waiting for the co-main to start, this is what some fight credentials look like, right? So this is David Benavides versus Plant. 
which was a fun fight that I covered recently. Uh, Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter. The big one, Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, another one, David Benavides versus Demetrius Andrade. Devin's last, well, not last, but like Devin Heen versus Lomachenko. The one, last one I thought that was kind of a close fight. Deontay Water, Fury 3, Canelo Plant. Of course, this one, this one hits, hits a little different when you got this one right. But um, Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. So those are just a couple credentials I've been to. I got a whole box, like, you guys would be mad if, if you saw, if you saw where I put all my credentials, it's all in a big box, I got hundreds of them, but, alright, but the co-main's on, so I'm gonna do a little commentary, that was a little filler, alright, alright, so, first round, 2 minutes, 43 seconds, Arnold Barboza is keeping his distance, he's using his jab, Sean McComb is... Definitely trying to keep his lead foot outside. There's a little bit of foot stepping when you have a southpaw and an orthodox. Because what happens with that is that they're trying to exchange and try to get their outside foot so that they can get a little bit better position. So there's a lot of tripping. But it seems like Arnold Barboza is just trying to keep the center range. There's a jabbing fest going on. Let me see. If everyone's coming who's asking when is Ryan fight, we got one more fight. Got the co-main fight going on right now, just starting, and then we'll get to the main event. Um, am I the creator of the channel? No, that is Ben Thompson. There's many guys that cover boxing. Um, I'm one of the few, but one of the many that you'll probably see. So the thing about Arnold Barboza, from what I've seen from his last couple fights, is that he has a really good jab. He's really patient, and with the right shots, he can actually get you out of there. You know, a fight like Shaman Combe that he's facing right now, he has to beat him. And he has to beat him in a big, special chaos. I mean, like a big KO, right? Because if he wants these big names, he's not a marketable guy. Um, he's going to have to knock these type of lower-level competitions. Sean McComb is kind of that guy. And I'm assuming that he's fighting this guy as the co-main to kind of showcase his ability. Because why else would you have a guy like Arnold Barboza for the co-main? I haven't got this. Uh, win the fight. So we got one more fight. Which chance will ban you after for freelance and fight? No, we don't ban nobody here. We just time out the, the spammers in here. So that's it. But that's about it. So about two minutes in, Arnold Barboza is having Sean McCombs on the ropes. Has a good right body shot from Arnold Barboza. Sean McComb is a little bit awkward. He's a little off balance. And Arnold Barboza is trying to time this right hand. And he got a couple right hands that landed pretty well. A couple good jabs from Arnold Barboza is landing in. Sean McCombs on his back foot. Arnold, Arnold Barboza is pressing the action a little bit. Can you show, can you show the walkouts? Probably not. Unfortunately not. None of this stuff. At first I wanted a whole day. They said 8. So I waited until 8. And then it's 11. Now another hour. Yeah, man. I'm so bored. I want to see the fight. Christopher Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You can get it on the zone. All right, first round, I would probably give it to Arnold Barboza. He seemed like he had a little bit more control, a little bit more, a little bit more success with the right hand. So, <clears throat> anyways, the beast of a boxer, 2 100. Are you going to show the fight? Nope. Is Ryan's next, uh, is Ryan's fight next? Yes, it is, because Ryan Garcia's fight is next. Tupac versus Michael Jackson. Who got better music? Damn, I plead the fifth. That's a tough one. We got one more fight, guys, before Ryan, Devin and Ryan Garcia fights. Imagine if it becomes a draw. That will be some crazy highlight. Ugh. I hope it doesn't become a draw. 
But yeah, we got one more fight, guys. Ryan's getting slept. You know, Sean McCone's a little bit awkward. Like, he stands out a little... He's having a lot more success early on this round. You know, the first round was kind of close. You can kind of score either or. But right now, in the beginning of the second round, Sean McCone's starting to get off a little bit more. He's starting to target the body a little bit of Arnold Barboza. You know, Sean's moving around. It's kind of making it a little bit difficult for Barboza. You know, I think this is already starting to be a better round for Sean McComb than the first one. Who should I put my money on, JFL? Mm, the safe money is Devin Haney. The fast money is um, Ryan Garcia. But as of right now, Arnold Barboza is landing, throwing a couple good shots to the body. But, dude, this Sean McComb guy is actually a lot better than I thought. He's... Keeping Barboza. Oh, good left hand from Sean McComb. Kind of sets Arnold Barboza back a little bit. Arnold Barboza has a high guard, and he's trying to get a little bit closer into McComb, but he's having a little bit of difficulty with this little awkward jab. He's kind of pawing over Arnold Barboza's jab and kind of parrying it. It's a really good boxing match going on right now. Arnold Barboza is really attempting to try to land right hands, but he's missing. And Sean McComb's a little crafty. Never seen this guy fight before. You know, I've seen Arnold Barboza have covered his fights a few times, but Sean McComb is light on his feet, throwing quite a few jabs. A little a little awkward, you know. Dang, this might be a Sean McComb round. <clears throat> Vikas, $2.79. F the haters hating on me, right? Right, Vikas? Can't stop the haters, man. I appreciate the super chat, but... um. Ryan's fight is next, man. Uh, we got one more fight. Right now, I'm calling the co-main. 30 seconds left. Sean McComb is definitely outboxing Arnold Barboza right now. You, you get a sense right now that Sean McComb is light on his feet, moving away, trying not to engage with Barboza. It seems like Barboza has a little bit more of a stinging punch. And Arnold Barboza is trying to cut Sean McComb off, but Sean is moving out. Good right hand from Arnold Barboza. Arnold Barboza is landing a little bit, a little better punch, I would say, a little bit more umph in his punch, but landing one punch after Sean lands four or five jabs is, is not going to win you the round. So I got the second round, Sean McComb. First one's a toss up, so right now you can have it one to one or two to zero. So let's see, let's see. Let's go. I'm hips. I see you. All right, guys. On the real. Right? Well, I have all you guys here. It's 420, right? Are you guys celebrating 420 while you're watching the fight? <clears throat> what is it? Marley Cruz. They should do a boxing match like LeBron James against Green. A. Nunes. Paul Stewart, I want my money. Are you going to show the fight? Nope. We're just going to call it. We're going to chill, Quimbeezy. I would take all y'all. What up, Aaron? Auto zone. <laughs> you were watching the, the commercial. I got Devin Heaney for the fight. We got on the co main right now. Third round, Arnold Barboza fight. Right now, Sean McComb is giving Barboza a lot of trouble with movement and jabs while Arnold Barboza is trying to hawk down the southpaw, trying to keep his left foot on the outside, but he's having a little difficulty landing that right hand. I can send money all day, bro. You got it like that? Is this is this money that <laughs> is this who you got in the fight? I guess is what you need to send. But I appreciate it. Another two dollars seven nine super check. I can send money all day, bro. My boy Jeffrey says he's on shrooms and marijuana for the Devin Haney Ryan Garcia four twenty. Only commentary unfair. I know it's a little unfair. Of course, I'm fried. You can watch the fight in the zone. All right. 
You know, watching this fight right now, you know, it seems like if I was on a Barboza, this is a good opponent to showcase that, hey, I can hang with a slick moving boxer, right? A guy that no one's really heard, 18 to 1, you know, doesn't really have knockout power. But in this case, Arnold Barbosa is actually struggling, you know? Oh, good right hand. Arnold Barbosa actually finally times a good right hand on Sean McComb. You know, he's patiently now kind of picking his shot. Maybe Sean McComb might get a little bit tired in this, in this aspect. Should I throw money for the Ryan fight? You're talking about throw some money on a bet? It's on you, man. Safe money is with Devin. Yes, we celebrating 420. We just want to see with you. I appreciate it. Who you got, Quinn Beasy? You got Devin or Ryan in this fight? Did the fight start? Not yet. Haney did not pull out. You troll. Um, you got Barboza 2 1 to Honest, huh? That's fair. That's fair. Barboza has a, a better round going on. It's a little bit more competitive. He's definitely starting to land his right hand more in this. What, Haney? We got one more fight, guys. We got Arnold Barboza right now. We got the co-main going on. Ryan got hit with the super sonic hook. What time does the fight start, guys? We got about probably probably forty more minutes before the, the main event starts. So This user in time. Uh, all right. This is a co. -main, this co-main event's boring. It's a little tech. It's a little tactical, technical boxing match. You know. Arnold Barboza is a highly ranked guy in his division, and you know he's at a point where he's trying to position himself for a world title fight. You know he's been calling for Teofimo Lopez. Teofimo has not been interested in that fight, so. Roosevelt, Barboza's been looking bad for a little minute. I agree, right? I'm a, I'm a little, I wouldn't say disappointed, but I guess like because this is his second fight with Golden Boy and it's on a co-man and, you know, I'll be very transparent. I really don't know too much about Sean McComb. I'm just watching him now, seeing that he's a southpaw. He, he's lying on his foot, doesn't really have the biggest knockout punch, and he's given him a lot of problems, you know? And Arnold's last fight wasn't very impressive either against... The guy who was formerly a Devin Haney opponent. Um, so when you see fights like this, it's a little concerning, you know. But Sean's a little awkward. He's a little tall, so I'll give a little a little time. But Sean is definitely landing his shots. They're not accident. And he needs to kind of get in the rhythm a little bit more if he wants to impress any of us. Because right now, if Arnold Barboza thinks he's going to get a fight with Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez... Esau Pitbull Cruz, um, any of Matias, you know, he's going to have to have a way better performance than what he's putting on right now because Sean McCone is landing a good amount of shots. It's a pretty close fight. Um, so, to fight, tonight's fight might be a draw to have another rematch for money. I hope not. Um, uh, here's say it again. Haney's losing. He's a blood sucking child person. Let's go, Ryan. Oh, we got one more fight to see it happen, right? Tio Fimo stops him in six. I favor Tio right now, guys. Um, I put 50 bucks on Ryan. So, how much would you make back? What, like 300 bucks? And, and Alexander fight. I mean, Arnold Barbosa fight. Oh, 
All right. All right. Let me cut this out right here. Put the. As in right now, I mean, I haven't really scored the round, but it's a pretty close 50-50 fight. I mean, they're, you know, Sean McComb right now is just kind of like moving comfortably. He's not really stressing too much about Arnold Barboza. And he's kind of making Arnold Barboza miss pretty often. Yeah, right now, Arnold Barboza needs to be able to kind of cut off the rain, apply better pressure, use his jab a little bit more. Because right now, I could see this being scored either or. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised if Sean's leading the scorecards because he's moving, he's landing his jabs, he's making Arnold Barboza miss. So, at the end of the day, if he wants any of these elite guys, he's going to have to perform a lot better. And Sean McComb is making it difficult, it's extremely competitive. Um, he's landing his jab, he's moving, he's turning. When he's on the ropes, he's starting to kind of give Arnold Barbosa a better look to land some power shots, but eventually he gets off the ropes and he's back on his bike. So, Might as well say the fight's April 21st, right? 3-1 Barbosa. What do you think, Tuan? Do you think Barbosa can hang with any of the top guys right now? Who you think is winning a fight? I can see it 2-2 two, two, two or 3-1 either, or it just depends on what you like. I've been kind of focusing in and out with the chat, but I do notice that Barboza is... He needs to be able to tie this guy down and, and kind of land better power shots. Because if he's not going to, I guess... Let me see. Time his right hand, right? Because I see a little whelp that's going on the right side of Barboza. Are you showing the Ryan fight? Two dollar super chat. What up, Tim? I appreciate it. No, we're just a, a live commentary chat, just hanging out. We're just a watch party. So, shout out Cedric Davis. He liked and subscribed. I appreciate it, my guy. McCone's putting up a better fight than I thought. I agree, Red. Right? I don't. I kind of stopped scoring, but I can already get a sense of vibe because I already assumed that Arnold Barboza was in a showcase fight. You know. And already, this new Sean McComb is showing that either one, Arnold Barboza is not as good. You know, maybe that's why top rank kind of blew out. But, you know, there's an opportunity here. And an opportunity is to get a vicious knockout on a Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia undercard and a call for one of these type of guys. Should I be smoking on live, bro, Johnny? If I if I was still smoking, absolutely. Um, Two fifty on Devin. Oh damn! Arnold Barboza is fighting right now, and he's in a tough fight with Sean McComb. Very competitive, I think. Um, based on it, you can tell Arnold Barboza is the stronger fighter, the aggressive fighter, and maybe the fighter that if he does land successfully. Could probably land a knockout shot, but Sean McCombs constantly moving. He has a pretty good shoulder roll going on. Every time he's on a ropes, he'll move. He's slick. I mean, he's kind of getting his best Caleb Plant on, you know. McCombs is definitely shying a little bit right now. Now, anytime Arnold Barbosa kind of gets him kind of close, he's trying to land a big shot, but you need to set up your jab. And I think with this fight, you got to just throw more than just trying to time this right hand. Sean McComb throws a good inside. I mean, damn, I'll be honest. Sean McComb is kind of kind of doing his thing a little bit right now. Such a lame match. Why hasn't it started? Fire's going to be sleeping. They're doing a whole shift just sitting there. Yeah, I agree. The fight should have probably started a little bit earlier. <clears throat> um, let's see. 250 on Devin. When does the fight start? We got one more fight. We're about halfway through. No problem, Lenny. 
Five hundred dollars on Ryan. You guys are throwing some big money around. When Mike fighting Jake Paul. Um, July twentieth. Yeah, at the AT and T Stadium. Haney stops Ryan. We're almost there, guys. We got one more fight. We got one more fight. Ain't, uh, aren't Ryan supposed to be walking out right now? We got he. You know it's boxing, dude. You know their their time frames all over the place. That's be Pharrell and against Dub. What's your thoughts on Tyson Fury, Callan? I think Tyson Fury is a really phenomenal fighter that rises to the occasion. Um, but I do feel it is, I'm a little concerned because after three tough fights with Deontay Wilder, it makes me wonder, you know, is he a little little damaged because you can't take fights like that. Um, okay, let's see. I think I got Devin's brother. Give me a second, guys. I think I got some behind-the-scene footage for you guys with Devin Haney in the dressing room. Going over to Devin's brother's Instagram. Let me see if he'll play some. So this is Devin Haney's brother right now. I think we might get a little footage of Devin working out a little bit. We're almost to that fight. It was almost to that time. This is Devin Heaney's brother right now. It's warming up. Almost to that time, guys. We got one more fight. Everyone is joining in right now. I'm in Devin Haney's brother's Instagram. He's, he's showing a little behind the scenes a little bit. <clears throat> DH was with Diddy like me. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are crazy. Yo, this, sh yo, Sean got the prime chain on. Devin's gonna come on with the the the, the Logan Paul prime chain on. 
We just got a sneak peek right there. Because his brother got the prime chain on, I can see. We got four more rounds in the co-main, and then the main event will start. What's the Instagram? Sean H. Money with three Ys. Devin's walking out with Diddy. <laughs> Yo, did someone say P. Diddy's behind me, bro? Um, who I got? I got Devin Haney winning tonight. The reason why I'm not able to play the audio is because they're playing a whole bunch of music that's copyrighted, so I don't want it to. But this is Devin Haney's brother. He's giving a little sneak peek. I see a prime chain around his brother's neck, so obviously we already know he's a prime fighter. Sean's just giving y'all a little sneak peeks. <laughs> my man, what is it, my man? <laughs> this is why y'all, the chat's so brutal. Sneak peek these nuts. Diddy was supposed to bring out Haney. All right, real talk, though. If Diddy did bring out Devin, what would you guys think? I love that, champ. I love that. That would be super awkward if he did walk him up. Did he hurt my balloon not years ago? Barbosa is losing, huh? So I wasn't crazy, right? Barboza was looking pretty rough in there. All right, so I'm gonna leave this up. Whatever happens, Sean shows Devin live stream. But looking at this Arnold Barboza fight, man, it's not looking good. I don't have a scorecard, but these highlights are not looking good. This dude, Sean McCone, is really about to walk in here and possibly get a win. Jonathan aside, Sean H. Money. Yeah. <laughs> When's the fight? We got one more fight. We got three more rounds in the co-main event. Arnold Marboza is in a tough fight with Sean McComb, which I did not expect. Fight in 20 minutes. They'll do the build up a little bit, but... Yep, I'll be calling a fight when the main event starts. 
as of right now, Arnold Barboza is in a tough fight with Sean McComb, which seems like a lot of people have him potential losing the fight. He just can't catch this guy. Sean McComb is moving. He's out thinking him. He's out boxing him. He's out in the inside, on the outside. He's doing a shoulder roll. Man, this is bad. Garcia hasn't been the same since he lost the tank. I mean, that's what happens. Check my bio. Kill Thrillers Gaming. You're a gamer, man? Oh, okay, let's get some audio. Okay, so no music you can that's when they would play it, but I have to take it now. I don't have control of what's live. They're shooting the fight right now. So I would say it's like they're just kind of winking at each other. Not only tied or not, but we have to take it. I'm sure that it's going to be But yeah, as of right now, we're in Devin Heaney's locker room via his brother. I gotta cut the music, I mean the audio off because the music again. Dude, I think Arnold Barboza is about to lose this fight. This whole entire fight has literally been Barboza trying to hunt down this taller, lankier boxer who has a shoulder roll like defense, light on his feet, turns him, gets out of the corner when on the ropes he gets off, he throws more than one punch. And Barboza's face is actually welted up. All right. So for everyone who's in here, I got Devin Haney winning this fight, but check this out. I was covering a fight. I bumped into Ryan Garcia's dad and Ryan and them. I'm telling y'all. If Ryan beats Devin Haney, I would take my shirt off and put this one right on. All week. I would do interviews with fighters all week. The undercard was underwhelming. I agree. That was not a really good undercard. I like the Charles Convo performance. I'm, I'm, I'm a big, big fan of Charles Convo. But yeah, very underwhelming undercard. All right, I don't know if he's going to show anything more in the locker room. All right, let's see. You got Ryan? I'm going for that. I'm just talking about boxing, bro. Oh, hold on. What's going on over here? So you can see there's Bill Haney right here. Did I bet on the fight? No. I don't bet in any fights. You only make money betting on a fight if you go underdog. Ryan. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's safe money to go with Devin, but that's only if you think the other person's going to win. Because Fendor got a lot of people... Fendor in the Tim Zoo fight, a lot of people made a lot of money on Fendor. So, but... This, this, let's just say, if, like, hypothetically, let's say Devin gets a cut, all right? Okay, he's about to end it. Okay, cool. We ended this stream. All right. Let me cut this off. Uh, Marley Cruz, Ron, what you what you do? Diddly knock on your door tonight. I I hate you guys. Technical difficulty.
We got one more. So we're pretty much 50 seconds left on my screen. One more round and we'll be ready for the main event. All right. I'm not going to lie. This undercard has been a little underwhelming, you know. You know, I'm a big, big fan of boxing. I've been covering it, but, you know, it feels like for a fight that has been built up and, um, how would I say it? And it's nothing on the fighters, right? It's more of how they have moved this. The main event is running later. The events, the cars need to be a little bit more exciting. It's not at the fault of the promoters. I'm sure they probably thought Scrappy was going to get a knockout. It was an upset. Um, Charles Conwell did a great thing. Vectomir. So, but. Uh, put here in. Cool. Cool. So we got about one more round. Let me bring up the chat. I'm a huge fan of boxing. Ryan was talking that heat. Let me put some. All right, cool. I'll put some music. All right, well, I'll read the chat. How you gonna switch on my handy like that? It's just for a fun bet. That's my me eating crow, right? I got Devin Haney winning the fight, but if, 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 just for the chat, for the fans, if, if, if I'm, if Ryan beats him, then I got y'all. Let me be a moderator. Who do need to get some moderators? He's commentating, not streaming it. Appreciate it, Charles. Yeah, I'm just keeping a buck with you guys. I'm kind of just waiting for the main event to kind of even talk because right now Arnold Barboza is looking terrible and by all means I got Sean McComb I don't have a scorecard but Sean McComb looks a lot better than Arnold Barboza in this fight and I'm sure I'll probably give Arnold Barboza a round or two away but <clears throat> I'm kind of just waiting for this fight to end now because this is what, two Golden Boy signees that would have lost? So damn, it's kind of rough. Will this be Ryan's last headliner after loss? No, I don't think so, too honest. Do you still have Barboza winning the fight, too honest? Just curious. Because I'm, I'm kind of watching, but I'm not. I know you were scoring. <clears throat> but I, yeah, he'll get a main event. He can fight Roley, you know? It just depends on who he fights. I hope Ryan wins, but I'm doubting it. I think, I think you know your boxing, sir. Stop yapping and put Ryan on knocking your boy out. I just think Devin's going to win the fight. That's all. Barbosa is not on form tonight. My grandma would beat him. Legal Eagles, right? I mean, this is not the first fight he kind of looked a little bad in. His last fight kind of looked a little rough, too, even though he got it. So, if he doesn't stop him, I think I think the Sean McComb guy, who I've never watched, and I cover boxing, never watched, is about to walk away with the win. We got one more fight, so probably like 20, 20, 30 minutes. The, no, the fight did not happen yet. We are in one, we got one more round, guys. One more round before the main event starts. So, and right now, um, you got it as a draw. Respect. You think the, um, I just saw Chris Mannix's um, scorecard. You think he's being a little biased? You think he's a little lopsided? So everyone that's coming in, no, there will be no actual live streaming. This is just a live chat, watch party. And once the fight is over, we'll be posting, we'll be filming and showing the post conference. We'll have interviews with Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, things like that. So, but while you guys are in here, we got an interview with Steven Espinosa. Just got posted about five minutes, and um, Honor Barbosa looks terrible in this fight. So um, it's boxing, you know, you win some, you lose some. You know, maybe we'll figure out what happened, but I got Sean McComb kind of edging this out, but I got the pre-fight right now, main event, uh, this is not pay-per-view, 
we got in this fight, brother. Um, I got Devin Haney by maybe like late stoppage. Uh, Ryan's brother hasn't fought yet. He'll be fighting on the Masvidal and Nate Diaz in the card. Draws a payday. What's the what's the what's the payout? Um, depends on the judge you're looking for. I feel everyone has different preferences. Yeah, I agree. I can't put on the actual fight, guys. I'm sorry. It's just a live chat commentary, so. And I'm telling you guys right now, so that you, if you guys are looking for a stream, I'm letting everybody know right now. If you guys are looking for the stream to watch the fight, we're doing a live commentary, so. But if you want to see the post-conference, afterwards, we'll have the interviews of um, Ryan, De Ryan and Devin Haney, so. All right. While they do that decision, I'm gonna play to Steven Espinosa. All right, Hans, time to throw fighthack.com. Here with Steven Espinosa. How you feeling tonight, brother? I'm good, man. I'm relaxed. I got no responsibilities tonight. <laughs> I, can, I can just sit and watch your fight. Um, you know, it's a pretty big fight tonight with Haney versus Garcia, obviously, but at least in my- Wait, my brain has to process and register. Steven Espinosa's at Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Really interesting. My opinion, nobody cares about my opinion. It doesn't really seem like there's too many people here. The atmosphere doesn't, it's not like really crowded in here. Like, how would you kind of describe the atmosphere right now, man? I mean, look, it, it's been a strange promotion. I mean, to say, to tell you the truth. I mean, there's a lot going on with Ryan. That's part of it. But look, I, uh, you know, candidly, you know, sitting outside things to some extent right now um you know there's not there's not there's a lot of shows going on a lot of shows being announced not a lot of promotion you know going on i mean like old school promotion you know flyers local radio like all that kind of stuff you know and that that's what i think is missing and i'm not putting my finger at any particular promoter i think that's a it's a flaw in the system you know uh, you know these uh Promoters and managers, the event producers, have become really dependent on the networks. And now we're in a period of transition. You're going away from the traditional TV network, going to other outlets. And I think, you know, now we've got to... The co-main the co -main just ended, so we're just waiting for the decision. And it's probably going to go Sean McComb and then the main event will start. So no more undercard fights. Start looking at how we're promoting our events again and really get back and connect them with the people to make these events what they should be. You know, I'm not gonna keep you too long. I know you got your, your lovely lady I right here. I got a hot here, pizza so, here. So, and yeah, a... I'm not gonna keep you too long, but um, just two quick questions. One, can you give me your, your your thoughts on who's gonna win tonight? You have no connections to either guy, so who do you give the edge to, man? Look, uh, I, they, they both have their strengths. Uh, I, you know, I've gotta go with Haney uh, just because of all the chaos that oh they going gave the one honor Barboza? damn what 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 wow wow what was the scorecards i'm watching the steven espinoza interview we just got wow with ryan you know and um, I think, you know, if Ryan was 100%, wow. you know, then, uh, you know, I think it's a toss-up fight. But there seems to be a lot going on. Maybe, you know, maybe he's going to prove us all wrong. You know, I hope he does. But it seems like there's a lot going on in that camp. I'm not sure he's as focused as maybe he would like to be. Gotcha. Just last question. Um, Tank officially announced this fight against Frank Martin. Finally, we have Dave Benavidez in the co-main event. What's your thoughts on the card overall? And do you think that Frank Martin is actually going to be Gervonta's toughest test, at least on paper? Uh, I, I, I think, you know, take your second. I'm going to pause Steven Espinosa real quick. Sorry. I'll be 100%. I'm kind of, as you can see, I'm running like a stream and I'm multitasking. I'm doing some, so I'm not 100% coherent. Now, um, I was looking at two, two honest has been in here and he's been kind of like, I, I don't know what it is, but I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, right? He's my kind of guy in the chat who's really giving a legit scorecard. He's watching, right? So he said, McCombs didn't dominate. I knew he wouldn't win. You can only run if you're defending. Okay. So I'm just glancing. I'm gonna give two honest benefit. This fight must have been really close, he said, a draw. So, um, I saw a couple comments in here talking about 
Richardson Hitchens and Teofimo Lopez, all right? I thought, I thought Teo could have lost that fight. And Richardson Hitchens was, could have been either or. So I'm not here to just say, look, I'm not surprised that all these guys won the fight. But from what I'm glancing, I guess I thought Sean did a lot better. But what does the chat think? No way Barboza won how. That was bogus fuck. See, boxing and all this gotta chill. So that would have been cool if Gustavo's Lemo, Jermaine Ortiz, and Sean McComb won. But like I said, I didn't really pay attention to the whole lunch. But regardless, the fact that Arnold Barboza won the fight, he need to get his stuff together because he cannot fight the top elite guys. If these are the performances he's doing with guys, he's not supposed to look like this. You know, and this is only me being a fair critic. If you really think you're gonna beat a Devin Haney, a Teofimo Lopez, um, you know, Matias, a Pitbull, any of these guys, Shakur Stevenson, you have to have way better performance than this because not only the fact that you'll be the B side to the fighter, but you have a tougher opponent. You're the A side of this fight. You're the A side. And it was a split decision. Oh, wow. So he almost lost that. Of course, they were Barbosa versus Matias or Haney, so it's better than McComb. I, uh, yeah, I agree. But still, man. Like, wow. Well, that's the end for the co main, man. We don't have to. We don't have to wait anymore, man. We just... All right. I mean, they're obviously going to do their talking and build up and stuff. But now we don't have no more fights, man. We can go straight into commentating that I can actually get all pumped up about. You know what I mean? Who won the fight wants to know. So, for everyone's coming in, we're waiting for the main event now. We're here. Home stretch. Uh, T-Fan was goofy as a boxer, but he knows how... Uh, I was Janos and Figueroa. Can't look and win same team border. Some sometimes fighters need to go in there and not leave it in the judge's hand. I agree, and that, and I'm assuming you're talking about Sean, right? Because he is the B side. He needs to. Um, when you know you're the B side to a guy and you're in a close fight, it's really not a close fight because decisions like this happen. So you have to, have to, have to, have to make it matter. So. I like Barboza. He's a fighter, no doubt. And you know, styles make fights, right, David? So maybe that was just a style that doesn't work in his favor. But if he was supposed to be the backup for Ryan Garcia, yeah, not a performance like that. This guy's so delusional. Garcia slaps. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually pay attention. And like, this, this is where I'll be actually heavily involved for the main event. So, fight's supposed to start at 12? No, it's not. Well, technically, yeah, on the East Coast, yeah. I'm on the West Coast, so. Yeah, Devin's warming up now. It's showing Devin, okay. A panic attack, a WTF. The hit in the pass, Ryan. I wonder if Ryan is, dude, this fight has so many questions, man. I don't know, man. Nerves are starting. I don't know. The nerves starting to kick in, man. I mean, he did fight Javante Davis. If it goes the distance, he will win a split decision. You think a split decision? $69.99 is a lot more to watch. Yeah, it's a lot. My mind says Devin Haney, but my heart says Ryan Garcia. All right, guys. Get them picks in, man. Can't switch. Can't switch. Let's see, fight night update. Let's see what they have to say. I'm gonna put this on mute really quick. So Devin Haney right now is a minus 800 and Ryan Garcia is a plus 550. These are some big odd difference, guys. These are some huge odds, to be honest. Plus 240 for Devin by knockout, so it's still, it's, Still not going to be, you know, a huge thing. But Devin, by decision, minus five, minus 
800, guys. Minus 800. Holy cow. Plus 5 fits for Ryan Garcia, minus 800, so. That is some wide odds, dude. So, if you're a Ryan Garcia fan, put some money. Put some money up because that is pretty crazy. But the chat says, I mean, the, the voting chat says 62% Ryan Garcia. And we got 87,000 votes. Crazy. But yeah, the fight hasn't started yet. They're going to get ready. All the undercards are done. Let's see. All right, let me. Are you streaming the full fight? No, we're going to be commentating. Um, I don't know Devin's weight today. My nerves are in the sky. Come on, let's go. 62%. Ha, ha, ha. I got 200 on Ryan. So, no, the fight hasn't started yet. They're getting ready. How long? It could be in minutes, man. All the undercards are done. Now we're just waiting for the first ring walk, right? No wolf tickets. Fight's taking long, cuz I know, man. Crazy Corvette. Does Haney look big? They haven't stepped in the ring yet, so. Oh, this is an Everlast commercial. I was like, they're showing Terrence Crawford, Alicia. Yeah, this was at Barclays Center. He looks bigger. Ryan looks a little heavier. Ryan by KO first round. All right, guys, start. We're just waiting, man. Mexico's with Haney. Does that La Raza stuff seem offensive? I've had some people tell me that they didn't like some of the DHP on the flag and stuff. If Haney wins, obviously it's the end of Ryan. Uh, I mean, probably at the highest level. I mean, he could still fight Roly. I would like to see that fight. I'm tired of moderator. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't moderate anyone right now, Yoni. I can't. Garcia fan's gonna be salty and I'll come back and laugh at point. He needs going for a body KO. Maybe. We got 88,563 votes and it's 62% positive Ryan Garcia. So, the chat says Ryan Garcia. I'm going against the chat, man. I'm going Devin Haney. Devin Haney, late, late stoppage. Joe Stewart says Haney don't look heavy. King and Queen TV. There'd be a lot of defensive boxing from Ryan in the first five rounds. Just before he starts unleashing those fast. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. All this coming up live on the zone. But yeah, I actually don't know how big um, these guys rehydrate to. Hopefully they'll be able to show us what they rehydrate to because it's been a big story about Devin rehydrating bigger in the Regis fight. So, but they're both about the same size, you would think, right? Betting the house on Devin. Who's going to win? The poll says, Ryan, I got Devin. Garcia for the dub. This fight's over by the six. By either or. Mine's gonna land that left hook. Can you at least play this the 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 sound? Damn. I don't know if I can even do that. They might strike the might strike it, man. Just so you guys know, we play this stuff, man. It hurts them. So it 
hurts their the revenue streams, all that stuff. So. Almost there though. Ryan never took the business. He has the Connor to Devin Jab. What time is in America right now? It is 8.59 Pacific. Who's going to fight Pitbull? I don't know. Maybe old man Barroso might fight him. All right. Let me see if we got any more interviews that came out. Uh, give me a second, guys. Haney roided after the weigh-in. Jeez. Haney by decision. Ryan will be sucked into Devin's traps all night. Let's see. <clears throat> it's Ari Devins. I'm going for. Rate for Haney like against Loma. You think so? Ryan better drink a gallon of water real quick. Rigged. Funny people think that you are going to stream. Nah, I know, Lewis. They're warming up in the backstage right now, so we're almost there. What do you guys think about Bill Haney coming out as Don King? You know, you think that was pretty funny? Fighters coming out moment now. The chat's on crack. <laughs> Haney's really not that easy to hit. Plus, he got a good chin. Defensively, he's far superior than Ryan. Ryan wants to brawl. Haney's going to hurt and catch Ryan slipping. I agree. That's a very good assessment. I think Ryan's definitely going to come out aggressive. Big fight. Jitters, man. No, I appreciate you guys, man. I appreciate you guys coming here, man. You know, you guys make this a lot easier, you know. Obviously, after the fight, so everyone knows after the fight's done, we're going to have interviews, post reactions, post conference. We're going to have Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney's words after the fight. Hopefully, maybe Della Hoya Hopkins. We're going to play all of it. We're going to break it down. You know what I mean? I'm sure I'm going to find Shakur tweeting. Devin uh, Javante might be tweeting. So I need to be on my A game real quick. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? I need to get my uh Um no sales for this fight felt bad for all these people in the ring. Nah that they they'll probably strike us for that too. You can watch the fight on the zone. If Ryan's going to go aggressive, he's done. I hope he can outbox Devin. I hate when promoters drug fighters and juice other ones. Haney's juice. You think so? You think the snack stuff? DHP is the future. Loma got robbed his last fight. Clear and might happen on his fight. Just a thought. Do you think this fight's going to get close like that? Or are you just saying if it was close, you would say that Devin would get the benefit of the doubt? Here we go. Ryan will end this once and for all. What up, Joe? You got Ryan? Hey, man. I, I'm telling you right now, Joe, and everyone in the chat, I got Devin Haney winning this fight. But I got this shirt from Devin Haney. I mean, Ryan Garcia's family last week. Free to children. I'm letting everybody know if I'm wrong, I will take this shirt off and wear this shirt. 
right here on live, and I will do all my interviews next week with this Free the Children shirt. <clears throat> kind of like an eat crow, right? I didn't bet. I didn't bet on this fight, but this would be kind of my way of essentially being wrong, right? We can't just be out here in media just giving opinions who we think we're going to win and lose and not have any accountability, right? So that's my essentially L that I would have to take, right? I think, I think media members should, if they get the fight wrong, should go wear the person they pick's clothes. They're kind of like, hey, yeah. no hard feelings, right? All right, so they're interviewing Devin. I'm assuming they're going to interview Ryan, and then they're going to come in the ring. So we're getting really close. <clears throat> Haney by Easy Money. Why are you saying everyone's rigged? Because that's what people say. I don't think it's rigged. Finish him. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. There might be. There might be some Mortal Kombat going on tonight on this main event. What's your Riz 1 through 10? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Haney's easy money. What's the delay on the fight? Someone please. All right, Ariel's interviewing Ryan Garcia right now. We're getting close, guys. Bible lover says the script was just released. Ryan will have a manic episode and run out the arena. If he does that, I will clip this and post this and give you all the props, Bible lover. Devin's going to get rocked. Um. That's what Ryan's going to need to do, man. It's very possible. Devin says he feels amazing. My man said D's is rigged. <laughs> guys are funny. It's almost happening, Galaxy Addicts. They're just interviewing Ryan. So now we're just waiting for the ring walk soon. Ryan Garcia said in the interview, this is a fight that he's really and willing to die for in the ring. So... We'll see, man. A motivated Ryan Garcia, maybe on the low key, and all this is antics. So, ah, oh, shit. The ring walks is about to start. Oh, they don't have the next day. Wait. All right. Well, both twenty-five years old. Both five eight. Oh, about five eight, five nine. Ryan Garcia's a little bit taller by an inch and a half. Ryan came in three point two pounds over. And Devin Haney has a two-inch reach advantage. So they're pretty much evenly matched. Um, Ryan Garcia has more knockouts. So. All right, guys. Yeah, I don't think Ryan Garcia's boxing career is over. He still has other people who can fight. Oh shit, Ryan Garcia is about to do his ring walk. Let's see what he got. What song? Detroit what? Shout out Compton. Real quick, while we're waiting for the fight, where are you guys all from and who do you guys have winning the fight? Just just tell me right now. Where are you guys from and who you guys have winning the fight while Ryan Garcia is about to do his ring walk? I got Devin Haney by stoppage and I'm out in Las Vegas. Where are you guys from? Appreciate it. He came up with Kanye. He has Kanye West playing. Oh shit. My man came out with Kanye West, y'all. 
You got the Jesus walks. Oh shit. What you guys rate? Uh, what do you guys rate? Uh, Ryan Garcia's ring walk. Kanye West Jesus walks. Is it appropriate? The Kanye West comparison. Oh shit! He just switched it up. Now he got the full blown, full Mexican prime music coming out. We're going to find out real quick, though, if this is a publicity stunt. All right, I'm going to try to click as many in the chat while you guys in here. Who you guys got? Who you guys got? Chicago, Ryan Garcia. Florida, and I want Haney. Colorado. What up, Anthony? Devin. Cali Gang. California, Garcia. Bay Area, San Jose. Casey Ryan, Tallahassee, Florida, Haney, AKO, shout out to Cleveland, Ohio, Haney, Haney, Los Alamos, California, Chicago, we're international, man, um, what else, who we got, we got Ryan Garcia, Alberta, Canada, Stockton, California is in here, Philippines in here, Tennessee, <clears throat> Texas, Hollywood's in here. Ah, oh, shit. Santa Rosa. All right, Ryan Garcia is <clears throat> in the ring. Now we guys gotta wait for Devin Heaney, guys. Got Texas. Texas and Ryan's getting slept. South Africa, Ryan Dow. Uh, who you guys got? Who you guys got, man? Where you from and who you guys got, man? I got Devin Haney by Stoppers, Las Vegas, man. I did like I did like the Jesus walk. <clears throat> if it was fitting to this whole entire buildup. So. All right. Ryan is in the ring. Devin, I mean Devin Haney's about to do his ring walk. Ryan Garcia came out to Jesus Walks, and then he switched it to um, one of like traditional Mexican songs that Canelo walks out to. Um, 99 cent super chat from MRock. Appreciate the support, man. I'll throw that to a coffee. Oh shit, Devin Haney coming out to what, 21 Savage? Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. Haney for La Raza. Jamaica, Ryan. Yeah, he did switch it up. Ryan, Australia. Ryan, Fort Texas. Phoenix, Arizona. Haney, so yeah, we got a little bit of everyone. What nationality am I, bro? I am black and Korean, man. With a little bit of Cherokee. Twenty one Savage. Yep. We're getting close, man. Devin's almost to the ring. They're gonna do the announcement and then they about to fight. So I don't want none of you guys switching now, right? Once you guys set it in this chat, it will be immortalized who you have winning the fight.
Puerto Rico for Ryan. Texas and Ryan, Sacramento, Ryan, <clears throat> Garcia, Dublin. Damn, there's a lot of Ryan Garcia in this chat. <clears throat> a lot of you guys got Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia. Puerto Rico, Ryan Garcia. Diamond Heaney's almost in the in the ring right now. For everyone that's coming in, I am not going to be showing the fight. I'm pretty much just doing just a live chat commentary, so... <clears throat> if you guys are trying to look for the fight, you better look, man, because right now this is clearly going to just be a live chat commentary. So, $20 super chat bump over leaps. I appreciate it. That's a big amount of money, so I appreciate it. Uh, I got 4K on Devin from St. Louis. That's why you comfortably throwing super chats because you about to make some money. Okay, respect over leaps. You've been watching a lot of fight hype videos, right? You've been watching a lot of fight hype videos. I'll remember you overlaps. Overlaps 618. Appreciate that, man. $2 super chat. <clears throat> Worst Rider Society. Hey, you. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate you guys, man. Ooh, man, fight. Ooh. The adrenaline's coming up, man. It's fight time, man. Oh shit. Devin's in the ring. Ryan's in the ring right now. Alright, if you guys if you guys got a you guys got um Ryan by KO or Devin by KO. This is this is where you guys will really shine. Alright, this is where you guys will really shine on the platform. If you guys can predict, if you guys are predicting KO, what round? If you guys can predict <clears throat> What round, whatever fighter goes down, if there is a KO. Hold on, real quick, I need to switch this because I'm not going to be able to show the whole chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, right here. I got the chat right here on the side, right? Let me see, let me see. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, <clears throat> all right the chat's right here. Say it. Before the fight's over, this is proof, all right? What round, I got your names right here, all right? All of it's coming on right here. So if anyone's calling you a liar, your cap, it's not true, you didn't call the fight right, yada, 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 your bullshit, right? Yada, yada, yada. The fight hasn't started. They're in the ring. Make your predictions. If you got the count, if you, if you got it by KO or TKO, what round, okay? So that when your friends say that you don't know shit about boxing, when when you're challenged all the time saying, oh man, you that's cap, of course you said it, that's not yada yada, all that shit that you always hear people say from your work, from your school, all that right here. This is proof. This is proof. I am ingraining this forever on the biggest boxing platform that you know your shit in boxing. You watched all the interviews on Fight Hive, all the stuff from Ryan Garcia, all the stuff from Devin Haney. Now this is bragging rights, okay? Right here, this is the moment. I need all you guys to tell me who you guys got winning. If you got KO, who, what round? Because right now, this is the ultimate biggest bragging rights in boxing right now. Not only the fact that you got the person right, but you got the round, guys. <clears throat> so for everyone who's sitting here saying, oh, okay, he's not watching the fights, cap, yada, yada. It's, it's, it's about to go down. I just gave a little snip. I can't show it to you guys, right? Because we'll get a copyright, right? The zone is serious about it. So <clears throat> this is just a live fight watch party. We're here just to chat with you guys, talk about a react. You know, we're going to have a lot of interviews. Right when this fight's over, we're going to have tons of interviews. So stay here. We're going to play all the post interviews. We're going to play Ryan Garcia's first words, Devin Haney's first words, all the reactions. So please stay here. We're not going to end the stream after, but I will be giving my honest, my honest opinion. So, but right now I got Devin Haney winning this fight by stoppage. So, we're almost there. They're announcing Devin Haney right now. You came in the perfect time, Illmatic. You guys, you came in the right time, man. So, and just so you guys know, I want you guys to know right now, if if you guys pick Ryan Garcia and I'm wrong, this is proof that you guys are rubbing it in my face. This is my face right here with your comment saying Ryan Garcia. Essentially like a big, big, you don't know shit about boxing moment, right? 
So, can we hear? I, I can't play it because they can still get us for the audio, but I might maybe do a quick little two second, you know, but. Oh man, all right, all right, y'all. Oh man. All right, everyone, get, get your scorecards out and all that stuff. I'm gonna be scoring this with you guys too, all right? <clears throat> We got over 100,000 votes in the chat. We got Ryan Garcia as the popular. 63% says Ryan Garcia is going to win the fight. Over 100,000. I'm going against the chat, guys. I got Devin Heaney. Aw, oh, snap. $2 super chat from the Worst Rider Society. I appreciate you, my guy. All right, so I got to get down to counter. All right, so, so it looks like Ryan Garcia is definitely in the center ring. It's a boxing match. Off rip. Devin Haney is in his kind of slick defensive style. He's doing a lot of feints. Ryan's fainting with them. Not this aggressive start. Um, actually, Ryan's actually moving a little bit forward. He's trying to cut Devin Haney off a little bit. Devin is reaching a little bit with the jab. Ryan's putting a little bit of pressure. He's pawing with his left. His left jab goes right, lands a good right to the body. Quickly, Ryan is going to a quick left right. Oh, shit! Ryan Garcia lands a... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Ryan Garcia lands a very devastating left shot that hurt. Kind of buzzed right. Devin Haney. Holy shit! Devin is in a little bit of trouble right now. In a little bit of trouble right now. Ryan Garcia lands a crazy good lead shot. That kind of bump was good right body shot by Ryan Garcia. Right, oh my God, Ryan is putting this aggressive. Devin is in trouble within the first minutes. Devin better hold. Ryan is landing all types of crazy shots, guys. Guys. Everyone who said Ryan Garcia has a chance early rounds, this is what it is. And he didn't really jump on him. He patiently landed. It looked like almost was like a jab. I don't know if it was hooked, but he landed it and Devin reacted very, 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 very badly to it. But right now, Devin is in the center round, in the center, <laughs> center in the ring. He's trying to pretty much recoup. He's putting his high guard up a little bit. He's trying to faint. Good lead left hook. It seems like Devin's starting to Starting to get a little bit composed, guys. Starting to get a little composed. I'm not even lying. That was a very scary first first minute. Ryan definitely did get Devin's attention, and shit got real. But it looks like Devin's starting to kind of get a little bit back in composure, guys. Yo, that was crazy, guys. That was crazy. Now Devin's starting to look like he's trying to walk Ryan down a little bit. Ryan's on his back foot. Knowing that he probably comfortably won the first round. Ryan swaying back and forth a little bit side to side. Devin's starting to put a little bit of pressure now. No punches have thrown. A lot of this is a lot of feints. You know, trying to set up, trying to get someone to open up. Not a lot of action, but you can feel the intensity. And immediately the first round automatically. I got it, guys, guys, guys. That was a Ryan Garcia round. That was a Ryan Garcia round. Immediately. Not even a question. He might have caught Devin Code, but whatever excuses, guys, listen, whatever excuses you guys have, Ryan Garcia landed that shot, and he did get Devin's attention. So the first round immediately, look, I've been pretty chill energy-wise this whole time, but um, first round, Ryan Garcia. First round, Ryan Garcia, 10-9, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, 10-9. Anyone who has Devin, the first, first 10, if anyone gave Devin Haney the first round, you were absolutely, absolutely insane, by far. Not even a question, not even a question. Look, I got this, I picked Devin, look, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I got Devin Haney winning the fight. I got Devin Haney winning the fight. But you see this free children's shirt? If I, if Devin loses, I have to wear this shirt. This is a shirt from the Garcia family they gave me last week. I have to wear this. I might have to wear this if that's how Ryan's coming in this fight. 
But first round, Ryan Garcia, anything can change. Devin can kind of get back and get composed, but immediately. Whoever said that was not in the script, you're 100% right. So we're in the second round now. Seems like Devin needs to kind of get kind of get a little together, you know. No drama has been after that. Like, nothing else has happened. But that first minute was very exciting. The one thing I don't like seeing Devin right now, um, and he has the longer reach, and even though Ryan's a little bit longer, is that he's kind of reaching a little bit. I don't know if that's because of Ryan Garcia. Oh, shit. I don't even know if my camera... Guys, guys, guys. I'm getting so hyped right now. My camera went out for a second, guys. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm over here tripping. So right now Devin seems like he has to control in the middle of the round. As of right now, um It's a lot of fainting now. And you know, and and, and maybe Ryan's get, is a lot more <laughs> better of a boxer than a lot of people give credit. Devin is kind of winging. I don't know if there's some nerves or I don't know if he's still but all these shots that Devin is throwing seem a little bit wide and Ryan's getting out the sh out of the way a little bit. Um, Devin's definitely the more technical fighter when it comes to kind of setting up and things like that. But what Ryan's doing is very minimal. He's doing a lot of simple movement, not doing much, getting out uh, Devin's hooks. You know, this is kind of the first time I've seen Devin kind of throw a lot of winging shots. They seemed a little wide. Um, not a lot of jabs from Devin. Good right hand over the top from Devin. There's a lot less action than the first round. Ooh, Devin lands a good right hook. Okay, okay. Seems like Devin is starting to get a little bit better, but at the same time, you know, you have to respect Ryan. You know, after that first round, you're kind of on the edge because at any moment, you can feel like Ryan can land something crazy. That was still, I'm still like, the adrenaline is still high off that first round, but Devin's starting to pick his shot. He's being very patient. You can see that he's trying to set Ryan up. A lot of fame, not a lot of action. A lot of posturing and posing, but, you know, he's trying to get Ryan off his game, and Ryan's kind of locked in. You don't really see Ryan biting on any of these things, which is really impressive because, you know, Devin has really good feints. He gets a lot of his people off, you know what I mean? But Ryan's really locked in, laser focused in. And I have to give Ryan Garcia props, man. He's boxing a lot better. His defense is way better than his Oscar Duarte fight. He probably learned from the... Um, the Gervonta Davis fight, not to be overly anxious and overly eager. Even when he kind of buckled Devin, he didn't jump on him ridiculously. So, um, very kind of low action second round. I might give it to Devin because he was seemed a little bit more busier and tried a little bit more. But I'm still riding the high off that Ryan Garcia fight. I mean, first round. So, um, not a lot happened in that second round, but I, I'll give it to Devin. You know, I kind of see him, he's just trying to get Ryan off his game. And right now, you know, Ryan is really locked in. Even though Ryan seems locked in, I'm still going to give the second round to Devin. Um, only because I just didn't really see a lot happening. Um, you must select the reason why. Um, let's say control the action, yeah. So, so yeah. First round Ryan, second round Devin. What do you guys think, man? What do you guys got, man? A lot of you guys who said Ryan Garcia, man. I got 1-1, one, one, but that first round, let me know at any moment, man, Ryan Garcia can get this going. Yeah, there was a good right hand in the second round that um, um that landed well on Ryan, which is probably enough, but... Wow, so this is what Devin has to watch out. When Devin throws his right hand, Ryan's going to counter with his left hook, guys. Keep this in mind. When Devin comes over to the right, right, which is going to be kind of running into Ryan's lead left hook. So Ryan might try to land that. Good right hand from Devin Heaney. Oh, man, my camera is going on and off, man. Ryan has a really good left hook, man. And I'm not just saying that just because of the fact that's what everyone says, but he's actually showing it in this fight. He's landing it to a guy who's known to have really slick defense. And he's landing it pretty comfortably. Good left hand at the top, good left hand to the body. My question is, does Ryan have a right hand in this fight? All right. Big, wild, leaping left by Ryan Garcia. That miss, you can tell he tried to really load up on it. 
Ryan's trying to measure up his left hand and actually try to throw a right hand. So what's really dangerous is that there's a lot of dipping that Devin Haney's doing, right? So a lot of, and I, someone in the chat, I couldn't remember, told me that Ryan, I mean, Devin dips down a lot. So with that, there's a lot of opportunity for you to kind of get caught right in between. So I don't know if Ryan's trying to set him up, kind of biting, you know, dipping down, but you know, you can see Devin's taking a lot of the feints and a lot of, a lot of it. Garcia wins with uppercut. That could be possible. Not a lot of action in this, this round. Still a lot of posturing, a lot of, you know, setting each other up. Some attempts. Ryan's starting to be a little aggressive, throwing a right hook, left hook, miss. Devin goes back, sl slips the punches. You know, no punches landing. Now the ref is getting between. I think he's, he's feeling like they're kind of getting a little too rough. Um, he warns kind of both these guys a little bit. Warns Devin in this part right now. Oh, good left hook by Devin Haney. Devin Haney hits Ryan with a good left hook. Ryan ate it, but you can tell it caught his attention. Made him fly back a little bit. I don't know if Ryan's hurt, but he definitely definitely looked a little bit off. Ryan has a good poker face. He's stepping forward, but great left hook by Devin Haney. Might have been enough to win the round so far. Another leaping left hook by Devin Haney. Devin goes left to the body, left jab to the body. So Devin, Devin, Devin's looking like he's going to take some chances in this fight. We might have a fight going on right now. You know? You know? Wow. So Devin, Devin's going left jab to the body, left jab to the body. Ryan's throwing a left hook, misses, right to the body, just barely hits. They're clinching up right now. About 10 seconds left. Put on the shirt, bro. Free the children. <laughs> Yo, that first minute, I almost had to get the whole jumpsuit for the free the children outfit, man. Oh my lordy. I think, I think Devin won that round as well, simply because he landed a really good left hook twice. Not a lot of action going on, but you can see this fight, the intensity feels high because there's a lot of movement. And because you guys know, you guys all know boxing, right? It's the greatest chat. Greatest chat in boxing. I'm all awake now. Um, these are counter punches. So they're they're trying to posture and open each other out. So there's a lot of m movement, right? Um, think of it like um, a game of flinch. They're trying to make each other flinch constantly over and over and over and over and over. And that's what you're seeing. But Ryan was short of the amount of punches landed and Devin landed a couple better shots. So I'm going to give... I'm going to give Devin... Man, I think my camera's overheating. I'm all hyped. He might. But I'm going to give Devin Haney that round um, just because he landed those couple left hooks. So, um, all right. All right, guys. I'm going to leave my camera off for a couple of seconds to just kind of let it go. In. I'm all hyped right now. But fourth round, I got Devin Haney. 2-1, Ryan Garcia essentially rocks Devin Haney in the first round and had the whole boxing world and the whole world going crazy. Ryan Garcia is throwing a couple of hooks. One landed pretty well. These guys are about to fight. These guys are about to fight. <clears throat> I'm sensing a little bit more aggression from Devin, like he's going to have to get some respect. And I feel like Ryan knows that there was a couple rounds possibly stolen from him, so he's going to take some risks. Ryan Garcia is actually attempting to do the shoulder roll. He actually went into the shoulder roll position for a little bit. I don't know if that's just because of the simple fact that, you know, maybe he's a little frustrated, right? That he's not having the same immediate success he had in the first round. But Devin's starting to walk him down a little bit. Good jab. Slips the left hook. Now they're clinching. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfort from Devin now. You know, the first round, you can see Devin looked really bewildered, a little bit, you know, a little confused. Um, kind of reminiscent of Floyd Mayweather and Shane Mosley, right? Um, Devin is starting to now be offensive. He's starting to put on a little bit more pressure. They're clinching on the ropes. Ryan's clinching Devin. Um, so the ref is grabbing both of them. He's warning both these guys. It seems like he's not a fan of what, you know, the referee Harvey Doc's not happy. But um, this fight looks like, oh, another lead left hook by Devin Haney lands. Devin's starting to beat Ryan Garcia with the leave left hook, but Ryan leaps and almost lands a glancing right hook right after Devin Haney threw a left hook. They're starting to take chances, guys. And when you're starting to take chances, someone's about to get hit. And they're, they're hooking, not essentially at the same time, they're hooking with the lead hooks. It's almost now a battle of who has the better left hook because 
Devin is challenging Ryan's left hook. It's a battle of the lead hand. So now, not only the fact that there's timing and speed, but essentially, instead of trying to jab and land a shot from the back, they're literally trying to catch each other with the lead hand. So don't be surprised if, a knockout, if someone gets knocked down like that because they are using their lead hand, which is the fastest and most direct punch to the face. Devin seems a lot more comfortable this round, and Ryan's starting to back up in this fight. He's starting to kind of almost seem like he's trying to bait Devin in. Like, okay, okay, you want to be the aggressor? All right, cool. I'm just going to wait till you, and then pop, which you normally see Ryan Garcia do in a lot of his fights. But at this moment, you kind of question, is that Ryan's game plan, or is that Ryan's second game plan, where now he may be not doing what he wants to do, and now he has to resort to maybe doing something like, I wouldn't call it desperation, but um, out of spite of what Devin's doing. And right now what Devin's doing is effective, and I'm going to have to give Devin this round as well. He's pushing action. He's landing his punching. Not a lot of drama like the first round. Ryan maybe even potentially be gassing out a little bit because remember, guys, greatest chat in the world. Ryan Garcia came in 43, I mean 143.2, three pounds over the limit, right? So it makes you wonder. With that extra weight, you know, is he actually in shape for this fight? Um, is there any concerns for uh, Ryan Garcia? Um, let me see control of the action. So right now, as much drama and as exciting that first round was, which a lot of people predicted, if Ryan was going to get Devin, it was going to be the first three rounds. Um, that was his moment. And it almost happened within the first 30 fucking seconds, man. First 30 seconds, man, he almost knocked out. I don't want to say knock out, right? I don't want to over... Because Devin was on his feet. He ate the shot. But I can tell that Devin didn't like the shot. And it was a lot of high-state drama. And we can... You know, they're going to ask Devin about that. And we're going to get his actual reaction after the fight. But other than the first round, and maybe, yeah, it's been Devin Haney after that. And so I got 3-1. Um, we're in the fifth round. 20 seconds in. Devin Haney's back. He has the control of his center and ring. Ryan Garcia is kind of forced to now go back and turn into a boxing match. I'm starting to feel that Ryan might get desperate, guys. And when I mean desperate, he might take... And a lot of the chat also mentioned this. Ryan might take a desperation attempt to be aggressive, take some chances, and that's when it might, might maybe walk into something. But as of right now, Devin's putting a lot of pressure. He's almost essentially trying to walk him down. Ryan's almost in the corner. A lot of posturing again. These guys are great counter punchers. Ryan's trying a lot with his right hand, which I was wondering, is the right hand going to be added into this fight? But good right hand counter by Devin Haney when Ryan overreached with his left hand. Ryan's starting to get a little bit lazy. He's starting to get a little bit, you know, careless. He's starting to take chances where he doesn't need to. He's just trying to force an opening. Devin, who's just being very patient, and he's pushing the pace. And I don't know if he's sensing maybe Ryan's getting tired, but he's trying to maybe fatigue him. Um, Ryan does not look as comfortable as he did as the first round. Maybe Ryan was trying to conserve his energy because he probably knew this might be a longer fight if he doesn't get him out. But, but this is a very, 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 very bad situation for Ryan if he has to rely on simply only a left hook. You can't, you can't, you can't just rely on one punch. So I need to see a little bit more from Ryan, a little bit more versatility. You know, um, a lot of pressure from Devin Haney. Devin Haney is essentially putting him back on his feet. And maybe, guys, maybe he's pushing Ryan on back foot because maybe he feels that Ryan can't fight on his back foot. And because if he can't fight on his back foot, he might not be able to execute and land the shots that he needs to to actually hurt Devin Haney. So, um, Ryan's trying to truly set him up. I agree. There's a lot. I feel like this is plan too. He's trying to set him up, you know, if he wants to be the aggressor. But you have to have really good timing and good leverage to kind of get that off. So this could be very dangerous too. Keep in mind that if Devin gets a little too comfortable and too reckless, he can walk into some trying to be the over aggressor. But Ryan, uh, Devin tries with another lead left hook, barely misses. Not a lot of. This round isn't really a round where you're like, wow, this is amazing. But what you're seeing is Devin take control. He's starting to push the pace. 
have Ryan on his back foot. He's starting to land a couple of his shots, you know, here and there. And it's starting to make Ryan Garcia look essentially uncomfortable. And when you have a round like that, that's how you score a round when there isn't a big action. Yeah, Devin landed a couple more punches. But that round for you guys, if you don't really know too much, that would be considered an effective aggressor, right? Who kind of was able to control the pace and put Ryan in a place where he didn't really was able to get anything off. So as of right now, I'm going to give that round also to Devin Haney. Um, I would say control the action. So, so what do you guys have in the chat, guys? Let me know what you guys, if you guys have something similar or something different. I have 4-1 Devin Haney, and I gave only the first round to Ryan Garcia. Um, but Ryan, keep in mind, has a puncher's chance, and anything can happen. So, And I think at any moment, uh, Devin Haney can potentially get dropped because Ryan is a sneaky, strong, fast puncher. So, All right, 6-12, guys. Ryan's starting to take some chances now. He did a nice little combination up in the circle. He's starting to throw. Oh, oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan's starting to land. Ryan's starting to land on Devin. Ryan's starting to land on Devin. Devin Haney's smiling a little bit, but Ryan's throwing hooks after hooks after hooks. You can smile all you want, you know, and smiling in boxing usually means, all right, good one, good one. All right, good shot, good shot, good shot, good shot. And that's essentially what Devin was telling him without telling him. Good moment, good shot, you know what I mean? But right now, after that nice flurry, Devin Haney's starting to walk Ryan Garcia back down. Back right hand that lands on Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney's starting to come up. Ryan Garcia starts to clinch. Harvey Doc comes in. He's trying to break him up. Ryan Garcia, remember, some of the chat was saying that he might be getting a little bit tired. So, I see some three twos, three twos. Okay. So, it seems like everyone pretty much got Devin up, either three two or or whatever the, the margin is, four one or. But keep in mind, that was a great flurry from Ryan Garcia in the beginning, which might start him to win the round, but he has to continue the next two minutes. So, that might have took a lot of energy from Ryan Garcia. And he has another minute and a half to get through to kind of win that first minute of that round. Because I would say Ryan did land some good shots. Kind of got Devin a little bit moved on. But Devin's starting to get back in control. Two right hands to the body. Harvey Dock is heavily involved into this fight. The referee's definitely... I don't know why... I don't know what he's telling Devin Haney in this moment. But, but Ryan comes up. There's some clinching. Harvey Dock's starting to split it up. You know, there's a lot of clinching engaged from Ryan Garcia at this moment, which makes you wonder. He's starting to get tired. Ryan's starting to tuck his head a little bit. Clinch engaged again by Ryan Garcia, you know. Devin Haney starting to walk him down. Good left attempt that Ryan Garcia did try to do a jab, but Devin got out of the way. Ryan's starting to now target to the body a little bit, guys. Keep in mind, I saw a lot of you guys in the chat that was talking about, hey, he's looking a little bit tired. What do you do with a guy that's tired? You start targeting the body. What does that do? Make him more tired. Kind of essentially put what I think Teddy Adler's would always say, put water in the basement, all right? You fill it up, right? So essentially, he's trying to make Ryan a little bit heavy with some of those body shots. And those right hooks were starting to target, which will eventually drop the hands of your opponent where you can't be as defensively sound. Ryan's doing a lot of movement, taking a lot of energy. Still not the most action-packed fight. Um... You know, 10 seconds left, it makes you sit here and wonder. All right, Ryan had a very good first 30, 30, 40 seconds. Good last jab by Ryan Garcia right there. This might not be the best round, but if I would give Ryan Garcia another round, this would be the round I would give him. Because of the first minute or so, he started landing a little bit on Devin. Devin started to kind of come back a little bit in control. Then Ryan kind of landed a nice little left. So I want to be mad either or, guys. If you guys gave either or, you know, five, you know, that round to Devin or to Ryan. I'm going to be courteous, guys. I'm going to be great. I'm going to give Ryan that round because I I did like the beginning, right? As much as Devin smiled and tried to get back into the uh, into the beginning. Um, let's see. Uh, uh more uh, significant punch combo. Okay, I'm going to give that. So, 
I'm gonna go give Ryan that round. But keep in mind, guys, Ryan's starting to show me that he can throw dangerously for a little bit, but then start to fade away, right? Start to fade. Slick Nick, you do not have 6 0 for five. You stop it, bro. You do not. You did not give Devin that first round. Stop it. There is no way. You did not 6 0 Devin Haney. But I, 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 there's no way. There's no way anyone gave Devin that first round, which is okay, right? But I'm going to be curious. I'm going to give Ryan that second round. We're in the seventh round now. Um, I got four rounds to Devin, two to Ryan. One could have went either way. Um, I'm cool with 5-1. So, um, so two minutes, 26. So it's, it's still kind of very similar to the fight. Ryan's starting to try to be aggressive in the first minute round. Good left. Oh! in trouble guys Devin is down first time Devin Haney has been on his ass guys oh whoa 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 Ryan hits at hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm just, guys let me process let me speak let me speak Ryan drops Devin Haney Devin Haney is hurt Devin Haney gets up Ryan's trying to do some damage the ref gets in between tries to break the ref tells him break Ryan hits him during the break and guess what, guys? He got a point deducted. But as of right now, Devin Haney is on his bike, guys. Devin Haney is on his bike. And he is going back. Guys, this is not looking good for Devin Haney right now. Ryan Garcia is starting to put, starting to put the aggression off. <laughs> oh, my God. He's starting to pile it up. Guys, he's putting a lot of damage. We're in the seventh round. Guys, Devin Haney is all over the floor. You know, I mean, look, Devin is doing everything he needs to do. Stay recouped. Guys, 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 guys. Devin Haney is trying to get out this round. He got one minute left. So even though there was a knockdown by Ryan, he took a point away from him, guys, for hitting. Ryan is landing vicious right hooks, good left hooks. And Devin Haney is there. He is there on his feet. And guys, we have a fight, guys. We have a fight, guys. Devin Haney was dropped by Ryan Garcia in the seventh round. Ryan Garcia hits Devin Haney when the rubber's trying to break. Takes away a point. Guys, what the fuck is going on? This ref... Needs to let this fight happen. What is he doing? What is he doing, guys? <laughs> Just let them fight, man. <laughs> All right, man. I hate to put it in like this, man. But I got to put in uh, a 9-9. Nine, nine. Um... That lead left hook, guys. That lead left hook to a right. That was almost vintage Deontay Wilder on Tyson Fury. Guys, this is a this is a hell of a fight, guys. Um, what's the knockdown? Now, guys, remember, you, a lot of guys have questioned Devin Haney's chin, right? Is this a matter of Devin Haney doesn't have a chin or Ryan Garcia can punch? Because I am very surprised that this fight is still going on. Because Devin was hurt. Devin was hurt. My man said, wear the shirt. Wear the shirt. Hey, I, I'm a man of my word. I told everyone I picked Devin Haney. But if Ryan Garcia wins, this is, this is a shirt from the family of Garcia. I got to wear this shit. Free the children. I got to wear this shit. This is where the damn shirt is. I keep hitting this damn camera. I'm all hype. Guys, 66, 65 is what Chris Mannix has it. And that's what I have it too. Oh shit, yeah, I gotta do. 
Oh my god. All right, all right, all right, let me get together. All right, eight, we're in the eighth round. Minute in, Ryan Garcia is starting to press the action. He's starting to... I wonder if Ryan Garcia used a lot of his energy in that round, man. Because right now... I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Devin's there 100%. And with that simply said, if Ryan has a little bit more energy, he could probably land one more shot that can get Devin hurt. You know... This is one of those fights, guys. These are one of these fights, man, when it comes down the championship rounds, right? Wow, guys. Ryan Garcia has dropped Devin Haney, guys. All right, all right. Eighth round, minute and a half. Not a lot has happened. Devin's trying to press the action. You know, maybe he's trying to do poker face. He's trying to, you know, convince Ryan, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm ready. I'm good, I'm good, I'm ready. So... And Ryan Garcia slicks his hair back, doing his little pretty boy thing. And right now, the fight is pretty much almost neck and neck, simply off the, the knockdown alone. Um, if you feel like that was a... Damn, dude. Point deductions because Haney's supposed to, uh, to win if it goes 12. Hey, man, if you, if you guys feel like this is the script, man. <laughs> this is the script. Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney is a very close fight, and this can be controversial at a certain point. This eighth round is kind of low in action. I don't really see anyone really winning the fight. Um, but there is, a, there is a little bit of holding from Ryan Garcia from the early rounds, but there is a lot of power on that left hook. So I'm so confused. Is Ryan tired? Is he not? Is he trying to bait him in? Or does he just have freakish power? That at any moment, he can catch him. And there's no way, even if he wins, he didn't get that belt. I know, so the sad thing is Ryan doesn't get this belt if he beats Devin Haney because he did not make the contractual obligated WBC belt. So, this is definitely a fight that if you felt that Lomachenko gave him adversity, Ryan Garcia has stepped it up and he's given Devin Haney a real, real problem. This is what I'm starting to see, guys. And I don't... I don't know how to score that wrong because it was kind of low next. I feel that Ryan Garcia takes maybe a round, right? He maybe might take a round off. I know, right? The ref sucks. I don't, yeah, Harvey Doc is kind of getting away. I'm going to say this right now. I think Ryan Garcia is taking a round off so that he can explode in the next round. He might give up a round or two. But if he recharges and he can produce another type of round, just like he did before, guys, we might be looking at another potential knockdown. Because I right now am not getting anything that feels that Devin Haney can hurt Ryan Garcia, let alone kind of get off that same type of drama. Devin's going to have to win these next rounds convincingly because Ryan at any moment can drop your ass again, which is not what you want to be in. You do not want to be in this position. So, I'm just going to score that as a draw because I, I um, not saying I score draws, but um, even round. And I'll come back to that round later if it's a tiebreaker. All right, when a knife round, Devin Haney starting to put the pressure back on Ryan Garcia, and it's starting to look back when Devin was in control. All right, man, I'm hyped, Willie. I'm sorry, I'm sucking describing the fight, man. This shit's crazy. Ninth round, um, Devin Haney's definitely looking like he was in the other rounds. He's starting to get control a little bit. He's starting to control the pace a little bit. Ryan's been on his back for, for quite some time, a little bit now, making me wonder: Is he recharging or is he tired? Did he blow his load in that previous round? Devin Haney's starting to target the body, right hook to the body. Devin Haney's starting to come back. It's starting to be a Devin Haney round now. He's starting to throw some shots now, left hook to the body. He's starting to press the action again. Ryan's starting to look, once again, as, uncontrol uh, as uncontrollable as he was before. Um, there's a lot of breaking going on with this ref, and I wish there was a little bit more just letting them work it out. This is a ref that's not letting them work out the clinch, and I'm perfectly fine with quick breaks, but let them work it out a little bit. Right? Let these guys kind of do a little bit, get a little bit more in control. Right now, Ryan Garcia looks tired, guys. He looks tired. 
He's starting to leap. You know, he, he doesn't look like he's he's able to land that type of snappy punch that he did a little bit earlier. Devin's starting to come, come back a little bit more in control. And Ryan's doing a lot of holding, guys. A lot of holding. Damn, man, I got my camera all fucked up and shit. Let me get my camera a rest, guys. Fight out super chat from DZP Nuts. Appreciate it. Diddy as her party. <laughs> So as in right now, Devin Haney looks like he's in good control, guys. He's in good control. I'm going to move this to the intermission real quick just because my camera ain't on right now. Put the chat up. This is crazy. Oh! Haney was a little indecisive, comes in, and I believe he got caught with a right uppercut from Ryan Garcia, if I'm not mistaken. Right hook by Ryan Garcia. Left hook by Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney starting to go back. Ryan Garcia is starting to explode. Instead of exploding the beginning of the round, he's trying to steal the round. Was this enough to win the round? Devin was kind of controlled for most of this round, guys. He was starting to control the round, guys. And then Ryan Garcia lands a sneaky little hook. I don't know if that was enough for me to give it to Ryan Garcia, you guys. I don't think that was enough. To describe that round in short, Devin Haney looked like Devin Haney taking his time, picking a shot, controlling it, moving, jabbing, hitting to the body, yada, yada. Ryan looked uncomfortable, moving back. For the last 20 seconds, Ryan Garcia comes in, lands a sneaky little uppercut when Devin seemed a little indecisive. Should I go? Should I not? Should I go? Should I not? And then boom, Ryan Garcia does his little notorious flurries. Devin was able to kind of recoup. Last 15, 20 seconds. Ryan was not able to steal the round in my, uh, in my position, so I give it 10-9 Devin Haney. But at any moment, guys, you start to worry, right? You start to worry when Devin gets a little overconfident. You kind of, if, you, if you're kind of rooting for Devin Haney, if you're picking Devin Haney, you're kind of like, look, take it easy, pick your shots, don't get greedy. Because if you get greedy, you might get caught like that little, that little sneaky uppercut. And Ryan caught him clean. Kind of like the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather. If you can picture that shot, that's what Ryan was able to sneak in. A nice little sneaky little uppercut similar of Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather. Kind of coming in, indecisive, and then getting caught. So, all right. Let me see if my cam's working again, guys. All right, cool. It's back on. So Devin Haney has picked it up a little bit. I will give Devin Haney that round, like I said. And it's starting to feel a little bit more of a lead now that Devin can kind of pull away. If Devin can win a round or two more, he can win this fight. But Ryan Garcia... Oh! Shit! Ryan Garcia lands and drops Devin Haney again! Oh my god! No! Oh! 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 I'm catching Devin! I told you guys! This is... Boxing, top rank, please. Don't sue me for that shit. But damn, I told you at any moment. It seems like he was saving his energy. Devin could get a little overconfident. And Ryan at any moment. Devin cannot let this. Look, I got the I got the free to children shirt. Oh my lordy. Oh my days. Oh man. And the ref is intervening. Yo, ref, let these motherfuckers fight, bro. Hey, right now, first minute around, man. Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia dropped Devin Haney again, dude. They need... Yo, game seven? No, we're going game nine. We need a trilogy, guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. This Ryan Garcia is completely different from the Oscar Duarte fight. And props to it, man. This is, the, this is an experienced guy who kind of took some of the problems that he needed to work on and it may not work but he's figured out his niche and right now this fight is at the limbs of these last rounds Devin Haney's trying to kind of win the round he's trying to be the aggressor again and guys listen you have to fight smart Devin Devin got caught with another left hook Devin's guys Jesus if you're if you pick Devin Haney this might not be the night Get your Ryan Garcia shirt. Get your Ryan Garcia merch at RyanGarcia.com. Free the children. 
because he is landing hooks and hooks and hooks on Devin Haney, guys. He's landing hooks on hooks on hooks on Devin Haney. And right now, if there was an, a 10-8 round, this is the round. Ryan Garcia, 10-8. Devin Haney is still wobbly. He's trying to recoup. And even when he tries to be the aggressor to win the fight, he gets caught again. Don't get greedy. You have to fight smart. I know you want to win the round, but at the same time, you cannot get knocked down again. This fight is getting way too close. At the moment, this fight just got probably, possibly tied up again. You were winning on my scorecard. You were winning on my scorecard. You were winning. You were winning. <laughs> oh my God. 10-8, Ryan Garcia. Now, real quick, guys. Outside of all, this is a great fight. If you have Ryan or De it, let's 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 remove from who we thought was gonna win. Let's remove all the like all the trap. Let's just come together real quick. And this is a great, great fight, guys. This is a great fight. Oh my God! And it was a lead left hook that Ryan Garcia landed on Devin Haney. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. This is automatically fight of the year, if not. And granted, <laughs> I like that free the children. Yo, this is a nice shirt, low key, right? Right? And I'm okay. I'm okay being wrong, you know, if, if Devin loses. Because this is what we get into the sport of boxing for. For moments like this, right? So, Ryan Garcia is possibly one of the most sneakiest and scariest punchers around this division. And he can turn anyone's lights off. So, <clears throat> right now, guys, we're in the 11th round, 20 seconds left. Devin Haney is on his back foot. He's trying to do a check left lead hook, kind of similar like how Floyd was doing with Ricky Hatton. But blood is starting to come out of Devin Haney's mouth. He's starting to worry a little bit at this point, right? You know, is Devin Haney pressing the action because he feels like he's behind and might catch something? You know, is there a moment in time where Devin Haney can hurt Ryan Garcia? But at this moment, this fight is unbelievably close, and you need these last two rounds. So Devin Haney is doing what he needs to do, I guess, to try to win the round and not make it go, you know, close. He needs the 11th and 12th round. I don't care. Ryan Garcia is starting to land a good right hook. Right hook almost lands by Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia is landing this left hook very comfortably now. Left hook, right hook. Left hook, right hook is what Ryan Garcia is starting to land on Devin Haney. Devin Haney is not throwing a lot of punches. He hasn't thrown his jab out too much. Devin's starting to clinch now. Devin's starting to look a little bit fatigued, a little bit tired. I know that he's trying to press the action at certain points, but that was probably just maybe trying to be more psychological. Lee left hook misses from Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia dodges it. Ryan Garcia is showing a little bit more defensive IQ than an Oscar Dorte fight, and it's impressive. You know, Devin is starting to try to press the action, but even then when he tries... Nothing comes out of it. It's a very stalemate kind of round, but you get this glooming area that Ryan Garcia can land a good shot and, land and steal this round again. Ryan lands a good right hook. I mean, right straight. You know, Ryan's showing that not only fact he has a good left, but a good right, and he lands the right, right on the dot. Oh, Devin Haney is down again with a lead left hook. He was worried about the right hook and got caught by the left hook. He was worried about the right hook that hit him early and then got caught by the left hook worrying about the right hook. He went down, guys. Devin Haney might need a knockout. Devin Haney might need a knockout. Devin Haney might need a knockout. Devin Haney might need a knockout? I think so. Haney has went down three times. Three times. Wow, guys. This is probably Ryan Garcia decision if he doesn't knock him out. This is crazy. All the boxing pundits. Listen, and I'm putting myself in there. Right hook misses by Devin Haney. All the boxing pundits, myself included, all the pros, all the people that said he's off his rocker, all the people saying he's crazy, all the people said, oh, Devin's too skilled and he's, he's too... 
Uh, Devin Haney's too masterful, and they got all these slick, and Devin Haney's gonna make them quit, and Devin Haney's gonna do this, and, and this, and that, and this, and that. It's looking like Ryan motherfucking Free the Children. All right, I probably shouldn't put those together. Ryan Free the Children Garcia. This man right here is arguably beating the former 135 unified, undisputed, lineal champion and the current WBC 140-pound champion, 10-8 Ryan Garcia. Another knockdown. Oh, my lordy. What round? We're in the 12th round. 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 Three knockdowns from Ryan. We're in the 12th round. Oh, my goodness. Ryan is punishing Haney at this point. It feels like it. I haven't seen anything in this fight that made me feel that Devin has rocked Ryan. But there's a lot of times in here I'm starting to worry about Devin. You know? <clears throat> Devin tries for a lead left hook. Right now on Chris Mannix and my card, we're pretty similar, man. Ryan Garcia, 103, 102. Ryan Garcia, 103, 102. Devin's going to need this fight with this round. Devin's going to need this motherfucking round if he wants to win this fight. Because Ryan is starting to throw some hooks. Ryan is starting to throw a left hook. Guys, Ryan Garcia is about to make some motherfucking money <laughs> for you guys. The chat says 64% Ryan Garcia. That means y'all know boxing. I don't know shit about boxing because Ryan Garcia is putting on an amazing performance. We got one minute round. Ryan has landed the more significant shots. Devin Haney really needs to put up the action. Devin Haney's face is bruised up, bloody. He got welts on his head. Ryan Garcia still kind of got a little bit of that Amber Crombie fit, still mold, unscathed, untouched a little bit. And we got a minute and 40 seconds, guys. This is a star-making performance. We got 20,000 people in here hearing me just talk about this dude. Possibly becoming a, one of the biggest stars in boxing, if not already, because this performance has elevated his game. Do you want to see Ryan versus Tank 2 after this? This is crazy. We got a minute, 15, 15 seconds left. Ryan's putting the pressure. Ryan's uh, landing the better shots. Ryan is probably going to win this fight. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. This over with, guys. Devin Haney. Devin Haney has lost this fight. At this moment, guys, Ryan Garcia has shown that he had a left hook and a right hook. A left hook and a right hook. And I can admit it right here in live on the first fight chat that I did that Ryan Garcia, not only the fact that can hurt Devin Haney, can show an improvement in defense, but can also outbox Devin Haney. And guys, you guys gotta let Ryan cook. Ryan's taunting Devin Haney last 19 seconds, guys. This is possibly one of the most amazing star-studded <coughs> <I mean, coughs> performances. You're talking about an instant viral moment. To be honest, guys, I have to live to my word. The announcement hasn't been made. I don't even need to hear the announcement. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Guys. I'm a man of my word, right? Right here on Fight Height. Oh. Hold on. Man of my word, right? What I said I was going to do. Don't rob them, guys. Judges, don't rob them. Don't rob them, judges. Don't you rob them. Don't you rob them. Don't you rob them. Hold on, man. And listen, I got a lot of love for Devin Haney. Devin Haney has been a guy I've been covering for quite some time. I got a lot of respect for his family. They should give me a lot of interviews. And at the end of the day, you know, out of respect, you know, I don't mean this in any disrespect in any way. 
So I'm just keeping this, I'm just gonna keep this as boxing. But you know who won that fight. You know who won the fight. You said unmute, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna play music really loud over it. So it's very, 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 very like washes it. Cause I can't, I can't play the audio cause the zone is gonna come from my ass, right? But yeah, yeah, they know, they know what time it is, man. <laughs> they know what time it is, man. I made a bet with y'all. I made a bet. Oh my God, hold on. Of course the camera goes out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 the, let me let the camera warm up. I mean, cool off a little bit. Let me let the camera cool off a little bit. I got the shirt on. I will unmute. Here. Let me play. I got to play some music over it. All right, I'm going to play Street Fighter 2, all right? All right, I got to play some Street Fighter music over it. All right. One twelve, one twelve. Nah, man. Fight was close, but we know who won. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Is is the is the music is the music too loud? I can't, I can't. Tell me if you can hear it. Ryan Garcia, guys, won. Free the children. Whole week of interviews. <laughs> oh my lordy. I had to play all. The, I had to play the music. I'm sorry. I had to. They don't. They don't hit me with the cop. They. They had a. They had a split. They had it split, y'all. I had to play the music over it because they were going to hit me with the, the copyright. Ryan Garcia wins, man. Hold on. I got to... All right. Listen. Chat. I'm recording right now. My immediate reaction. Okay? I, I, I couldn't play it because the copyright strikes and the audio from the zone. But Ryan Garcia won the fight. So I'm recording. So the chat's right here, right? The chat. I got you guys in here. I'm recording my live immediate reaction to the fight. <clears throat> I picked Devin Haney by potential stoppage and if worst case scenario by decision. I betted the chat, which the chat knows boxing because we got 150, about 150,000 votes, 65% Ryan Garcia. I betted if I was wrong, I would wear the free the children shirt Handed by the Garcia family themselves last week. I got the King Rise shirt on. And out of respect for both sides, that was probably one of the best fights recently. <clears throat> and the things that I saw in this fight that worked in Ryan Garcia's favor is that he was extremely patient. He was able to take his time. And even some of the attributes that maybe he wasn't as great as as certain other fighters he learned from the Javante Tank Davis fight not to get overly anxious he learned from the Oscar Duarte fight how to come back from certain de uh, uh, um, uh, detriments so at this moment great fight I think Devin Haney has a lot of skills um, I don't know if you can even question his chin because he did not get knocked out after taking three, more than three left hooks, three, I mean, left hooks and right hooks at the end of the day, and was able to get up, try to press the action. I mean, heart of a champion. Uh, Devin Haney definitely did what he needed to do to try to come back. 
but Ryan Garcia was extremely patient. Ryan Garcia was very poised. He knew when to pick his shots, and when he officially did, he capitalized. And by far, the man has fooled not just me, but fooled a lot of people out there. So at the end of the day, I picked Devin Haney. I was wrong, and Ryan Garcia definitely deserved to win that fight. Would you guys want to see that fight again? I'm not sure. Um, I feel like Ryan definitely has the right to say I want to move on from this fight and want more challenging and, and other fights. But at this moment, that boy Ryan Garcia has shut down the boxing game and has became a bigger star than he was already is. And I am excited to see what happens next. So the only unfortunate thing that happens in this because Ryan did not make the weight, Devin still keeps the belt. So it should make things a little bit more interesting now that when you know who the guy, who's the guy that won the fight doesn't have the belt. But at the end of the day, I already know that there's going to be De uh, Ryan came in 143. He was bigger. That's going to be one of the talking points that we're going to hear about. So, um, so there could be some of this. It wasn't fair. But at the end of the day, they both agreed. Money was paid. Fight was made. And guys, congratulations to Ryan Garcia. <clears throat> All right, cool. So I'm gonna post that little clip right there. Is going we're gonna go put that on fight hype. <clears throat> but in that meantime, guys, what a fucking performance! I I don't. Holy shit! Let me um let me see if we got any videos uploaded right now. Hold on. Uh, shocking last minute one. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go switch real quick. Appreciate you guys. You guys are like the best chat ever. So now, check it out. I'm gonna start pulling up your chat. We're gonna wait for the post conference now, all right? We're gonna get the post conference where Devin Haney's gonna speak on the loss. We're gonna get um, um, uh, Ryan Garcia speaking on the win. Um, I have a whole bunch of before and after videos, so I gotta make those and put those together. And right now, if you guys can do me a favor, if you guys have any tweets out there, if you guys have, have seen any Shakur Stevenson, um, <clears throat> um, what's it called? Shakur Stevenson, Javante Tank Davis, Frank Martin. Let me see. Oh, yeah, Shakur, Shakur. Guys, I'm going to have to put Shakur Stevenson tweets up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put my immediate reaction video up. Damn, man. Chat gonna be super quiet, man. All the... All that shit is dead, man. Great fight, though, man. That was a great fight. That was a great fight. Personally, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm really appreciative of both of them making that fight. And Ryan Garcia just made Javante Tank Davis look so much better. You know, you know, Javante is, so what happens now? Do you want to see um, Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia too? Do you want to see Pitbull versus um, Javante? Do you want to see Shakur versus, tell me, chat, what do you guys want while we're waiting to get the post-conference together? <clears throat> what do you guys want? What the fuck? This is so crazy. This is why we love boxing, right? This is why we love boxing. This is why we watch boxing. Um, how could Devin... Let me see. Fighter of the year type of performance, bro, on his nuts. <laughs> how are you not impressed with this, man? I can't even be a hater, bro. I picked Devin to win the fight. Shakur can't talk. He's a real track star. Fire the ref. Tank will get Devin out in three. Pitbull deserves a main card, undeniably. Knocked down three times. Garcia versus Tank. That's it, W. Hold on. Um, who do you want to see these guys fight? Uh, 
All right, I'm gonna make the Shakur Stevenson reaction. <clears throat> all right, let me get my camera on. So while you guys are on here, I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes what I do. <clears throat> um, damn, I need to drink some water. Hold on. Let's get some. My headset died. Pitbull versus Matias. Pippo versus Ryan. I like that fight. <clears throat> Here. Let's switch back. All right, guys. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm making, I guess, Twitter reactions, right? So I got Keith Thurman. This is what Keith Thurman put up. I'm going to put all my tweets and reactions up. Display capture. But <clears throat> all right, hold on. We're waiting. We're waiting for the post conference, guys. So, so bear. I'll have all the the post conference stuff. Where's my camera? There we go. Display overweight. Okay. So we got some reactions. I need to. Let's see. Let me. Move this, guys. Okay. Let's go down Twitter, because you know Twitter is great, all right? Ryan faked our dumb asses out. Shakur Stevenson. Oh, shit. What's, what's Floyd got? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got Abdullah Mason. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to put up Abdullah Mason real quick. I got Abdullah Mason right now on Instagram Live. And it's not even just that. It just puts you in a whole other mental state. Hey, when, you, when you fast like that, you're using your, your, your raw strength. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even just that. It just puts you in a whole other mental state. But, bro, that was crazy. That was, that was a little wild. That was a little wild. Yeah, man. That was, that was a fight right there. That, that kind of, Ryan kind of shook up boxing with that one. Everybody counted him out. Yeah. Hey, hey y'all. I got. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I want to Yeah, man. Yeah, man. See, so kept man. No, I wasn't at the fight. I'm, no, I'm here. I'm here. My little brother, Ibrahim, Ibrahim of Garman just got, got KO, got uh, KO wins. So he just had his professional debut. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to, I'm talking to my people, man. Yeah, man. Ibrahim has his professional debut in the Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Y'all y'all put W's in the chat. Y'all put W's in the chat if y'all want if y'all can't wait to see me in the world championship fight. Y'all put y'all spam some W's in the chat. W's in the chat, W's in the chat. Come on, y'all. Drop them joints. Drop them joints. Hey, I need everybody like this joint up. Like this joint up. Like this joint up. Tell put dubs, put them dubs in there. Yeah, there we go. Drop them joints. Drop them dubs. Drop them joints. W, okay, W, 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 shortcut, yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, W, 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 that's what we want to see, W, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yeah, man, DJ, what up, DJ, yeah, hey, look, how y'all, how y'all feel, look, we got the dubs tonight, a girl, man, he can turn around, for sure yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And Ibrahim, he want to know. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So we, we in there. Okay. Oh, for sure that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got him. <laughs> what you write? Yeah, man. I'm the W, 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 W. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm the
Ain't that Abi? Ain't that Abi? Where's Abi? Say what on Twitter? Oh man, man. Hey, look, man. I think I'm finna. I think I'm finna hop off here, yo. Amir, hop off. I gotta post something, bro. Amir, where's that be? Hey, man. I'm finna. I, yeah, yeah. What y'all thinking? Like, Spike does and take, takes it and tell me, I don't know. It's not illegal to turn your back, but it's dangerous. You know, Devin was in the Hey, you know. I want to see some more W's in the chat. If y'all, if y'all can't wait to see me in a world championship fight, W's in the chat. And ask people to the line. Yeah. Should I ask somebody on here? Who am I at on here? At what's called again? At who? The dude who's called you. Somebody. Uh, Bill Boy. Uh, let me see. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, did they, did they what y'all, what y'all, what y'all thinking though? Dubs? I want to hear y'all thoughts on the fight. Did they drop them dubs? Yeah, they dropped, they dropped them W. Yeah, Martin. yes sir, yes sir. Inshallah, soon. We gonna, we gonna keep working. We gonna keep working. We gonna keep working. So we could, so when we oh, get on there, we could, we could show out and uh, and add some more excitement to boxing because we wanna, we wanna excite boxing. You know what I mean? Y'all big. So, hello. Get off this cold, man. Excitement to boxing. Y'all say what's up to him. Y'all big. What's poppin'? The Mason brothers, man. Yes, sir. Siege. Call Siege. Which is totally different if he knows that happened first round. Siege. Yeah, yeah that's, that's us. We out here. You said what? You said what? Okay, bet. Okay. Okay, for sure. Yeah, I know what time it is. I got both. I got both. All right, this is Abdullah Mason I got on here reacting to it while I'm working. Javon, hey guys, Javante tweeted. I'm going to pull it up. Give me a second. I'm making the video real quick. Okay. Javante has a tweet, guys. Yeah. That's what Javante Davis thinks. And uh, oh, there were some super chats. I'm sorry. It's just this is a uh, fuck. Here, I didn't forget. Let me see if I can switch the super chats. All right, last couple of super chats. I didn't. Um, sorry, I'm just making this video. Um, Thanks, bro. This is great. Let's go, Ryan. Zotang. Uh, so, appreciate uh, Shank. Uh, Zotang TV 499. Let's be honest. Devin Haney is super overrated. Shakur and Tink would take him out as well. Sleeping Ghost. Uh, he elbowed him, and that was not seen. Ryan dirty for real. Really? You said that Ryan landed an elbow? Which knockdown? Hold on. That's what... I, I, I didn't see an elbow. I didn't see an elbow. I didn't see an elbow. If you guys come and asking who won the fight, Ryan Garcia won the fight. This is Javante Tank Davis' tweet. What do you guys think?
Javante should feel confident that he can beat Tank easier. What's, what you guys think? I got uh, Keith Thurman. You remember when they called out Keith Thurman? This is what Keith Thurman was saying. What do you guys think about what Keith Thurman's saying? <clears throat> Right now I'm making Twitter videos, so <clears throat> tell me if you guys see any other tweets. I see Shakur tweeted. I'm doing. I'm putting up Tank's reaction right now. I'm gonna make Shakur's. I'm gonna make Keith Thurman's. This, this, this is probably tons of reactions. What Twitter account should I look for? Yeah, I got, <clears throat> let's see. Uh, Javante, Javante Davis reacts. Okay. We got some reactions. I'm gonna start playing some reaction for you guys while um, I'm working on some videos. Um, here, give me a sec. Fight height. These are live reactions that are going on right now. Let me get Javante Tank Davis up. Save image. All right. <clears throat> Let's see some more reactions that we got going on. Hold on. Give me a sec. All right. Danny Jacobs. Let's go on over. I love the fight. It was a jam-packed fight. Both guys gave their all. Uh, I think the defining factor was Ryan's speed and his strength. But Devin showed grit. Uh, Devin's one of my favorite fighters. And both guys proved tonight that they are worthy of all the praise, all the publicity, and all of that they obtained up to this part of their career. So I'm just happy to be in attendance to be a part of a good event. Should they do it again? I would love to see him do it again. Uh, give Devin an opportunity to redeem himself and show that he's, you know, a worthy fighter. Even though he showed true grit tonight, I do believe that he has what it takes to be able to be pound for pound in this uh, in his division. But Ryan was definitely dominant. The speed was a factor, the power, the movement. He he just was on tonight. For sure. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Bye, hi. All right, let's go to the next one. Um... I'm working on Shakur Stevenson reaction. I just got tanks up. Uh, Tony Tarver. Antonio, 
It's Kevin Garcia with Fight Heights. What's up, what's up? Let's try to get your thoughts. What do you think about this fight, man? Garcia uh, showed his power. Power showed up early, man. Uh, I just thought Devin had a lot more in his bag. But, uh, you know, uh, Garcia, he realized that you put four or five punches together, you picked a lot. Then I think Devin was trying to break the dough down with one punch. You know, combination. That jab should have been a lot more effective. And uh, footing was a problem. I thought he was a little bit too good, wide. He, he didn't put no combination together. So he's going to have to go back to the drawing board. But unfortunately, Ryan is not crowned champion, bro. You feel me? I yep. don't know. He may have to still go back and do the B-side thing to get the title. You know, but he made a, a hell of a performance for himself. Champ. People's champ. Yeah, I mean, um, I didn't think he could perform as well as he did with all the distractions leading up to the fight. So... Uh, that's why I was pretty much initially leaning toward Haney, but I knew if Haney didn't come out focused and really on his game, that, that he, Ryan was going to get confidence as he went on. And he was he was really dogging him before the end of that fight. He was kind of dragging Haney a little bit. His confidence went through the roof. Was the weight a factor? I'm not sure. I can't say, bro. I mean, he fought his fight. Um, I wish he would have made weight. He'll be crowned world champion right now. You know what I mean? So he, Ryan got to go back and get it right the next time, I guess. You know what I mean? But a great performance by Ryan Garcia, man. He showed a lot. The power is there. You know, uh, they should, of course. Because, you know, when you beat a man, you always got to give him his get back. You feel me? If you can do it twice, then you know you got his number. There you go. Thank you, Antonio. Yes, sir. Bye, hi. All right, what else we got? <clears throat> Oh shit, Mike Tyson. Let's get Mike. Jim Lampley. Let's get Jim Lampley's reaction. 3.2 pounds lighter the other day. We don't know. You know, maybe that was part of what happened. Uh, what's more important, being a champion with a title from a governing body in boxing or being the king of the world? Right now, he's the king of the world. Uh, thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Andrew, you have just another minute before we get out of here. We can walk and talk <laughs> at yeah, the same yeah. time. Jim, uh, you know, just to get, I heard some of your reactions, just to get to the tactics of the fight. George Foreman used to always say in your fights, don't follow a puncher. Uh, did Haney make a mistake in doing that tonight? Or, what, or is he just, you know, better man? Well, uh, I'm not sure how he could have completely stayed away and, and taken care of his own mandate to try to win the fight. He went forward thinking, I'm still the favorite, I'm still the superior boxer, I'm still the guy that people expect to win the fight. I'm not going to back off and run from this guy. He's fought him six times in the amateurs, he knows him, etc., etc. Something happened that made it absolutely impossible tonight for uh, Devin Haney to deal with Ryan Garcia's left hook. And it was electric, it was astonishing, one of the most thrilling and unexpected things I've ever seen in a boxing match. And right now, Ryan Garcia's level of stardom is going to skyrocket to a point beyond anything we've seen before since Muhammad Ali. He's going to be the biggest thing in boxing since Ali, as of this moment. Bigger than Floyd. You guys agree with Jim? You think he would be the biggest? I mean, Tank's still out there, man. Oh, Saquon Barkley's there. I'm working on Keith Thurman's reaction. Shakur's still tweeting. I'll put up Shakur's tweets up. Let's see what Saquon Barkley had to say. Saquon! Saquon! It's 
Kevin Garcia, a.k.a. the Puerto Rican KKZ. This is Fight Hype. What do you think about Ryan winning this fight? Uh, I think he got everybody fooled. Um, Ryan did his thing. Shout out to Devin, though. He showed a lot of heart. Uh, but you got to give credit where credit due. Ryan came out and put on a performance. You think they should fight again? Of course. I would love to see it. I, love to, I was on my feet all every round. Damn, man. Crazy, wasn't it? Yeah. I got one more question for you, then I'm going to get out your way. Because I'm a Giants fan. You broke my heart this year. Did you learn the Eagles fight song at least? You, you got that down pat? Yeah, I got it down pat. Any word for us, our Giants fans that are heartbroken about this? We're going to love you and miss you forever, bro. We appreciate everything you did for us. Always love, Giants Thank you, Saquon. Thank you. Kevin Garcia is stupid. <laughs> Yo. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Keith Thurman reacts. Uh, all right. You guys are just coming in. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play some of the reactions we got. Let's see. Sean O'Malley. Maybe Ryan Garcia, Sean O'Malley just got a lot bigger. <clears throat> All right. Let me start playing reactions again until we get the post-fight conference. Hey, Danny, Kevin, with fight hype. Just want to know what are your thoughts on this crazy outcome? I love the fight. It was a jam-packed fight. Both guys gave their all. Uh, I think the defining factor was Ryan's speed and his strength. But Devin showed grit. Uh, Devin's one of my favorite fighters. And both guys proved tonight that they are worthy of all the praise, all the publicity, and all of that they obtained up to this part of their career. So I'm just happy to be in attendance to be a part of a good event. Should they do it again? I would love to see him do it again. Uh, give Devin an opportunity to redeem himself and show that he's you know, a worthy fighter. Even though he showed true grit tonight, I do believe that he has what it takes to be able to be pound for pound in, this, uh, in his division. But Ryan was definitely dominant. The speed was a factor, the power, the movement. He, he just was on tonight. Sure. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Bye, hype. All right, did I show you guys uh, Shakur Stevenson's reaction? I don't think so. I'm working on it right now. Um, hold on, hold on. What is Gervonta tweeting now? Um, yo, I'm going to give y'all the address to the dirt spot in Cherry Hill. Need y'all to send me mad pics. Big ass posted to his crew. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Do you see this tweet? I'm going to fade away like the Simpson. I'm going to fade away like the Simpsons. I'm a fade away like the Simpsons. <laughs> oh, shit. It's Ryan's first tweet. Boots is not king of matchroom. Boots is the king of matchroom, someone said in the chat. Yet. I'm gonna wait. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna play Jim Lampley one more time. Three point two pounds lighter the other day. We don't know. You know, maybe that was part of what happened. 
Uh, what's more important, being a champion with a title from a governing body in boxing or being the king of the world? Right now, he's the king of the world. All right, thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Andrew, you just another minute before we get out of here? He can Sorry. walk and talk <laughs> at the yeah, same yeah. time. Jim, uh, you know, just to get, I heard some of your reactions, just to get to the tactics of the fight. George Foreman used to always say in your fights, don't follow a puncher. Um, did Haney make a mistake in doing that tonight, or would it, or he just, you know, better man? Well, uh, I'm not sure how he could have completely stayed away and, and taken care of his own mandate to try to win the fight. He went forward thinking, I'm still the favorite, I'm still the superior boxer, I'm still the guy that people expect to win the fight. I'm not going to back off and run from this guy. He's fought him six times in the amateurs, he knows him, etc., etc. Something happened that made it absolutely impossible tonight for uh, Devin Haney to deal with Ryan Garcia's left hook. And it was electric, it was astonishing one of the most thrilling and unexpected things I've ever seen in a boxing match. And right now, Ryan Garcia's level of stardom is going to skyrocket to a point beyond anything we've seen before since Muhammad Ali. He's going to be the biggest thing in boxing since Ali, as of this moment. Bigger than Floyd. Do you guys agree with that? Do you guys feel like this is a Muhammad Ali... Um... Uh, Sonny Liston kind of moment. I shook up the world. Hey, you know what? Fight Hype Chat knows what's up. Um, Joey Badass. Hey, we got ASAP Ferg. We got Joey Badass. This fight was crazy. What do y'all think, man? I think it's gonna happen again. It gotta happen again. Well, y'all surprised by the outcome? Very surprised. Yeah. Man. But listen. For sure. Thank you, ASAP. Appreciate you, Joey. Yup. Love, Brooklyn. I think Tarver had a really interesting... I'm going to play it one more time. I had it in the background. I'm going to listen to it now. He realized that you put four or five punches together, you picked a lot. Then I think Devin was trying to break the dough down with one punch. You know, combination. That jab should have been a lot more effective. And uh, footing was a problem. I thought he was a little bit too good, wide. He, good, he, he didn't put no combination together. So he's going to have to go back to the drawing board. But unfortunately, Ryan is not crowned champion, bro. You feel me? I yep. don't know. He may have to still go back and do the B-side thing to get the title, you know, but he made a, a hell of a performance for himself. People's champ, people's champ. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, I didn't think he could perform as well as he did with all the distractions leading up to the fight, so uh, that's why I was pretty much initially leaning toward Haney, but I knew if Haney didn't come out focused and really on his game, that, that he, Ryan was going to get confidence as he went on, and he was... He was really dogging him Yo, you know what it was? before the end of that fight. He was kind of dragging Haney a little bit. His confidence went through the roof. Was the weight a factor? I'm not sure. I can't say, bro. I mean, he fought his fight. Um, I wish he would have made weight. He'll be crowned world champion right now. You know what I mean? So he, Ryan got to go back and get it right the next time, I guess. You know what I mean? But a great performance by Ryan Garcia, man. He showed a lot. The power is there. You know, uh, they should, of course, because, you know, when you beat a man, you always got to give him his get back. You feel me? If you can do it twice, then you know you got his number. There you go. Thank you, Antonio. Yes, sir. Bye, hi.
Damn. I'm like at an adrenaline and dump right now, putting all these videos up. <clears throat> but I played Danny to you guys again. I played Jim. I played Tarver. I played Joey Badass, Saquon Bartley. I'll play Mike Tyson again. Well, Let me get to the chat, guys. I need to get you guys involved. You guys have been really patient rocking with me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Highlighted chat. Let's get rid of this. Let's move over here. While waiting to get some reactions up. My camera's off. Where's the post conference? We're waiting to get the footage. Waiting to get the footage right now. I'm just po I'm I'm posting reactions. Have you guys? If you guys are just jumping in, let me see. Chat browser. Let me show you guys Javante Davis's reaction. Shakur Stevenson's reaction. Javante says that. Uh, la, 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 la. That's what happens when you fight a mother effer the same size as you. Someone says, we saw it. This ref should be banned. Smiling emoji. No, he shouldn't. Uh, Brian Garcia put a tweet eight minutes ago. Jesus Christ, king is kings. Javante also put out, yo, I'm going to give y'all the address to the dirt spot in Cherry Hill. Need y'all to send me mad pics, big ass posters to his crib of Devin's ass in the air. Pause. Shakur. Um, why were you giving him a pass? He would be insulting you if the roles were reversed. His daddy has a social media team that disparages you daily, pretend to be fans. Shakur says, true, but that ain't me, gang. I'm the best fighter on the planet, and the world gonna see when it's time until I'm locked in. Um, Haney had that mother <laughs> to the... Um, Shakur says, I could be the shystiest MF on the planet, but to be honest with you, I'm not that guy. Much respect to Devin. He fought with true heart and I'm just, and it just wasn't his night. Javante Davis has another tweet. I'm still coming to get, it's not over. Gotta see me. Shakur Stevenson put much respect to Ryan Garcia. I'm keeping my word, giving you your respect. Now keep your word and let's make it happen. My guy, beautiful performance, chasing greatness. <clears throat> Keith Thurman, who was brought up a lot in Devin Haney, you know, as a potential fight. Congrats, Ryan. No pop. Haney has no survival skill, no adjustments. He had time to pull it together tonight, but was not, was, he was not in a good fight. Not fight, oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Was not his night. Good fight, not fight of the year, like the commentators were hyping. Run it back. Back, Ryan. Those pillow hand can't hurt you easily. What? That was not like fight of the year contender. Thurman, you tripping. I mean, your opinion, but that was a good, hey, I was, from the first round, I was on the edge of my feet, so. <clears throat> Javante Davis, um, were you, and what about you D writing as people? Javante, forget Devin, where Bill at, where your dirt at? No, he was not, he was doing, you didn't peep his face, he was smiling. Oh, I got a T.O. tweet. I got a T.O. A T.O. Fima Lopez tweet. Uh, where is it? Let 
Here's your tweet. You just sent a tweet. What? Did you just delete your tweet? Nah. Why does it say Teofima? The Teo tweet and delete. All right, well, Teo did something, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. <clears throat> the so-called experts ain't looking so smart now. This is boxing, man. This is boxing. And you're 100% right. I don't think any media member I knew had Ryan. Like, I, I'll be honest. Like, I'm being genuinely honest. I don't think there was any media members I knew that had Ryan, personally. Frank Morris says, my turn. Maybe Frank can get a reaction. Yeah, I'll do a reaction video to Frank. Leonard Ellerby, yeah. <clears throat> Leonard Ellerby is a good one. Leonard Ellerby will get a reaction. Frank Martin gets a reaction. Okay. Um, Frank Martin, uh, uh, eyes emojis. I told Bill Haney last year, calling, calling talk his boy ready for pay-per-view at 147. I said your boy would get hurt at 147. He's being punished at 140 tonight. See, I got a, you see this, right? I got a Teal post. So I don't know what that was. It was like up and gone. All right. What else do we got? All right, Ryan Garcia's first words, guys. Right here. First of all, first of all, let me say um, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you uh, to all the fans. Thank you, New York, for giving Ryan all the love, all the love he deserves. Everybody said, oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast. And this. Look at the arena. Pay-per-views are going to be through the roof. And Ryan Garcia as the champ. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Last thing you should worry about is your kids. I can tell you that on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. Oh. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Is it, is it too quiet? I'll, I'll replay it. Hold on. Let me turn it up. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Ryan King, Ryan Garcia, baby. 
First of all, first of all, let me say um, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you uh, to all the fans. Thank you, New York, for giving Ryan all the love, all the love he deserves. Yes, sir. Everybody said, oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast. And this. Look at the arena. Pay-per-views are going to be through the roof. And Ryan Garcia as the champ. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's go. guys for uh, coming, but first and foremost, Mark. I want to thank Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, for the glory. Um, all glory to him. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everyone on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt. Nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. It's a conspiracy. It's this, it's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I was like, put that my reputation online. I had everybody thinking I was crazy. And at the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't even really want to say this, but it, it's the truth. It, you know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, not me. You guys were tripping. I was, I was the one that was actually was sanity because I'm like, yo, there's the hurting other kids. Let's, let's help them. But that's called being a real man because I don't give a fuck. What <coughs> I walk through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drink every day and still beat and I still I did everything. Yes, what, what the fuck? Yes, hey, what, what, what happened? False reality, right? Like every single night went out on the first Monday and the Tuesday and Wednesday. What happened? I won. He did I, I, not, hey, not necessarily. Wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that, but I'm just saying this is. I, it was a statement to show you. You guys can't really fuck with me. Right. I do whatever I want. That's he did. He did um, throw him down on Sundays. <laughs> Just imagine if, if none of that happened, oh, and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Ooh. Come on, I didn't do that. Bro. I just, I just, <laughs> Just imagine. See, use your imagination because y'all all had greatness. Sorry, I was coughing over. Right. Damn, Ryan Loki. Low-key kind of stunting, man. Ryan Garcia won. <laughs> you just, hold on, my man. Oh, it was one of those nights, huh? Who won? Yeah, Ryan Garcia won, man. <clears throat> Damn, dude. Sorry if I'm coughing a lot. I did a lot of talking today. A lot of talking and screaming and shit. Um, let's see. All right. More Ryan Garcia. Let me restart this. I tripped every day and I did whatever I wanted. And, uh, I'm not proud of it at all. I just pray, you know, pray for my kids and hopefully they're okay. You know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud. And you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example. Look at Jesus Christ because uh, I fought for perfect. All right, First of all, congratulations on this uh, amazing victory. Um, tell us what ran through your mind in that first knockdown because everybody from the beginning of the first bell to the 12th, I kid you not, everybody was just on their feet. But what was running through your mind? Um, is this gonna be the moment I stop him? That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop him. Because every time I heard him, I just went crazy and I just couldn't finish him. But I, I, at the end of the day, I think, um, what's his name, Harvey Dog? I think he was tripping. He should have stopped that fight. Yeah, he should have been stopped the first time. It was time. bad. He, he, he was really hurt. And I, felt, I felt bad. I even looked at Bill. Like, I think Bill stopped him. I was like, bro, you probably should stop this. But um, he didn't. And then uh, that's it. I'm going to bring you around here a second time. I am curious what you did think overall of the referee's performance, particularly in the seventh round. Horrible. It was a horrible round. Yeah, I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life. And I thought an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free. And I cracked him, and then he took point away when I cracked him. But he held me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. Yeah, the, the referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it. It was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time, and Devin was holding and holding and holding, and Ryan got his point deducted for himself. Shit. That was crazy. I never seen such a like that. He was holding me, and I just whack. I 
whack him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, yes, done, and then, oh, he's one thing about it. Darrell Josh Johnson, uh, Amsterdam News, in the front, uh, Ryan, and I'd love to hear what Pagan and Oscar have, have to say, too. Brilliant uh, game plan, Ryan. Uh, did you, uh, right in the first, oh, right. Did you think Hemi felt your power in the first round? And oh, how did you how did you proceed? Most definitely. Yeah, yeah. He got wobbled bad. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like recovery. Bro, I crashed him in that first round. I thought it was over. I was like, I want easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. I was like, damn, maybe you do got a little power. My <laughs> commentary. Ryan, my commentary, ESPN. Yeah, I see. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Um, look, Oscar, you said that you're in the, in the lead up to this fight that some fighters thrive in the chaos and need that. Ryan, did that help you? Did this chaotic build up really help you focus on? Man, you, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Like, <laughs> that shit was nothing. Like, I've been through some crazy ass fucking. This whole fight week was crazy. Like, crazy. You have no clue. <laughs> Y'all have no clue. <laughs> fucking no clue. Shit's <laughs> That's a hot one day. I swear, I swear, I had brown hair on Monday. I got gray hair. <laughs> no, but look, Ryan. I mean, look, Devin Haney was on everyone's pound for pound list. He's a great boxer. I knew you dropped him three times. He'd never been down before. Yeah. You wanted to do your job, Mike. You caught five or six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just been calling knockdowns. Right. Yeah, five or six times. How does this feel? You know, you were counted out, and this is a monster, a monster victory. I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me, what's next? But at the end of the day, what's next? I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, I already knew I could beat him. I was extremely confident. Am I happy? Of course. But at the end of the day, like, I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. So, what's next? Who's Amen. next? Amen. Let's go. Amen. God did. Amen. God did. Hey, Ryan, what's going on, man? Right in the front, right in the front. This is Najee from Cigar Talk. Uh, congratulations, big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a Tank uh, part two. How do you feel just, you know, obviously Tank has to take care of his business uh, with Frank Martin in June, uh, but how do you feel, what are your thoughts on trying to make that happen? Disrespectful, and disrespectful. A little disrespectful. Yeah. disrespectful. You know, we talked about whatever after that, but that's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm aware. I know I interviewed Derek. Derek knows. I'm just saying is that's a that's a fight that people are clamoring for. No disrespect. Respect. Look, I don't think Tank's gonna beat Frank Martin, but if he did, he wouldn't fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not doing 140. I'm going 147. I can't make fucking 140. I never even technically fought at 140. I fought every time at 146. True. My body can't literally go lower than 146. It's impossible. I tried every technique. Can't do it. Damn. Najee got Derek James a little upset. It was a, it was a fair question. I don't think that was crazy. All right. Well, got some more Ryan Garcia, guys. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, I, I pretty much did that for the boxing community and the boxing fans to find that fight. Despite all the problems, he told me not to, everybody, and their mama told me not to. But I was like, fuck that, man. You guys are boring. Everybody's boring. I'm going to fight them. Win or lose, I'm going to run it. And I almost had his ass in the second. But, you know, I was too weak. I, I knew I was going to lose in the back room. I had no power. I had no power. I had no mind. I was dehydrated. It was really bad. I should I should have actually died coming that way. I, I should have per I really did, but God protected me because I was blistering out of my mouth. I, I, I had no spit. It, it was like it was hurt. it hurt every day to drink that way. I shook. I was shaking in the bed. That shit was crazy. Yeah. All right, right there. Ike Feldman with Disney Sports. Um, I know you guys just mentioned Davis. Uh, I, in my opinion, I believe a rematch with Devin would be a step back. Um, in your opinion. 
we'd like to play them. And Crew being the Yordas, I feel like the New York crowd would really gravitate. I mean, I had a vision to fight on Dura at 154. I just know, I don't know why. I just feel like if they're not gonna mind us, it'll be really random. But I just feel like I deserve a title at 154. Real quick, I fought guys at Big before, and then I've knocked them out in sparring. Cold, sure sure So I want to do it. Shout out Fondura though, no disrespect. <laughs> or, or, I don't know. Look, bottom line is this. Rest. Go we rest, go rest, rest. <laughs> rest. Yeah. We're going to go back to the rest. rest. We're going to pick the best fight that Ryan picks for the best get fight, the and we're going to make big fights. We're going to make big pay-per-views. That's what it's all about. Give the fans what they want. Look, I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you the, I'll tell you the truth. Ryan is going to rest, had a great win. Let him enjoy it. Enjoy this. And guess what? Ryan's calling all the shots now. Yep. Ryan's calling Back. all the shots now. That's the fact. He wants, to, he wants to fight at 47. He wants to fight at catch weight. But guess what? If anybody wants to make money, if anybody wants to make money, they have to fight Ryan. And guess what? He's going to call all the shots. That's it. And guess what? He's going to give me an exciting fight every single time. That's right. Oh, one more. Uh, just called in for the boxing session. Uh, one for Ryan and one for Derek James. How important was it to have Derek James in your corner? Oh, yeah, that's a major key. You know, um, we just have a great chemistry. Um, Derek, Derek. Uh, Derek, he's, uh, he's like a father figure. Uh, besides, obviously, my dad. But he's like a father figure. He always, um, he always uh, pulls me aside. And he done seen me try before. And he's like, Man, you good. <laughs> He's like, don't worry about that. <laughs> He's like, you're gonna get through this, man. You're gonna get through this. He said, you're gonna get through this. You're gonna get through this. Timothy Bradley, Chris Chris Algeri, Algeri, Steve Kim, maybe Mario Lopez, maybe, <laughs> but they're all piece of shit. Okay? Oh, shit! And I'm so glad That's right. you fucking lost, and Ryan proved him wrong. Yeah, Timothy Bradley, suck my dick. <clears throat> oh, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Hey, Ryan Garcia has every room and every right to talk just because simply he shut the critics up, bro. This is definitely a people's champ, a people's win, because let's keep it real. All the pundits, all the experts, including myself, picked Devin Haney. And at the end of the day, it's boxing. And the truth will always be in the ring. It doesn't matter what we say and all this other stuff. And Ryan, rightfully so, has shut up probably 99% of boxing. Let's keep it real, right? Even the people who picked Ryan Garcia, right? I'm going to give you all your win. But even y'all knew this was an upset win. And you guys was picking Ryan for the upset win because you believed that he was the better fighter. But you all knew that the pundits and the media and majority of fighters... A majority of fighters, right? I can't even like I, today. I was looking through who was picking Ryan Garcia to win. Like I was, I was looking to go through a collage, and to be completely honest, I couldn't really find any. I think I had like two, and some of it was like support, like Canelo supporting <clears throat> Ryan. Um, but if we want to be fair and transparent, right, and we want to be genuine on this platform, which I believe that we are. That we can take our picks fair, win or loss, but legitly give respect to Ryan. Because at this point, not only the fact that he was battling a guy who everyone was saying was so much better, but he was battling the quote-unquote media. He was battling the naysayers. He was battling the public. You know, and where's my guy? Perfect. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect time. 
My man, I Danny, he didn't get the knockout. Oh, my camera just died for a second. He didn't get the knockout. He didn't get the knockout, but he did get the win. And I am Danny716 has been here for multiple streams, and I appreciate and support him. But he stuck with his guy throughout this, and he was right. Ryan Garcia was going to win the fight. So for everyone who legitimately picked Ryan Garcia, which by far in the chat, this is probably the highest votes for a lot any probably fight tonight on almost any channel. Major sure you guys picked Ryan Garcia. So the people picked Ryan Garcia. The people picked Ryan Garcia. But the media, the bookies, right? Vegas, they all picked Devin Haney. And so for that, even though Ryan does not walk out of here with the championship title, he's the people's champion. Now, you guys will hear over and over again, Ryan came over 3.2 pounds. And honestly, um, Devin agreed to it. Devin agreed to it. So you can't make any excuses. You can't say, oh, he's a little bit heavier. Oh, you know, because the fight could have been called off, right? Now, was it completely fair? Were they both 140? No, no. You know, it's, it, it's, we keep it real. But I'm not going to asterisk it because Devin agreed. He took the money. He took the fight and respect to Devin, but he did come over three pounds and fighters do beat fighters, you know, if they were that much of wide, right? The, the bookies had it minus 800. It was that much wider. So for that, Ryan Garcia gives all the credit, even with the three pounds. I, that's just my opinion. And the whole time, it, it was a great fight. And, and what, I'm, what I'm proud of, actually, I have to say this, is that I got two young fighters in their prime inside one ring in New York and the world was watching. That never happens. So every fighter out there, every fighter out there, fight the young guys, fight, fight in your prime. That's when you become legendary. Ryan Garcia just became legendary tonight. Oscar, real quick, what impressed you the most about Ryan's performance tonight? I think his, uh, his will, yeah. his will to win. Haney, Haney is no joke. Mm -hmm. You, I saw Haney throwing bombs. Yeah. I've never seen Haney throw bombs in my life. Yeah. You know, we thought he was gonna come out and just, you know, combinations and pity pat. You know, the way the, it, it works for him. Yeah. He's a beautiful boxer, but uh, the way Ryan Garcia with withstood the the, the, the power, the, the the pressure from Haney, the build up, everything. I, I'm proud of Ryan. Did you, did you think that uh, Haney was kind of getting a little tired uh, after the first knockdown? Because I noticed when Ryan would turn and do the shoulder roll, you know, you know what it is? Would just uh, swing it, he was wear, getting wear discouraged. Out. He was getting discouraged. Hmm. And that can wear you out as well. Yeah. Physically, mentally, it can discourage you and it can get you tired. Yeah. And that's what was happening. I mean, Ryan's a big kid. Haney went up what? Weighed in 140, probably was 160. Yeah. So we had two big guys up there, you know. So the difference was Ryan Garcia was a punch. Mm -hmm. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. about uh, round seven, man. The whole round was kind of uh, just a little chaotic. crazy round. Yeah, chaotic round, crazy round. But uh, hey, it's uh, it's boxing. Hey, Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, 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 thank you. My question is, does Devin come? Oh, we got Malik Scott reaction. Apparently something happened. I'm getting something. Eddie Hearn clashed with Ryan Garcia's father after Devin Heaney defeat shot an FU at each other before shaking hands and squashing the beat. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> There's this video on Matchroom, I can't play it. <clears throat> where Ryan Garcia's dad 
and Eddie literally get into a fuck you conversation. They go back and forth, and then they kind of piece it out. There's some high emotions in this. Time to throw fight hype.com here with Malik Scott. How you feeling today, man? Oh, good, man. Just got finished watching the fight. My lady wrapping up from her job right now. She did the telecast and uh, the show with Clarissa and uh, Sean Porter. So I'm just waiting for them to wrap up. And um, what a fight, man. I was shocked. I picked Haney, obviously. Did you um, think he would? Did you think he would stop him? Because when I spoke to Devin on like Wednesday and Thursday, actually, he told me, "Yo, if I don't stop running, I'm gonna be disappointed in myself." So, did you think he would stop him, or you just thought he would outbox? I thought it would be like a unanimous decision or a late stoppage. Mm -hmm. um, or I was actually in the mindset of two. I wouldn't have been surprised if Ryan did something like choked him or bit him <laughs> or something like that. Because yeah. if Ryan was selling work tickets for promotion, concerning doing like self sabotaging type of things, then. I bought the whoop tickets. He he called my bluff. I believed him, mm -hmm. and um, I still believe that it should be a certain way you allowed to promote a fight. If I could do it all over again, I would always root for the guy that I see do, doing more of the right thing concerning preparation. Mm -hmm. But then again, I'm not behind the doors of these guys' home or, or, or in the private space of um, Ryan Garcia. So he probably was doing more than he was telling people or, or than he was acting out. And he just probably was doing more. Would you like? When you look at it, man, what, what, where does Devin go from here, man? Oh, I don't know because that wasn't like a quick knockdown stoppage type of thing. In, in my opinion, he didn't win one round. You um, said he didn't win one I didn't, I didn't give him no rounds. If I did, two. Two out of 12 is not really winning rounds in that type of fight. He Whoa, let me interject. He said he didn't give Devin... It, I mean, Ryan won the fight. But it was not like Devin only won one or two. Am I? How many times? Two. Two out of twelve. I'm here, man. Oh, I don't know because that wasn't like a quick knockdown stoppage type of thing. In, in my opinion, he didn't win one round. You um, said he didn't win one I didn't, I didn't give him no rounds. If I did, two. Two out of 12 is not really winning rounds in that type of fight. He got knocked down how many times? Three or four. Mm -hmm. Was hurt out on his feet probably three times. I thought. Ryan Garcia dominated the fight. Whatever that judge is that had a 12-12 should never be able to judge again. Um, I thought it was Ryan, Ryan's night. And, I, and, I, and this is someone who d d d didn't agree with Ryan tactics, promotional-wise. Mm -hmm. This is someone, I'm a huge Devin Haney um, advocate. I think he's the most purest boxer in the sport. Um, he has a clean style like Ray Leonard, like, kind of like Floyd did, not like them, but his, his, his style remind me of that. You know? is, is, so there, is there like a particular fighter you could see him like get in there with his next, or would you want to see him fight Ryan? Because, you know, he can probably say like, hey, I did get a draw on one card, and this the um, first, this Ryan the first time three pounds over. This is the first time I actually seen Devin not look fast. Mm -hmm. Devin didn't look fast tonight. He looked like slow. He looked lethargic. It looked like he was hurt any time. Any time he could have just do you think got he stopped. Looked, do you think he looked slow or do you think he looked slow in comparison to Ryan? He just looked slow to me. Mm -hmm. like, just just looked slow. He looked slow. Um, I don't know. And then, like, like, it's slow to me when you know someone's best punch and they could come right out and hit you with that exact shot. Mm -hmm. Even to everyone know Ryan's best punch is the left hook. Mm -hmm. The first shot he really hit him with in the first round was the left, left hook. Yes. That means you're not switched on mentally enough. There's something that the, the dots is not connecting here to me. Um, you underestimated the opponent or you really just don't know what you're doing. And I just believe... I, I, I'm usually letting these interviews play through, but there's some stuff that I don't agree with Malik, right? Like, I understand what he's trying to say, but I think he's starting to strip away of some Ryan Garcia, um, the credit for Ryan Garcia, right? Personally, in my opinion, I picked Devin, but I'm not going to sit here and kind of start saying, oh, Devin wasn't on his A game. No, because Ryan hit him with the left hook right, it doesn't mean Devin was kind of sleeping at the wheel. Maybe Ryan just has a really good freaking left hook and he was able to actually time the left hook early on because Devin probably just wasn't expecting a fast left hook like it's personally my opinion but I'm not agreeing with everything Malik Scott's saying if he lived in the cross guard too long if 
you're going to be in that cross guard, you can't be going for feints down here. If you're going to live in that cross guard, you can't allow hooks to get around. You can't let right hands just come. And he's just living that cross guard. He living that cross guard on very cross guard on very close distance. And, you know, it, his defense is not that tight enough that he could be that close and not get hit with somebody rapidly fast like Ryan Garcia. Can, um, can Devin... Can he bounce back? Like, or was it just like it was such a beating in your view that it might change him now? Going you know, I, 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 it's going to be very interesting to see how he come back off of that. But from that type of fight, what I've seen, I told my son that um, I could see that type of fight changing Devin, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit for the worse. Because how old is Devin now? 25. 25. 25. Okay. Turns 26 and 25. December. That was his first, we'll say, roller coaster fight. Mm -hmm. No, he, he, he got a lot more left. Right? He could come back, but I just don't believe that from that performance right here. I can't never see him beating Ryan Garcia. I'll mm -hmm. be very shocked if he did, but I was very shocked with Ryan did him tonight, too. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of this no bar, you just never know. What do you do? Because technically, since Ryan came in three pounds overweight, Devin still has the WBC title. Is it is it a point where you're just like, yo, do you want to drop the belt? Because maybe you don't really feel like a champion anymore. Like, what do like, how do you like prance around thinking you're the champ? Even though you kind of you are technically, but you just lost, you know. Um, Ryan, you mean Ryan? No, Devin. 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 Yeah, Devin yeah. still has that. Oh, because yeah, he still got the belt. That's gonna be. He's not gonna be looked at as some champion now yeah. because the belt is irrelevant. You know, the belt is relevant under that type of performance. So we're just gonna see. We're gonna see, man. It was a tough night for Devin. I wish him and his own team the best, but uh, you gotta give kudos to Ryan Garcia. I don't know what the game plan was, but whatever the game plan was, he stuck to it. He did what was asked of him. He had an arrogance with him. He had a swag. He had a pizzazz going on. And the night belonged to him, so you got to give credit where credit is due. Gotcha. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah, you, man. Absolutely. Anytime, baby. Okay, real quick. I got a lot of footage, but Ryan Garcia had a Twitter space, so I'm going to play it for you guys. Um... I'm going to let my camera guy, like, I've been tanking with it. I think it's kind of hot right now. It kind of needs a break. So I'm just going to put this little cartoon character in me, but I'm going to play all this type of stuff. This is Ryan Garcia's uh, spaces that just happened. <coughs> What's up, guys? I told you I would come back. Relax. Have a snacky. Fight co host. Gold, Bro, man. What the deal. fuck? I told you. I told you it would be a lot of work. Darren, which town are we going to? I told you guys. Was... Remember I told you, remember I told Congratulations. You guys Thank you. Dude, Thank let's you. fucking go, Ryan. Congrats, Ryan, you man. are a so fucking you. dog. Dog. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. You know, uh, I just like to keep my word. You know, at the end of the day, I said I was going to come here right after the fight. I did as soon as I can. Um, what's up? What you guys been do doing? We're on the way to Tao right now. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Everybody's going to Tao. Uh, Everybody go to Tao. It's going to be lit as fuck. Oh, I it, told you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Let's go, Patriot. Fuck yeah, Patriot. I love you, man. What's up, Eden? Hey, I, hey Ryan, I listen. Why? Can I be a co-host real quick? I'm sorry. I gotta right. Wait, 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 wait. Ryan, listen, listen, yeah. Ryan. I told these motherfuckers on my wall today, I posted one of your old, your <laughs> last fights. And I told them, listen, y'all tripping. This dude is not the same dude that fought Tank. Y'all tripping. They for sure tripping, and I, I proved it today. They should have stopped the fight in the seventh round. It got really bad for him. That heard, ref was, was fucking you. saving Haney, I bro. Heard, I heard Devin has a broken jaw. No way, shit, no way. He lied. Yeah, no, I swear. He has a broken jaw. Yeah. Nah, his God shit was swollen as fuck, bro. His shit was man, swollen God, as fuck. God, God did, Ryan. God yeah. did. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, man, I just wanted to uh, go out there and show everybody, you know, the internet is not reality. Right. Ryan. Facts. Ryan, Yo, it's the, the greatest show in the world. Yo, Jeter Rocks. King Ryan. 
King Ryan, what do the haters got to say? Yo, know, what they call you crazy? Hey, what do they got to say? Good fight, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, Ryan, 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 I told you right hand was going to be the story of the fucking fight. Those commentators ain't shit. They had, they had to back up everything they fucking was saying. We yeah. did a space, and I, I broke down everything that was happening, and I told everybody the right hand was going to be the difference. Every time you touched him with the right hand, he, he went noodle legs, period. That was the best boxing of 2024. Best boxing of 2024. That was so entertaining. That was so fucking good. That was Ed the best the game ever. Everybody in that arena was standing up like you. That was a moment, Ryan. Even though about the boxing, some of the best marketing of 2024. Biggest fight. You know what I'm Crazy, saying? Crazy, man. Crazy. Hey, congrats, my G. That was, uh, that was a Luke Campbell type performance. I don't know what happened. Are you guys there now? We're about to be there. Oh, okay. All right, guys. I'll, I'll call y'all later. I told you I was going to do this. God damn. Yo, congrats, Ryan. Up. Carissa, how you feeling tonight? I feel good. Um, one to ten. How shot? I'm, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm bummed. I was going for Devin Haney to win. He's undisputed at one, up at one thirty-five. He's a friend of mine, um, and I looked forward to seeing him win tonight. Not that I don't like Ryan, I thought that Devin, I thought that this was his time to have his breakout moment and become that superstar that he want to be, and that was ruined tonight by Ryan, which, rightfully so, he came in this fight prepared, strong fast and when I say prepare I'm not talking about the weight I'm talking about just prepare for the fight period so he didn't care about making the weight he didn't make the weight he came in strong fast and like every punch he touched Devin with hurt him today do you want to see Ryan do you want to see a rematch between these two or do you think Ryan should probably rematch Javante what do you think no I think I think he needs to stay away from Javante mm -hmm. and go ahead and fight Devin again and I, and I would love to see Devin do better mm -hmm. do better uh but Oof. Tonight just tonight was not his night, but he's still a really good fighter. He's still a great fighter. But in, in terms of just like how everything was happening, how he was hurt off the first punch that Ryan pretty much threw, he got dropped three, four different times. Like just one to ten, how surprised were you to see all that? Man? Ten. Mm. I was. I, I didn't. I think all this, all this lead up, everybody's been asking me, how do I see the fight? I'm like, that ain't even gonna whoop Ryan at. Yeah. Devin Haney gonna knock Ryan out. That's that's all I have to say. Yep. I didn't even say unanimous decision. I said he gonna knock him out. To see what I saw today, I wasn't expecting that at all. And I just kept tweeting. I'm like, something is wrong. Something ain't right. But really, the thing that wasn't right was that Ryan did not have to kill himself for that three pounds, mm. and that benefited him. And he went to the ring very, very strong, powerful. And even though Devin had a great camp. It wasn't enough to weather that storm. I don't know if Devin really prepared for that left hook of Ryan Garcia because that was a punch that he's hit everybody with. And you would think that Devin being so defensively minded that he'd be able to create something to be able to block that. But it seemed like he kept going out with his hands back like this. Mm. And Ryan got fast hands and he got a big punch with that hook and he was landing it and he even dropped it one time with a right hand. So um, congrats to Ryan. You fooled the fuck out of me. I, I thought you were insane, buddy. Um, is, it, so. is, it, is, it, is, it, is it hard for Devin? Because it was a technically kind of like a catchweight fight because it wasn't a title fight. Um, so Devin still had his WBC belt. Is it going to be kind of hard for him to like look himself in the mirror and say, I am a champ, even though he just lost? Like, like how it's does gonna, that kind of go? You, you, you don't feel like you're a champion until you do what champions do, and champions win. So mm. sometimes you have to sit in it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have to sit in it and deal with it and weather it, and then you move forward. That's mm. what you have to do when you lose. Mm. And uh, I hope he got people around him that help him do that. Because looking in the mirror, he shouldn't look at himself and say that he's not nothing because he's a he's a good fighter and um, he's a great champion and he's a true professional. So I, I would say that he got to sit in it and let that anger take him to his next training camp and make the right decision. Gotcha. And make just, the right decision. Just my last question for you. 
for both guys, if a rematch is the next, who do you want to see both guys fight? For Devin and then for um, Ryan. If it's not going to be a rematch, who do you think? <laughs> I want to see what Ryan fight like whoever he want to fight. Mm. That man that made me a believer about him. Tiafimo Lopez or something like that? Uh, whoever, that he, whoever he, if he want to fight against T.O., if he want to fight against Shakur. Mm. And listen, I got Shakur beating everybody. <laughs> but when I used to rank the weight class, I would have Ryan Garcia at the bottom. I, I never said he was one, two, three, four. I'm like, Ryan Garcia, what's up, Rockman? How are you, man? Good. <laughs> I'm like, I have, I have never seen. Does that change your, I, I know you're still taking Shakur. I know that's your guy. Yeah, but Shakur. Does that change you like a little bit? Like, uh, Shakur gonna have to be really on point to beat what you just saw Nobody Ryan. should underestimate no fighter. Mm. That's it. Even though Ryan isn't as skilled, he still has fought against other good fighters and he's won. Like when he beat Luke Campbell after he got mm. dropped, I was like, okay, Ryan, you made me a believer. Cause at mm. first I'm like, man, this dude is all hype. Yeah. He got a million followers on on social media and for whatever reason off YouTube. Like he not he didn't build his way up from the bottom, but he has been boxing since he was a kid. Him and Devin went three and three in the amateurs. Yep. Um and now he's one and all against Devin. Does Devin in like, the pros where it matters. Does he move on to somebody who who would he probably move on to at 140 pounds? I don't know. Tough to say? I don't know. I think I think Devin needs some time. But gotcha. he's still skilled and I think he needs to go up in weight class because cutting the weight forty seven? Maybe. Mm, okay. Maybe 47. He needs to put on some muscle, and um, he may not even have to put on no muscle. I mean, I'm put on the weight. He don't drain himself as much. And he'll be able to fight better and compete better. I know um, one of my fights, I had a really big weight cut during, you know, due to some stuff that I was going through. And when I had the big weight cut, I just remember fighting against Amari, against Amari and it was like, even though up in camp, I was sparring and I wasn't getting touched or I wasn't really getting hurt with shots. It just seemed like during the fight, everybody intensity level was higher. And it seemed like in that in that fight that I had a hard weight cut, I could actually feel her punches sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's not saying that she don't punch hard, because I feel punched every fight, but it was like that fight, I just remember feeling her punches and being like, dang, mm -hmm. what is it? And then after the fight, I'm like, well, you did cut this much weight and you have been cutting for this mm -hmm. long. And you didn't have a camp that you wanted to have. Like I had a good camp, but the weight when you get in that um you know for me the way that i cut you know with the with the stuff i can't tell mm -hmm. everybody yeah, but no problem, no problem. it's no problem. But, but but it's draining and i had to do a lot of that to make the weight because it was like to me the belts matter gotcha. okay. and i'm not letting nobody find me for no amount of money for not making weight because gotcha. the woke can't do that the woke <laughs> got to keep her money the woke got to win the fight like no matter what so gotcha. um yeah i think that he needs to consider the weight classes and just kind of regroup. Gotcha. regroup. Thank you, bro. Really For appreciate sure. you. Appreciate you. All right, we got a couple more. We actually got a little bit of Bill and Devin, I think. So let me, um, I'm going through order right now. Come on, come on, Derek, man. how you feeling tonight, brother? What's listen, bro, I feel accomplished. I feel like this one is like, I feel accomplished. I feel like I did my job, and that's what it's all about. Man, you had a shit ton of huge wins, man. Does this one rank as like the most satisfying, considering? I think, I think it would have to be the most satisfying. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna say it's great because I don't want to put anybody situation over anybody else's situation. Gotcha. If I do that, it's good for him. It's good for the young man. It's good for the team. You know, I'm happy for him. You know, he really beat him up bad. If you saw his face, it was like, yeah. Work. You know, I, I mean, I, I know you was expecting your guy to win, but were you even surprised at how dominant he was? He knocked him down about three, four times. Hurt him with the first. Hurt him with the first punch. Were you surprised at how dominant he was? What do you? What? What do you? What do you think should be next for? For um for Ryan, I don't man. do that. I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, I don't get into the pain of fighting. So many people said that this fight should be called off. A lot of people are looking at you to stop it. Stupid, it's a little wrong. It's a mess of weight. But it's okay because that's life. Man. You, can't, you can't expect to be doing well in life if people not talking about you. The game plan for Ryan going in, it was a little bit awkward in there. He did some things that were very unusual. Talk to me about what you planned to do. The, the, the plan was about taking everything from him, taking away what he did. Once 
I saw that when Ryan worked the, the jab and walked to him, he was retreated. That's what it was. Him, him retreating from the jab, and retreating from the punch, and what opened him up. Ross was good. Ross was good. Knowing that this was a really stressful buildup for everybody, do you think that those kind of antics will over if we see the last of the, the crazy air quotes Ryan Garcia? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Wait, do, do you really hope so, or do you just like, yo, he got that shit done, so it don't even matter? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm on the low. You know, I don't get it. I mean, you know, I don't really move like that. I don't, yeah. I don't really like. I don't, I don't like the negativity. You, you know, my daughters, my daughters in my school, kids be talking to them, whatever, about whatever Ryan doing and this and that. So it's like. It's not. A, I told you, don't only affect you. It affect everybody. My wife, my, 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 my kids. What is the statement that you made tonight? I mean, you know, people have been criticizing you this year. Find a trigger. You didn't. You didn't care about you. It's like this. I really can't care about how people feel about me. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you know, they're not gonna love me. That was an accident. They didn't. They'll say whatever they want to say. And I'm okay with that. Derek, I, I know. I know like that. Slightly win of the, the streak that you had, how satisfying you to get this particular win when everybody counted you and Ryan out. Well, I mean, it's life, man. For me to get to this level, I didn't come behind like a Hall of Famer trainer. I didn't come, I didn't, nobody taught me anything. Nobody, I did, I did it myself. I pushed myself to this level. So I'm an underdog anyway. Mm. Even, even now, on, on the level that I'm on, they still count me out. I mean, listen, if you look at pay-per-view boxing, Who's been running it for the last 10 years? My fight has been on Al, Jamel, Ryan, AJ. So what are they talking about? So it's like, we've been running it. So, they, so when people talk about it, like how did he win training of the year, do they really, they, not, I, they, they really not even understanding the situation. It's about success and this and that and doing that. So I really can't, I really can't, I'm not mad at them. I mean, everybody can say what they want. Derek, 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 was that was that was that the was that the worst was that the worst case was that the worst case scenario for Devin in terms of just the continuous beating he took? Was it probably better than him just getting knocked out early? I think it would have been better than him getting knocked out because it's gonna be hard to recover from getting beat up like that. Will it change him forever forever as a fighter? Oh, he's a good fighter, man. He's a good fighter. I think that he'll be he'll be back. I mean, he'll be back because he's really young. He's 25. Mm. He's not 33 or 40. Yeah. He's 25. He's okay. Got it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Can you tell us, like, where you are with that right now? I'm not talking about that. That's not the question I'm asking. That's not the question I'm Everything else we know, but not that. Does a beating like Devin Haney received tonight, does that kind of mess with a guy's hunger going forward? No, he still can be hungry, man, because he's He's, 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 yeah, like this. It's one thing to fight for yourself. When you have your religion, Allah, you know, one of that Jesus, somebody else, Buddha, it's like that's more, that's, that's crazy. That's like more strength. You can fall off and jump back on because you're not always going to see you, whatever you believe in, to give you strength and energy. Jump back uh, what I, kind of conversation did you have with Brian about being an underdog with Devin Haney? I never, I, never, I, never, I never talked about it. I never mentioned him an underdog. I never mentioned him. I, 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 he mentioned last question, guys. Last question. Last question. We had that. Thank you, Boots? Uh, all right, boots. Let's run it with boots. Got you. Got you. God did. God did. Hey, Ryan. How are you going to celebrate? Ryan, you said you was going to light up after you won. I already did. Yeah. <laughs> Sativa or Indica? Congratulations, bro. Everybody, back up, back up, back up, back up, y'all, back up, back up. Hey, where's the other car at? Back up. Is it right here? This one right here? I'm here. Gentlemen, gentlemen.
Dev, any thoughts? Do you think the way helped him, Bill? said we beat Luke Campbell, we beat Devin Haney, who else you got? And I said boot tennis and he gulped and then uh, walked towards me and shook my hand and said I'm sorry, I said I accept your apologies. It's a very emotional game especially when it's your son. So Eddie, the referee stopped what, what, in your opinion? No but I thought Devin bluffed the ref really well in the sixth round. Like he shouldn't have stopped it but he could have stopped it and uh, that was a massive heavy knockdown and um, he deserves a lot of respect Devin, I thought he showed a lot of heart. He got caught in the first round, never really recovered, and just didn't think he boxed well, really. How Eddie, what did the three pounds have an effect on this? It wasn't the three pounds, it was what they weighed tonight. So I would have liked to have seen Ryan Garcia weigh in this morning, personally, but he's what it is. And, um, you know, he didn't make championship weight, but he produced a great performance. What impressed Eddie. you the most about Ryan's performance tonight? Just his power. Power, you know. And the fact that he was like, I was just watching him between rounds. He wasn't really looking at Derek James. He was dancing around. He was singing. Maybe yeah. this is the future. Do you, you think know? after the first knockdown that Devin kind of got a little tired? And yeah, uh, know, I noticed uh, no, with was, the shoulder it, roll, Ryan was It wasn't, it wasn't tired. It was, a, it was a, a huge knockdown. He was badly hurt after the sixth round. Yeah. And he never really recovered. That's the truth. But he showed heart. He come back. I actually had. I thought it was a very close fight. Yeah. I thought he won the last round. Yeah. And I thought it was a very close fight. If, if you had to pick a winner, I pick Ryan Garcia. But I thought it was pretty close because I didn't give Ryan that many rounds outside of the knockdowns. Mm -hmm. But the problem was there was three of them. Yeah. And it's very difficult to win a fight when there's three knockdowns. And I know you wanted Devin. So what, what do you feel is next up for for well, Devin? The, the belt's vacant, so you know we look to try and win that belt back. But it's a devastating loss. But he'll bounce back. He's a good kid. He works hard. He's got a good soul. And he's a great fighter. He'll be back. Eddie, if they rematch, where would it even happen at? Because Ryan said he can't get below 143 pounds. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, Devin can move to 147, but if Henry's serious, I'd love to make boots against Ryan Garcia for the world title. That's what he said. Eddie. Uh, that's what Ryan said. Yeah, he in here. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did not expect to see none of that tonight. I, I didn't. I didn't. I was completely shocked. Somebody said I'm watching Shaq. I'm watching some, he shot he got drugged or something. <laughs> what up, T.O.? What's going on, Shaq? Man, if y'all wasn't shocked by those fights, I don't know. Y'all boxing. I think the three pounds matter. What up, Zo? I think the three pounds matter. I think that Ryan knew exactly what he was doing. I can't say that the weight was a problem or that the weight was an issue because he still took the fight. He still fought. I think that, um, man. Y'all, it was, it was a lot going on tonight. Yeah, that, you listen, that was, that was crazy. Yeah. Barbosa, don't ever need to call out Shakur or Tank again. He lost tonight. He lost tonight. Um, Ryan, I ain't never seen nobody 
trolled like that ever, ever in life. He trolled us for months. And then came out there and just shocked us like Muhammad Ali did when he fought against um, St. Liston. When he jumped on the ring and said, I'm the greatest in the world. I shocked the world. That's what happened tonight. Yeah. What's up, Tyson and Jake and Jake Paul fight? I don't know. I heard that 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 they still fighting. He trolled us for months, man. All different type of stuff. No, nah, like Ryan definitely was playing it. Was playing it crazy. For sure. Oh, the scorecards, I think one said 112, 112. I didn't I didn't see it like that, but you know, I'm not really a person who like judge the fight like by round by round. I like to be like, okay, this is a fight, and once the fight's over, who do I think won the fight? Like, because at the end of the day, it's a war. You know what I'm saying? And when I look at it, thank you for everybody telling me I did my thing on the commentary. Appreciate that. Um, but I just feel like when you look at the fight, you look at the fighters and you look at, you know, the rounds, Ryan Garcia knocked Devin Haney down three, three, four times. And I thought it was getting ugly in there. I honestly wanted, I, I, I honestly wanted um, the ref to step in, man. Or somebody just to stop the fight. Because it's not that I don't think that um, Haney got no heart or nothing. It's just he was taking a lot of punishment. And I didn't like to see that. Everybody keeps saying six times, but I think there was just so much going on. You know what I'm saying? That it was just. Right. I should apologize to Ryan for what? Hey, the ref had a tough job tonight. He had a tough job, and he did his job. The best of his ability. Thank you, guys. I thought they should have stopped it. I think it was seventh or eighth round. It was a knockdown, and it was like a big hook. You know, um, the fight with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, y'all. It seemed like anything can happen in boxing. Um, we know that Mike Tyson is a legend, but he's fifty. Is he fifty five? How old is Mike Tyson? He's fifty seven. Fifty seven. Mike. I'm just saying, you know, I think that, um, yeah, he's 57. Yeah, he 57 versus a younger guy. You know, I think that Tyson can still fight and everything. I think that his fighting is just limited. Like, he not young and all that stuff like he used to be or whatever. So... Yeah, I'm from my podcast soon, y'all. I'll just be in with y'all. Yeah, that was crazy. That was real crazy. All right, I ain't did this big one, y'all. He bet two million on himself. That means he won twelve million. And he gave her 1.5, or well, I think it was 600k. <sighs> Y'all, 
tonight was definitely a different night for boxing. It, it teaches you, well, I've already known this, but it teaches you not to underestimate anybody. You know, to take, take your training seriously. I think Devin did take his training seriously, but the weight cut has always been a problem. You know, and we have to pick our weights right and pick our fights right. And I think that that three pound advantage was huge for Ryan. And, and and Ryan knew that. And he was like, hey, even though I won't be winning the belt, I will be winning this fight. And sometimes you got to do anything necessary to win. And he did. So, Yeah, Tony knocked the fuck out. Yeah, you said that left hook was coming with or without the weight. Hey, of course it was coming because that's his best punch, but was it coming that that hard, that explosive, you know? But I'm not taking it away from Ryan. He did what he did tonight. And if anything, Devin should have prepared to avoid being hit with that hook, no, like, like no matter what. That's his best punch. Why couldn't Haney see the hook? I have no idea. I don't know. But I know that he'll regroup and he'll come back and he'll be better. <laughs> Styles make fights. All right, I'm re I'm recording as clear as she was live, but I'm editing a lot of videos, so I appreciate you guys just chilling in here. Um, I'm gonna take a little quick break from Clarissa because we played some Clarissa earlier. Ryan Garcia's brother Sean. Oh, I didn't even talk to Steve. I don't know. It seems like they saved him a couple times. Saved his fucking ass. Um, I would, I don't know. I, he was trying to help Devin as much as he can. I think, as much as he can. But Ryan was, Ryan just fucking said, "No, fuck that. I'm gonna beat your ass every time." So, Benito, we look forward to you to beating Amara Vargas next fight, man. We're gonna do be this there shit. on your side. We already know what's up. Let's, Let's do this shit. Thank you. Were you? I mean, the first punch that Ryan hit him with and mm -hmm. really hurt him with was the left hook, which. I mean, obviously that's his money punch, yeah, but yeah. everybody kind of knows that's his yeah. shot. Yeah. So were you surprised that that was the first shot that actually hurt No, that? because a lot of people want to say that, like, oh, that's all he has. But honestly, fucking that hook is dangerous. And you, you think that you can, like, stop it. You think you can be prepared for it. But once you're in that moment, that hook comes out of nowhere. And I think Devin, you know, he was completely shocked in the first round that Ryan said, I'm not going to have no respect for you. And that's what he did. I mean, granted, I, you expected your brother to win, mm -hmm. but nah. did you think he was going to be that dominant down the stretch? Because Devin yeah. did adjust, and mm -hmm. like, but did you expect your brother to just be that dominant down the stretch? Um, I, I expected, you know, pain, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, because when Ryan hits you and when he's at his natural rate, his punches are fuck, is very strong. Mm -hmm. So I knew that there was going to be pain, and Devin would have felt it, but... That was just, I, I didn't expect that. That was fucking, I, I thought Ryan was going to knock his ass out, which mm -hmm. he almost did. But he beat his ass like very bad to a point where who's the world champion now? And that's Ryan. Do you think that that... Ryan should be undisputed if we're fucking talking, you know, real shit. Well, I mean, that's... Devin B. Um, that was uh, at 35. Devin B. Combosis. That was at 35. Devin B. Combosis, though. You're right, but that was at 35. I'm just saying, five, I would say Ryan should be WBC champ. five at, pounds. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but, um, Who else is at 135? I mean... That can be Ryan. I mean, you got Shakur. 
Shakur, I mean, let's come on now. Let's you not Shakur, act. We take those punches. Sh I'm not sure Shakur get hit. Shakur, 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 get up. Shakur, and you got Tank down there, but that's besides the point, though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just Shakur ain't nobody. I wouldn't say that, but I'd that's. Say that. <laughs> who do you want your brother to fight next, though, man? He's he's not the champ. Fine, Cruz. but you want him to fight? Yeah, Cruz? I want him to fight Cruz. Why exactly is that? Because he needs to fucking tame that little pit bull, mm. and Ryan would do that. Ryan could tame him. Do you think? I don't want to say tainted, but do you think there's like at least a little small smudge because your brother came three pounds over? No. Mm. That's not at all. I mean, Ryan, he just, he doesn't care about the bouts. The bouts doesn't pay the bills. He wasn't going to kill himself to fucking make the weight. I, I think Ryan's going to move up. Ryan's a big boy. You know, he ain't no small fucking person. So. Nobody would know this but you. Because the way he looked in there, he looked excellent. Yeah. What, put it on record. Was Ryan really drinking in camp? And if he was, let us know the secret and how the hell he was able to perform like that. Was he actually drinking and bullshitting in camp? Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, he drank, um, but he did it. He did his job. That's the thing. And I think he wanted to prove to the world that, you know, it's not about um, what the boxing world makes it seem. You have to be this certain person every day to be the, the best. Um, Ryan just wanted to prove that, yeah, I could work and it's don't let that get to you you know don't let the fucking the 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 boxing world tell you who you need to be you know and he did it he fucking he did it he did some crazy shit this camp i'm telling you this is crazy shit and he did it man he's, he told me he's i'm gonna beat his ass and i said i know you're you're gonna beat his ass last category switching from your brother to devin mm -hmm. if you was in his corner who would you t like? Who would you advise him to fight next? To Devin? Yeah, like what? Like what should he kind of do? And rematch with your brother off the table. What should he do? Um, I, I'd say you know. Should he like maybe get like a few tune-ups? Should he jump right into another nah, big jump fight? Right back into another, I mean, like, what's what's the point of having tune-ups when you can make some good money, like hella money? Yeah. They make really good money. There's no point of doing two of these people don't give a fuck about you. Mm. Might as well just do the big fights and win or lose, you have hella money in your account. Fair so, enough. Fuck these little fights. Go fight big, make that money. Love the advice. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yeah. you, man. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see, let's see. What else do we got? Such a long night, guys. I appreciate you guys on it. If you guys did you guys see the Devin and Bill footage? If not, I'll play it one more time. So Devin didn't do a post outside of what was in the room. Dev, any thoughts? Let him have his pri privacy. Let him have his privacy, guys. Play it up. Ryan's a, a, a good fighter, you know what I'm saying? And we knew that he was playing all along. That it was it was all a publicity stunt. The way, the craziness, good fighter, we want to rematch him again. Do you think the way helped him, Bill? We want to rematch, that's what you do. No, it's the same thing, the same focus. And we know that he's a, he's a good fighter, I always say it. I never said he was gonna say he's a good fighter, and that's what it is. You want a rematch? Uh -huh. You know he, he got hit with a shot early, and um, it, I don't think the rematch will kind of recover from it with the uh, being swing our way. But listen, that's the thing that he's a champion. Um, you know uh, he showed hard, he showed good, and like I said, we just we want a rematch. Devin kept getting. Also, if you guys follow MMA, Sean O'Malley. Let's see. Sean O'Malley had something to say. Sean O. Got done. Very impressive. Uh, Evan Haney just got done. Very impressive uh, fight from Ryan. He was using an interesting technique. Uh, he would throw his left hook, which is really nice. Throw his left hook instantly, turn his back. Couldn't get hit.
good fight. Good fight. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney just got done. Very impressive uh, fight from Ryan. He was using an interesting technique. Uh, he would throw his left hook, which was really nice. Throw his left hook, instantly turn his back. Good get hit. Devin Haney this dude is a troll uh, uh, keep it going bro all night so real quick I know that it's late and a lot of you guys are just still in here rocking we're posting a lot of content uh, I just really first and foremost just in the bottom of my heart appreciate you guys just being in here in the chat this whole entire stream has been really great tomorrow I think tomorrow Monday we're gonna do kind of like a breakdown right my guy, Kevin Garcia, who was at the fight, I think I'm going to have him on. Um, I think we're going to have some surprises. I'm going to hit up some fighters. Maybe we can get some fighters to do some in some interviews live. So I'm going to keep posting content right now. But I just really just sincerely just appreciate all you guys just coming in here, man. Like, what a crazy night. If you guys are just coming in here right now, um, I got <laughs> the Ryan Garcia Free the Children shirt given via family Garcia. Um, I had Devin Haney. I picked Devin Haney to win the fight. I was wrong and Ryan Garcia did his thing. So um, I think I think Clarissa's still alive. Hold on. Let me see. Is she not? Okay. So for you guys who came a little bit later, these are Ryan Garcia's first words. I'm working on a couple videos at the moment, so el más alto nivel y para mí es un honor y un orgullo vengo de, de una provincia de Cartago donde las, las oportunidades son duras como es que hay y aquí estoy dándolo todo a puro corazón y mucha entrega en cuadrilátero uh, thank you to all the friends for being here. I come from a place where there's no boxing uh, culture, there's there's no sparring partners, there's nothing. And to be able to be here tonight on a main event like this, having Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney on a main event, it's just a dream come true. I want to thank everyone for having me here, and, and thank you very much. All right. Ryan King, Ryan Garcia, baby. First of all, first of all, let me say um, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you uh, to all the fans. Thank you, New York for giving Ryan all the love, all the love he deserves. Yes, sir. Everybody said, oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast. And this. Look at the arena. Pay-per-views are going to be through the roof. And Ryan Garcia as the champ. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Last thing you should worry about is a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Every day you're looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy. It's a conspiracy. It's this, it's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I out there put that my reputation on the line. I had everybody thinking I was crazy. But at the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't even really want to say this, but it, it's the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, mm -hmm. not me. You guys were tripping. I was I was the one that was actually who was sanity because I'm like, yo, there's the hurting other kids. Let's, let's help them. Like, that's called being a real man because I don't give a fuck what people say about me. That's right. 
I walk through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drink every day and still beat. And I still, I did everything. Yeah, right. what, what the fuck? Yeah, hey, what, what, what happened? Cross reality, right? Like every single night, went out on the first Monday and the Tuesday and Thursday. What happened? I won. Right. He did I, come I, down. Not, not, hey, not necessarily. Not, I, wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that, but I'm just saying. This is, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really fuck with me. That's right. I, I do whatever I want. That's cool. He did, he did um, throw him down on Sundays. And <laughs> Just imagine yeah. if none of that happened. Oh, and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Oh, I didn't do that. Just, I didn't do that. Just imagine. See, use your imagination because y'all all had great Just pray, you know, pray for my kids and hopefully they're okay, you know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud and you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example, look at Jesus Christ because uh, I fought for perfect. Alright, we're gonna start questions. Well, Ryan, uh, first of all, congratulations on this uh, amazing victory. Um, tell us what ran through your mind in the first lockdown because everybody from the beginning of the first bill to the twelfth, I kid you not, everybody was just on their feet. But what was running through your mind? Um, is this gonna be the moment I stop him? That's just all I was thinking. I shouldn't have put too much pressure on myself to stop him. Because every time I heard him, I just went crazy and I just couldn't finish him. But I, I, at the end of the day, I think, um, what's his name, Harvey Dell? Yeah. I think he was tripping. He should've stopped that fight. Yeah, he should've been stopped the first It was bad, he, he, he was really hurt. And I felt, I felt bad, I even looked at Bill. Like, I don't know, stop him. Stop him. Yeah, but he probably should stop this. But um, he didn't, and uh, I'm going to bring you around here in the second town. I am curious what you did think overall of the referee's performance, particularly in the seventh round. Horrible, it was a horrible round. Yeah, I mean, the guy was holding me for dear life, and I got an opportunity to keep swinging while my hands were free, and I cracked him, and then he took one away when I cracked him. But he held me, and then, like, I should have knocked him out in that seventh round. They stole that from me. The referee was horrible. I think everybody in the arena saw it. it was horrible. It should have been stopped the first time, and Devin was holding and holding and holding, and Ryan got his place about to turn. That was ridiculous. That was crazy. I never seen some shit like that. He was holding me, and I just whack. I whacked him, and then he was hurt, and I was like, yes, done. And then, oh, he's one second out. Darrell Josh Johnson, uh, Amsterdam News, in the front, uh, Ryan, and I'd love to hear what Bernard and Oscar have, have to say two brilliant uh, game plan, Ryan. Uh, did you, uh, right in the first round, oh, right in the first round. <laughs> did you think Henny felt your power in the first round? And how, did, how, did you, how did you proceed? Most definitely, yeah, I mean, yeah. he got wobbled bad. I mean, I, I'm surprised he has such good heart and like recovery. Bro, I cracked him in that first round. I thought it was over, I was like, I want easy work. And then he came out firing in the second. He even hurt me with the hook. And I was like, damn. Maybe you do got a little power. <laughs> Ryan, Mike Hoppinger, ESPN. Yeah, I see. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Um, look, Oscar, you said that you're in the, in the lead up to this fight that some fighters thrive in the chaos and need that. Ryan, does that help you? Did this chaotic build up really help you focus on? Man, you, you don't know half of the shit I've been through in my life. Like, that shit was nothing. Like, I've been through some crazy ass fucking. This whole fight week was crazy. Like crazy, you have no clue. <laughs> Y'all have no clue. <laughs> Fucking no clue. Cheers, <laughs> That's a hot one day. I got. Yeah. And, um, I got. <laughs> Oscar, Oscar, I swear, I swear, I had brown hair on Monday. I got gray hair. <laughs> no, but look, Ryan. I mean, look, Devin Haney was on everyone's pound for pound list. He's a Great boxer, and you yeah. dropped him three times. He'd never been down before. Yeah. More than three times, Mike. He caught five or six. <laughs> <laughs> he just been calling knockdowns. Right. Yeah, five or six times. Okay. How, how does this feel? You know, you were counted out, and this is a monster, a monster victory. I mean, like I said, my, me and my coach, he, he's instilled in my mind, literally brainwashed me. What's next? But well, at the end of the day, what's next? I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, I already knew I could beat him. I was supremely confident. Am I happy? Of course. But at the end of the day, it's like, I'm all about trying to fulfill the will of God and keep it moving. So, what's next? Who's next? Amen. Let's go. Amen. God did. Amen. God did.
Hey Ryan, what's going on, man? Right in the front, friend. This is Najee from Cigar Talk. Uh, congratulations, big, big win tonight. Um, this win, you know, in spectacular fashion with all the knockdowns, people have already started clamoring about a Tank uh, Part 2. How do you feel just, you know, obviously Tank has to take care of his business uh, with Frank Martin in June, uh, but how do you feel, what are your thoughts on trying to make that happen? That's disrespectful, that's disrespectful. That's real disrespectful. Yeah. 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 I don't think Tank's gonna beat Frank Martin, but if he did, he wouldn't fight me because I'm moving up. I'm not zero one forty. I'm going one forty seven. I can't make fucking one forty. I, I never even technically fought at one forty. I fought every time at one forty six. My body can't literally go lower than one forty six. It's impossible. I tried every technique. Can't do it. All right, let's see. I'm almost done with this video. What's some of you guys saying in the chat? I, I appreciate you guys. I'm working, so um, let me get some of you guys involved really quick. Um, Spanx Dam. They could whatever wait. Ryan beats the nostrils some every time. Ryan could have made weight and did the same. Um, he did tonight to become a champion, but he didn't, so that's that. What up, Eric? Yeah, it would have been nice if he was able to actually walk out with the, the belt, right? It feels almost a little incomplete, right? We know who won the fight. We know there's a 3.2 pound that Devin agreed to, right? So um, don't let a boxing match separate y'all's views on humanity. I agree, Spooks. It was over right, so that's not a Haney issue. That's a Ryan issue, being disciplined issue. So this, this, this is the real debate, right? Those those three point two pounds that Devin agreed, you know, was that kind of Devin maybe overlooking, right? Because three point two pounds is a lot, right? Or maybe that was just genuine confidence that it doesn't matter. I will give you those three point two pounds. And really at this moment, because Devin hasn't really spoke on the weight, I don't really want to give an opinion until I hear what he says. Because personally at the end of the day, if he's genuinely honest about how he feels we would know if he feels, was it, was it Ryan? Was it his weight? Was it Devin? You know, Devin didn't do a post-conference today. So all I can do is say that they both agreed. You know, no different than when Ryan did the rehydration clause with Tank. He agreed. Tank beat him. And he won. Enough's enough. That, that, that's, that's all we can go by, right? So in this case, I really don't really want to take away Ryan Garcia's credit, especially when the first minute Ryan landed a vicious, devastating hook that dropped him. So 3.2 pounds is significant in the boxing world, right? He's almost a weight, well, depending on what weight, right? Because Devin went from 135 to 140. So that's a little bit more than halfway up. So I'm not trying to downplay that weight does matter, and that is an advantage. If it was an advantage, we wouldn't even be talking about it. We wouldn't have a weigh-in, right? But at the end of the day, Devin hasn't spoke on it, so I don't really want to break it down too much until he gives his opinion saying if it is or not, because that's going to really allow us to speak fairly on Devin and, think, and speak fairly on Ryan, because I feel like it strips away Ryan's win but at the same time, there is this quote-unquote public asterisk on the 3.2 pounds. I just think Ryan just was a lot faster. Um, he landed a better shot. He dropped Devin multiple times. Um, yeah, I just, I just, but we'll wait. Devin will do an interview at some point. And so, um, but I respect the view about the weight. Um, and... So he was overweight, so that's not a handy issue, that's Ryan. But I do wish he did make weight so that he could have walked out with a championship belt, right? So um, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Blue shirt, handyman, great commentary on all the fight talk. I was listening to another outlet, a lot of unnecessary fruity, tasteless jokes. This is what fight entertainment is with your kind. I really appreciate it. You know, I really don't do these. So honestly, like, 
these are probably things I'm going to start doing a little bit more. I'm usually at the fights, right? I'm at the fights. Um, make, let me make sure I'm rendering this video. Um, I'm usually at the fights. Um, I'm usually doing the interviews. You usually, a lot of times, nine times to 10, you guys just hear my voice. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more interactive space. We don't have like a live chat. I don't, we don't talk to you guys often. So um, I want to start bringing interviews live and then start engaging and having you guys in there. So instead of only the interviews just being on site, like a lot of the interviews that you see on the channel, but kind of get you guys involved, have you guys give questions. And, and, and you guys could be really ruthless, raw, like ask the tough questions that us media guys might be a little too hesitant, right? And, um, and I'll just post them up. Like, so um, I'll get some of these guys, you know, I think this week would be a great time to start getting some guys because let's keep it real. This is the hottest topic, not just in boxing, but in sports. So, um, but I don't want to take away any credit from either guy. They both showed up. They both delivered. They both gave a great fight. Um, let me put uh, fighters react. Fighters react to Devin Ryan. And um, yeah, I, I think I think it's fair to just give Ryan's credit. I picked Devin Haney by uh, late round stoppage, or you know maybe Ryan the antics Ryan might quote unquote quit, but Ryan didn't show any of that. Um, he was selling wolf tickets to a lot of media. We ran into it. We ate it up. We poured hot sauce over it, barbecue sauce, and. I really generally believe that if there's really a media member out there that said Ryan Garcia was going to win the fight by decision, um, I might say they're full of shit, right? But that's not taking away Ryan or uh, Ryan's win on Devin. I just think that it just shows that anything can happen in boxing. So it doesn't matter how much of an expert that you think you are, it literally could just happen like that. So. Uh, complete credit to Ryan Garcia and credit to Devin Haney because he took the fight. There's been a lot of people saying, oh, Devin ain't got a chin, Devin this, Devin that, Devin. But, you know, when you see a guy who took all those hooks, went down and got back up, you can't question Devin's heart, right? And he fought tooth and nail to the end. And even though you look at the scorecard, it was a split decision. And I don't think it was a wide decision for um, Devin or a wide decision for Ryan. But I felt that the fight was close enough with the right amount of knockdowns that Ryan Garcia was clearly the winner. So um, I think that a rematch sounds great, but at the same time, there's so many big fights, I can't see Ryan wanting to go fight Devin again uh, unless it warrants a crazy amount of money. Maybe they might share the ring a little bit later when Devin can build himself back up and maybe win another big fight, Ryan, you know, they come to a, a collision course. But at some point, um, when you look at this, you just have to just take your hat off and just give Ryan Garcia credit. <clears throat> now, uh, Bible Lover, um, this is an interesting one, right? I'm going to play this clip um, because it seemed like it was brought up to Ryan a lot. Because Ryan said that he was starting to kind of, he was kind of struggling to make the weight, right? The weight. And, um, 147 is the weight class up. Boots? Let's run over boots. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. How are you gonna celebrate? Yeah, Ryan, you said you was gonna light up after you won. I already did. Yeah. <laughs> Sativa or Indica. Back up, back up, back up, back up, y'all, back up, back up. Hey, where's our other car at? Back up. Right here? Yep. This one right here? Yeah. I'm here. Alright, so Ryan's to do fight boots. Now, me personally. Me personally. Now, if he beats boots, alright. Um,
where's this um, video that I did? Um, rips hurt. Let's see. Okay, four years ago, I went to Philly. Right, it was my first time and heading out to Philly. Um, kind of like a unknown. I want to say unknown boxing. People kind of knew, but it was still new right see 32,000 views four years ago i took the trip to philly before jerron kind of had all this hype and because uh, I, I heard a lot of good things so i wanted to see for myself and when i left there i was like this kid is special like this kid is special <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna show this little part right here, right? Where shout out to uh, Coach. Uh, I need to go see Boots sometime. I need to do an interview with Boots just for you guys. Uh, I'm, uh, I might make some phone calls. He said five inch thick, man. He's grimacing. Look, I'm gonna be honest, man. I was wrong about Ryan and Devin, right? Hear me out. I was wrong. But I don't think Ryan can beat the Ryan. That's a one big, that's a big 147 pounder. All right, I think I got music on here, so I gotta cut this out. All right, but if you guys was able to hear the shots, now this, I need to find something with the shots, because I can't just tell you about it. But you can probably look this one up. Dron Ennis is a really insanely, insanely talented kid. Insanely talented kid. Like, look, Ryan and Devin, they have history. But this is the fighter that everyone wants to see Terrence Crawford fight, right? Terrence Crawford. <laughs> when people were saying, hey, Devin should fight Boots, I was like, ugh. When people were saying Ryan should fight Boots, I'm like, ugh. There's a certain weight class, right? And even though that I was wrong about the Devin, right? And this is not me because I picked Devin and now I'm like, okay, well, I'm, no, I need some, no. I'm asking Ryan to fight his fighters and his weight is contemporary. I think it's unfair for a guy to just beat Devin Haney to now all of a sudden go to 147, another weight class, who's a guy who's probably going to leave the 154 to fight Dron Ennis. That's a lot, that's really, un, that's insane. I love Ryan being a fighter and um, speaking <clears throat> in that fashion. 
But as our fa- as the smart, intelligent boxing fans we are, which clearly you guys are, because the majority of you guys in here pick Ryan Garcia, I think you guys can see that Jerron Ennis and Devin Haney are in two different kind of realms of weight and size that the punches are going to feel a lot different. A lot different. And um, we just got to let Ryan... Do- Let's just let Ryan relish in the win, right? He was an underdog, minus 800, wasn't supposed to win this fight. He drops this defensively, quote-unquote, pound-for-pound fighter, and now we're already asking him, go fight Boots. Nah, right? And I say this out of respect for both fighters because I think Boots would beat Ryan, but I think it's unfair for Ryan to have this type of fight comparison. I think Ryan should fight a pit bull. I think Ryan should fight uh, Teofimo Lopez. I think Ryan should fight the fighters in his weight class, you know? So let him dip his toe in his weight. Let him work his way into actually trying to get a world championship. I know that's probably not going to happen because he says he struggled to make 140. But even then, let him have the world championship fights with the world championship fighters so that enough fighters that he beats that you don't need the belt. You can comfortably say catch weight. Maybe a sanctioned body allows the catch weight. Um, but Jerron Ennis is a freak. Like this might be the next pound for pound fighter, personally, all right? But, um, but Boots still also has to prove himself too, right? I'm going with a lot of stuff that I've seen with my eyes, covering him, being in his gym. Um, he still hasn't proven his professional record, right? So by all means, Ryan Garcia has fought better opposition and has a better win than Boots. Boots is bigger. Boots has now signed to Matchroom, so we're going to see him fight. Boots will be slightly avoided, not because the fighters like Terrence and Harold don't necessarily think they can beat him, but there's no value in their career. So it's like a high risk, low reward. And they're looking for rewards. And Boots is not going to give them the reward that these guys are looking for. So Ryan versus Boots. I mean, and, 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 no, and it's also the other thing, too. Ryan beating Devin, he has officially made himself an insane big star in sports. Right? He's already had a lot of social media, too. But now he has a legitimate, credible win. We're now, not to say that he's bigger than Boots, right? as in, like, sport. Boots is a world champion, but as star, attraction, power, this big win, Ryan Garcia is bigger than Jerron Ennis when it comes to power and, and, and just being able to pick his fights. So Ryan's going to be able to pick and choose who his opponent is and who he should fight um, and kind of not have to fight a tough guy like Jerron Ennis. So, but um, uh, let's see, keep hey, no, Garcia, you know, mad if you was hating, stay hating, don't jump on the winning wagon. Yeah, I mean, look, for a lot of the fans in here, right, I think I think what it is is that the people who picked Devin or the people who picked Ryan, there was a debate. But I think everyone can leave this chat, right? Because I haven't seen anyone in this chat said Robbie, right? Right? As crazy and insane that this chat was today, right? There was 1.455 million views. I have it right here on my understanding. That's what this stream is going to turn out to be. Um, I think we had Pete 20 something thousand, 40 thousand live chat. Okay. I didn't see the word robbery, right? Oh, no, I know he made a statement, Jim. I was, I, I, I know he wasn't saying to me. I, I guess I'm kind of speaking <laughs> in a sense for the Devin Haney guys, right? The Devin Haney guys, the guys who picked Devin Haney. Um, that kind of thing, right? The quote unquote don't jump on the bad wagon, right? I think it's not that they're going to jump on the bad wagon, but I think it's a humbling experience where I think they're forced, quote unquote, to be on the bad wagon. They're forced because Ryan Garcia beating Devin Haney is an extremely great win. So it's kind of like you have shut the naysayers, and now the naysayers are like, Ryan Garcia, you ain't that bad. Okay, all right. Well, maybe, maybe I need to take some time and kind of appreciate. And now, maybe what I wasn't appreciating, wasn't a fan of. So, um, oh shit, 
It says YouTube is not receiving enough. What does this say? My uh, YouTube studio. Sorry, I think I'm getting an error. Um, it's not appear to me. So, so it's being, okay. So I'm getting a little buffering. I'm sorry, guys. I think it's because I'm uploading videos. All right. Oh, okay. My frames are dropping. I'm sorry. But um, I think that's what it is, though. Right? I hear this channel is pro Haney. Mexico is not pro Haney. We got everybody. All right. Question. If we're pro Haney, right? Right? And don't get me wrong. We got guys that are that pick and choose and who they win and yada yada. But listen. The owner, Ben Thompson, he wouldn't have got this Ryan Garcia interview. You know, we've been covering Ryan Garcia for years. Um, let me move this over here quick. Here, let me get this. All right. Um, I think... Average time to render frame. Okay. Fight hype is pro boxing. That's all. I appreciate that. All right. Mexico. This is the right guy. Eric Black. All right. This is this is really, and I'll be extremely transparent with you guys. This is really what it is. All right. We cover every fight at every event and cover every fighter. Win or lose. All right. Now, between the many different interviews we have, the interviews we have, right, myself included, um, the owner Ben Thompson, um, Hans, Kevin Garcia, um, you know, the list goes on. Frankie, Rahman, um, we all have different relationships with different people, depending on where we live, certain access, certain relatability, and just even some of our personal beliefs on who are better fighters. So some fighters, I mean, some interviews will have better access to certain fighters and some other media outlets may have better relationships with other fighters. But when it comes to fight night, we will cover everybody. So we don't lose, essentially, if Ryan wins or Devin wins or this guy wins or this guy loses or this guy loses because we're still going to cover every single person. So as the platform, all right, and Fight Hype, which has been here for a long time, and that's why you guys are here rocking, you know, some things might seem a little pro because we may have a little bit more access, right? Um, and some, and, and that just might be the only difference. But when it's fight night, fight week, we'll cover everybody. We'll, you know, um, I said Ryan Garcia, uh, Mayweather, maybe. If you guys seen this interview with Ben Thompson owner, there is this interview with Ryan Garcia with the derma roller. He's like rolling in on his face. Um, Ryan Garcia wouldn't do that interview with us if we, um, you know, if we didn't give him an opportunity to speak his truth and, um, say his piece, right? And, um, I'm a fighter for you guys, but we will interview everybody. Like we don't discriminate. We don't, you know, we cover every race, every country, every fighter, you know, um, you know, I just... I literally just got this shirt right here from the Garcias, like last week. Now, I wasn't wearing this during the fight because I picked Devin, but I put this on out of support saying that I respect them if they beat Devin because my pick was Devin. But I was just I just talked to Ryan Garcia's dad last week, um, which I'm probably going to go, you know, probably tomorrow, contact and congratulate him. So... You know, we like to cover everybody the best that we can. And sometimes our opinions can be there. But regardless, um, can I find this? There's so much Ryan Garcia and there's going to be so much more. Um, I know, I know. It's, it's a little rant that I don't really need to defend myself. But I don't mind answering the questions in the chat because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer these questions that may seem a little uncomfortable. Um, yeah, see, this was an interview that I did with Ryan Garcia's dad. Um, yeah, let me see. Which was years ago. This is a I, repost I clip. I always tell people, 
you have to don't just say oh he's this and that he's just that he's just that you know this guy can beat him this guy can beat him I mean you guys been saying that even with Romero Duno oh he's gonna get knocked out by Romero Duno and I'm thinking wait a minute I never even heard of Romero <laughs> Dino in the amateurs. How could he beat my son? See, and but people didn't know that because they saw that Romero Dino was knocking out, you know, Chimpa Gonzalez and all those people. You know, I said, yeah, but those are those guys. But you don't know my son. Do your research. My son has 200 over 225 amateur uh, fights. Okay, um, minimum losses. But more importantly, he's got 15 nationals. You know how hard it is to win one national? Yeah. My son won 15, 15. nationals, and he was giving people eight counts. He, he's, he's the one that gave Devin Haney his first eight count. Wow. Yeah. My son fought Devin Haney five times. Right. He beat him three times, and Devin Haney beat him twice. So it's on. But it's Ryan, on. But so Ryan gave him but an eight Ryan count. Gave him Which eight was three, three. Okay. But, yeah gave him his first eight count in Ontario in, in uh, Oxnard. I, I mean, I was there. <laughs> I was his coach, so, you know, and he won that national. Wow. Yeah. And he beat him in West Virginia, too. So, uh, blew their drum out. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, blew their drum out. Yeah. See, but people don't know that. Yo, this interview is gold. It is aging so well. I kind of want to maybe repost this somewhere because Henry is, is spitting right now. And people won't even say that because, you know, they're like, I'm not going to say that. All right, 4NG3O. But I am going to tell you that. Good night, man. Hey, we beat Ryan. We beat him. Yeah, we did this. We did. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you that. But we also beat you. <laughs> okay? So don't forget that. And right now, Ryan's got the power and he's got the speed that I don't care who you're in. I'm telling you right now, you can hate me. You can, I don't, you can criticize me. I don't care. I know my son, and I'm going to tell you this much. If he hits you with any punch, with the right or left, especially that left hook. Yeah, that, that if left if hook. He, if one. he hits you, I don't care who you are, I don't care. You're in his weight class, and he hits you with that. Tank Davis, Terofimo, Haney, you're going out. Hmm. Guaranteed. You're going to go out. I got to text this to Henry, bro. I got to take that age so well and so gracefully, man. He was spitting facts, man. And he told everybody. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, what was the, the guy that said it was pro? And I know, I know. Like I said, I don't have to go this hard to defend. But I just want the people to know that we've been covering good. Ryan Garcia. Like my guy, Frankie. He's been covering Ryan Garcia for so long. Wait till you see these old Ryan Garcia. Like, and just you know. uh, out here in Miami. Uh, and uh, about to do a a podcast with Patrick Bet David. Uh, so, you know, other than that, life is going how it should be going right now. You know, uh, and I'm trying my best to keep making the right moves. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, before we get into all the juicy details, I got to start with, I know people are going to be watching this video thinking, what the hell is he putting <laughs> on his face? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, we're, we're not pro Ryan. We're not pro Devin. We're pro fighters. All right. And, um, you know, big shout out to Ben Thompson, the owner of Fight Hype, for just kind of really implementing that idea. So, um, oh, let's see, Ryan Garcia. Amber Crom, right? I think this is it, right? He did like an Amber Crom. So, we've been, you know, shout out to Frankie, because Frankie's really been um, uh, covering Ryan Garcia for the. Um, a crazy amount of years so um but yeah man crazy night man crazy crazy night and uh let me now just kind of turn over to the chat because like we have tons of content yeah i told you fighters all right um i'm gonna read to you guys before we kind of eventually sign off later tonight i don't know how long uh, yeah, I appreciate you, Eric, man. Um, yeah, Blue Belt, you saw that video? Yeah, he was wrong about Tank, though. Hey, you win some, you lose some. This platform says Devin is pound for pound. Stop the cap. Who said Devin, he was pound for, like, the best fighter? I mean, look, 
I did probably have Devin somewhere in the top 10, right? But I have Terrence Crawford as pound for pound. I've had Terrence Crawford or anyway as pound for pound. Personally, my 1A, 1B, but I got Terrence as my pound for pound. But even if we have Devin pound for pound, Ryan just beat a good fighter. And nobody should discredit that at all. Um, I think Tank Davis doesn't get enough credit, right? Um, Tank Davis is beating all these guys. And I think a lot of these wins are starting to age really well. The Mario Barrios, the Pitbull Cruz, the Ryan Garcia. Um, and I know there's like rehydration clause and all that stuff. But once again, if we complain about that, then we have to complain about Ryan becoming four point, uh, it's 3.2 pounds over, right? You signed the contract, you agree. So um, I've had more... Uh, luxury and more privy of covering Devin Haney because I live in Vegas. You know, Devin Haney trains at the top ranked gym, so it's about a 15 minute drive, right? Opposed to me having to go to Texas, I can't go to Texas every week. I can go see Devin pretty often. So I can give you more Devin Haney coverage. Me, now, if there was someone who was closer to Texas and wants to cover Ryan Garcia and Derek James, hit us up, right? Hit us up. Um, if you live out in Oxnard, Hit us up. Uh, I don't know if he lives in Oxnard. I think he might be. But just hit us up. All right? So there's only so many of us that can cover it so much in so little time that um, I would totally love to work. I mean, uh, wait, you don't work? Uh, man, you're the best worker they have. Nah, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my God. You're still live? We work? Yo, this is Ben Thompson right here, the owner of Fight Hype. Yeah, we still working, man. We working. We ain't stopping. How are we going to stop? Ryan Garcia just beat Devin Haney in a close combatant epic fight. Come on, man. These are the real diehard fans. These are the real fight hype fans, man. These are the ones that live, breathe boxing, man. They ain't going to sleep. East Coast, West Coast, in the UK, from Africa, from the Philippines. Come on, man. Fight hype, we stay working. Look at this. Five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 37 minutes ago, we got so much content. We stay working, right? So, yeah, at some point, I'll probably get off live. <laughs> but it's hard when I have this awesome community that's here that just wants to talk boxing, right? When I, when I, if I go off, who are they going to talk to, right? So, yeah, it tells you how good Tank is, right? No, he wasn't wrong about Tank. Tank was not up. Tank was just smart, and he knew he had to make the playing field even by putting a rehydration clause on him. He said he won't fight Ryan without one. And you know, weight classes matter. And to be fair, Tank is what? In his third weight class? And if he fought Ryan at 140, that would be his fourth weight class. And Ryan can't even, you can see Ryan can't even make the limit. So he would be fighting a guy in, in his fifth weight class who can punch... Clearly, right? So, yeah, we have to go live tomorrow. We are going live tomorrow. So, everyone, Mr. Fight Hype, we should get him to go live tomorrow with us, right? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Um, Tank would have slept Devin in one round. Damn. I mean, I still want to see the fight. I want to say one round, but then again... Ryan almost slept. I mean, style makes fights, right? Remember, Tank is a lot smaller than Ryan, right? So, um, Ryan could probably oppose his will a lot better, which you saw in the first round. He almost, he dropped him in the first, he hurt him in the first round. I keep saying dropped. He hurt him in the first minute. What do you have to say about Tank not being on every pound for pound list after watching this? Uh, I mean, you know how it is, right? Um, we just went live. Okay. You know how it is, right? Um... There's a lot of pound for pound lists is subjective, right? And I think a lot of people don't put tank on pound for pound. It's because he the quote unquote belts, right? And the opposition who he fights and stuff like that. And he always talks about money over this and that. And I don't need these belts, right? So it's so much easier when you're a fighter who collects belts. You can't really dispute it. Hence why it's undisputed, right? So when Devin wins four belts and he becomes the undisputed champion, you can't dispute that, right? And so those are the type of things that Tank doesn't really necessarily, he can make those fights. Those guys would love to fight him. 
but because he doesn't have those titles and he doesn't have all these things, it's you know people are quick to go, ah, what has he done? He's fighting a guy that never won a belt, i.e. Ryan Garcia. Oh, you know Mario Barrios and you know, um, you know Rolly Romero, Pitbull. Who's this Pitbull guy? Two week notice. He's fighting this guy on a two week notice. Da, da, da. So I think a lot of that comes to why some people don't put him on the pound for pound list, and I think Tank totally can be on the pound for pound list. I don't see why not. Um, I think this win at Ryan did definitely elevated Tank more if you didn't have him on the pound for pound list. So um, it's going to be hard to argue Javante Tank Davis after this, right? Mm. Tank is the face of boxing. Ryan pulled up, so enjoy the alcohol and drugs with ketchup too, and that's unfortunate. You know what? I don't know if he's trolling, like because at this point we're all like, the ones that picked Devin Haney, right? We believed into it. But if he really is doing it and he does do it consistently, um, I agree with Blue Belt. Um, oh, sorry. I don't even have you guys' chat. I don't. I agree with Blue Belt because you can't just rely on pure talent, you know, because eventually it will catch up to you. And there's tons of fighters that snorted coke, drink, smoke. I mean, from the 70s, the 80s. I mean, these guys totally have been world champions and beat amazing guys but eventually it does catch up to them lifestyle wise um and so at some point you do have to take in consideration if ryan continues to do that it's gonna be harder consistently always pick him when he fights against top opposition you know beating Devin haney doesn't necessarily mean i will pick him against other guys still but it will make me question it a little bit more um let's talk about pound for pound list um I think pound for pound, the only, the, really the only pound for pound that I really look at, like one and two, right? Two or three, you know, so I got Terrence and Inoue. Um, you can probably put like Usyk or Canelo around there. Um, does Ryan Garcia make your pound for pound list, I guess? It's probably what you're asking me, right? Does Ryan, because I'm sure you're thinking I got Devin somewhere in there, which I probably do. I probably have him somewhere in the middle or the, the, the middle or bottom. So does this win get Ryan into pound for pound? List? Mm, nah, because you got to do more than one, win one fight, right? Winning one fight doesn't make you a pound for pound fighter, but this win definitely makes me look at you and go, you know, win one more, one more and you will be for sure. Um, yo, one more thing before you end the live, explain to me how much they weighed yesterday affects the fight when they both weighed way more tonight. Um, it's all about their rehydration, right? So it's more about, yes, every after every weigh-in, each person rehydrates and becomes a bigger fighter, right? But what happens is if you shrink down, right, more, you're more drained. So recovery takes a lot more. Um, when these guys are not around their, when they don't fight around their walk-around weight and they fight at weights a lot smaller, they have to cut down their water. They have to cut down all these different type of important things that are important to their vitals, their organs, their brain, and stuff like that. And so when you cut more away from your natural walk around weight, the recovery is worse. Your rehydration, um, you're not actually going to be 100% closer to your walk around weight. If you miss weight, it gives you a little bit more kind of comfort to get closer to that weight that you're naturally feel more, you know, I, I'm trying to think if, um, I'm trying to think for a person who's never cut weight or never been in, um, you know, just, or anyone who hasn't played sports, it's just, you just don't feel yourself, right? Like any day that you work, you know, let's say you stayed up way too late. Um, you only got two hours of sleep. You're not a hundred percent. So when you get some rest, all right, you're going to be a little bit better. And that's kind of like the thing is like, a person who only got one hour of sleep versus a guy who got five, four hours of sleep, right? Let's say Ryan Garcia got four hours of sleep and Devin got one hour of sleep. And they're the same exact weight and size. That's what it is. So Ryan's able to feel a little bit more rested, a little bit better because he doesn't have to kill himself more. Because the thing is what these do, these guys do when they cut weight is this isn't, it's not just, oh, they don't have to eat or, or they don't have to drink water. It's hours and hours leading up to that weigh-in. So sometimes some of these guys don't get sleep. They have to stay later and cut more weight and do these things a longer. And that people don't think about that stuff when 
they're cutting weight. They think they're just going to sleep. Some guys don't actually get a full rest of sleep. And so now you're trying to recover from that day. And then now you have to prepare for a fight the next day. So um, that's, that's kind of what it is. And so I guess I don't want to take away the idea that Ryan beat Devin because Devin agreed to fight. So enough said. But what's for the people who are a little bit, you know, unaware of what that may potentially does, not saying it would have changed the outcome, right? But when you give a guy a little bit more, you know, that's what potentially what they can get out of it. Um, Ryan Garcia's a good fighter, but he has no belts. It is tomorrow. Okay, we'll, we'll do it today. Touche. Um... Tank ain't no face of boxing, SMH. He's, we'll see, man. We got to fight with Frank Martin. So if he can sell that, it's on their way there. Because I, I believe that if you can fight with guys that aren't big stars and can still make it a big event, you start entering that face of boxing around. Is Devin still in your pound for pound list? I would have to make a pound for pound list and really actually see where I put Devin in there. And if he's kind of towards the bottom, you know, he's kind of in the realms where Teofimo is now. Because this is kind of how Teofimo was when he lost to Cambosis. So, I don't know. Um, I want to see Ryan versus Cruz. I agree. Stop bringing up Tank. Tank made Ryan quit off a of body blow in the discussion. Tank, Tank won. If you watch the fight outside and knocked down, Tane was chasing Ryan around the ring. Ryan was ducking and turning his back. A lot of while holding. I'm just being honest. Chill spot beats. Yeah, I actually had the fight really close, right? It wasn't until the knockdown started accumulating that I was able to start going, okay, this fight's starting to slip away from Devin. And um, I believe I scored the last round for, for Ryan. And I really had it really close. I actually did have the fight really close. But just because I had it close didn't mean I didn't have a decisive winner. And I thought Ryan was the decisive winner. So I thought outside of Ryan landing those devastating shots, the knockdowns, or there was a lot of moments where Ryan didn't do anything. So because of that, I thought Devin did win a lot of rounds. But Ryan won the rounds that mattered more and got the knockdowns, which separated. You know, you get three knockdowns. Like, that's an insane amount of an advantage. And then the ref took a point from Ryan, which made it a little bit closer. So, Matias would hurt Ryan worse than Tink. That's a dang, that is very dangerous, man. You know? Um, Matias can punch. So, but then again, if Ryan catches Matias, man, who knows, man? Ryan's left hook is, like, potent. <laughs> yeah, like, um, Alex Pereira. I agree. Um... Max DeLuca was the judge. Was that the judge that gave it to Devin? Um, Charles? Because I, I didn't I didn't I didn't score it for Devin. Ryan quit it. And so this is the funny part too, right? A lot of people picked Lomachenko beating Devin. Like, like at the end. And I actually I actually had Devin winning the fight for Lomachenko. It was very close. I could have saw Ryan I mean Loma or Devin winning either or. But I had Devin. So in this case, which it was just as, you know, I, I, this is a little bit, a lot more decisive, and and I, in my opinion, like if the debate was there, but I don't think there was anyone debating this fight because I didn't see a single debate comment. I didn't, I didn't see anyone question this decision at all. I didn't see a single question, uh, a questionable decision. So um, I know Lomachenko had the outcry, but a lot of people kind of changed their mind. I do feel though that Ryan decisively won this fight with no controversy. Devin, I understand there was controversy, and even though I picked Devin to win the fight, and, and I thought he won the fight, I was very open that Lomachenko or they, you know, could have won that fight. Ryan wasn't running; he was giving him any chance to stop and end the fight, so he doesn't hurt him anymore. Utah, okay, I respect that. I respect the you know, try. No, I think Ryan, and I was saying in the um, the stream, you don't have to go back, but um, I feel like there was moments that was very low, and I feel like that was Ryan kind of recouping and started building his energy back so that when he was ready to go it, it was very explosive and Devin took a lot of risky um, offensive attempts and because he was so offensive minded that he kind of maybe took Ryan for granted but Ryan was very calculated in how he was very explosive at the times he did because when he did it's like it's time to go he started landing that shit on Devin um, it's just it, to me, it's so crazy 
It's so crazy. Uh, what does it say, bro? This is why we say this platform one thing. No one clean one day. No, 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 no. Don't panic. Four six. Hear me out. Hear me out. Don't panic. All right. I just want to address this right. I am one of many people on this platform, right? And I am the minority who thought Devin won the fight. Okay. So they, they said this is why this platform is Devin him only. I am the very few minority. All right. We have a lot of reporters, and a lot of the reporters all thought um, Lomachenko won the fight. Okay, hear me out. I'm singling myself out because I'm trying to emphasize that because I thought Devin beat Loma by a round, right? It's a no, no. Okay, I'm letting you troll me now. I'm letting you troll me. Don't panic. No, but I'm just saying because my opinion wasn't the popular opinion that even this fight that was. You know, if you really want to be fair and score, it could have been. There's no way. There's no way. Quote, unquote, if you say I love Devin, that I could have gave Devin this fight is what I'm trying to say. It's absolutely absurd. You know, very close, but very clear, decisive winner. Uh, and I don't think you can say Devin won the fight. So I know it was, I think it was split decision. I don't think it was split decision. I thought in this case, it was a lot more decisive in this fight than the Lomachenko fight. So, um, did one just score 151 on Garcia who's dead? I don't know. That's a little wide, too. I don't think the fight was wide for either one. So, but, uh, yeah, you can show me. You know, but a lot of people on, on Fight Hype thought Lomachenko won the fight. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I am biased. I don't know. I can admit. But I don't think, I don't think I was trying to be biased, right? So. Devin got pillow hands and a conchin. He's been overrated. He only wins against smaller fighters. Well, you know, this was the fight that was going to answer a lot of people's narratives, right? They said he fights older fighters, smaller fighters, and, um, you know, he's fighting a guy his size who can punch. And um, But I can't question Devin's heart simply because of the fact that he could have easily not got back up and he got up three times and still try to press the action. So, you know, um, the people who picked Ryan to win, you could definitely gloat and rub it in. Uh, but I think you can also respect for Devin for getting up all those times. Ref was biased. Uh, I don't want to do race, right? Uh, I, I can safely say, in my personal opinion, that I was a little questionable about Harvey Dock's refing, right? Um, not saying it was a conspiracy or, you know, but, um, yeah, let me put this over here. Not my picture. Um, but I wasn't very happy of them, not him, not letting them work it out. Right. I get that sometimes when people clinch, you want to separate it and kind of, um, get back to the action. But sometimes part of the sport is that you have to let these guys work out of the clinch. And I didn't really think a lot of that was going on. Um, I didn't really understand the point deduction. It seemed very quick. Um, I know he hit him, quote unquote, you know, and maybe because Devin was really buzzed and he was hurt that he kind of felt, look, you got him hurt. This is really unnecessary. A lot of heat in the moment. Um, I think he could have gave him a strong warning. My person, he could have gave Ryan a really, 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 really strong, thorough warning. But at the same time, maybe at the stake and maybe he was talking to him so much that he was like, look, bro, you already got him on wobbly legs right now. Nah. So, but, um, you know, Harvey was a, you know, he's not a bad ref. I, maybe there were just certain moments in there where I was kind of like maybe really caught up and was hoping that um, he'll let him work out. But um, let's see. Ryan turned his back to pray for Haney's safety. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, Harvey is a good ref. I do like Harvey Dot, and it's not criticizing him as a ref. You know, sometimes it's hard to get these type of big profile fights, especially when there's so much craziness leading, leading to this fight. Um, maybe he was nervous that Ryan was going to do something crazy, right? Going into the fight, it was like, oh my God, Ryan's going to do something crazy. So maybe it, that was influencing his mind. He's human, right? So maybe he felt Ryan was getting a little crazy. and so. Um, but to be fair, Ryan did hit after, you know, the... Um, uh, before when the ref was trying to break him and, and talking to him, so and you don't deserve a rematch. Um, I would like to see a rematch, but not right now. It just depends on where they meet up, right? 
Um, it's kind of like bittersweet for some people that feel like Devin didn't give Loma a rematch, but why should he get one for Ryan? So I respect that. And I think if I'm Ryan, I wouldn't want to go back to I, I wouldn't want to go back to Devin. I, I beat him. I moved on. It's game seven, right? It's game seven. So why should we do game eight and game nine? It was a close, great fight, but Ryan won the fight, and Ryan should move on to his career. You know what I mean? So, and Devin still has a championship belt, so he can still do something with that. Um, Tank versus Ryan, no rehydration clause. Let's run it back. At what weight? Ryan clearly can't make 140. He can only make 143. I mean, 143.2. So what weight are they going to fight at? Tank fights at 135. That fight would never happen again. That fight's done. I mean, I can't say never because money talks, but that has to be at a catch weight. Especially if Tank won the fight, right? And Ryan doesn't have a belt, so he doesn't have to go by belt obligation. So, um, Second knockdown was named slip by the ref. That was absurd. Yeah, I think... I think there was a debate that's saying that there could have been more than one knockdown. So if there was more than one, I mean, more than three knockdowns. So if he was able to get another knockdown, then that really sets them apart. So I heard some people was complaining that there should be more knockdowns. Yeah, I only think he took the point because he hurt Haney off the shot while he was trying to separate. Yeah, so I think if Devin was composed and cool, I don't think the ref would have. But I think because he knew that was a very devastating shot on top of another shot. Um, I think he felt it was fair to kind of do that. Ryan O'Malley will be next. Yo, um, did you see the uh, Sean O'Malley video? Here. This is what Sean O'Malley thought. Devin Haney just got done. Very impressive uh, fight from Ryan. He was using an interesting technique. Uh, he would throw his left hook, which is really nice. Throw his left hook instantly. Turn his back. Good get hit. <laughs> screen real quick uh, while I'm reading I said do you guys like this layout is it cool should I play some music a little bit it's kind of you know put some something chill all right tell me if my music taste sucks it's cool but um if you like this layout I think I'm gonna do some call-in shows and stuff like that so um, because it's cool talking to you guys, right? I think it'll be better if we're able to actually chat via. So I think I'm going to start setting up some calls and then we'll start doing that. Um, cool. I'm on Instagram watch to see if anyone goes live. So, um, Tank versus Pitbull rematch the way Tank said hell no when he was asked for the rematch. I mean, that would be a great rematch. I think that's a more fair rematch than Ryan and Tank. Because of the weight classes, right? Um, after you got sat down the third that third time, I was thinking about that third knockdown because that was sad. Don't panic. I mean, Devin was getting kind of touched up a lot, and Ryan said um, Devin's jaw was broken, so he took some punishment, man. Like I know it didn't really seem like it at a certain point, but after a while, man, you started feeling for Devin in that fight. But Devin, heart, man. Uh, some people in the chat went bonds. I know. Should game seven take? Uh, should game seven tank in the pros? I don't know if I know what that means. I was worried about Ryan putting his hands down because in boxing one punch can change the fight. Hey, one punch can, and you can see. You know, Devin. I'm not saying that Devin would have won the fight because we clearly know who won the fight. And I, I don't, one second. I'm not trying to strip anything from Ryan, but. Devin got caught so early that maybe Devin was never the same after that first punch. And that's exactly uh, one punch can change the fight. And that could have been the punch that completely changed Devin entirely. Wasn't even close. Oh, what, what I'm drinking on. So this, this drink's called Zevia. It's non-alcoholic, right? Some 420 I'm doing, right? Um, it's just a replacement for soda, right? I don't drink pop. 
but it uses like stevia leaf, kind of like a healthy soda, right? One of those like, it's pretty good, but you know, it's acquired taste. I hear that, I hear the cap in that close. Huh? I don't know what that means. Haney got dropped three times, still went the distance. That proves he has a chin. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I gotta give, he has a, he has more than a chin. Well, okay, there's two ways to look at a chin and a heart, right? A chin is like how you can take a punch without kind of like getting all wobbly, right? So you can probably say like, Devin has a questionable chin, but Ryan can punch, right? So that's what I'm saying. Like, if anyone gets caught clean with Ryan, I don't know if we can question their chin. I think just getting caught by Ryan is really dangerous. But I think we can't question his heart, right? Because Ryan landed some clear shots and he got back up. So um, I think the big thing we can definitely say, Devin has heart and he fought, he went 12 rounds, he pushed himself. So um, I see your soul is lying. Are you talking shit? Have you seen Jake and Logan watching the fight from their home? Jake looked like he lost a lot. I did see it. I did see it. He looked very stunned and shocked. Uh, when I was scavenging on social media, fans, Ryan's fans, they should because the, look, look, look. To be fair, Ryan Garcia fans are a very loyal fan base. Oh, they've been a loyal fan base after the tank fight. So when you really sit down and think about it, these guys have been ride or die, true ride or dies, not the flip flop, right? Um, there's a lot of people who flop, the flip flop off Ryan, but the ones that stayed are true diehard Ryan fans. So. They called him crazy. Devin's gonna maul him. The people said Devin ain't got no punching power, but people started saying Devin's gonna stop him. You know, myself included. I thought Devin was gonna get a late stoppage. And um, for that, what better feeling, man? Like the naysayers, the boxing purists, which, you know, I fall in that category. <laughs> you don't know him about boxing. Um, which Ryan is a great fighter, right? Like uh, he's a good fighter. He, he clearly beat a gold medalist, Luke Campbell. I'm not glazing Ryan. I'm not glazing these guys. But like when you really want to just be fair and honest, like Ryan can compete. Now the question is, can he compete at the most elite level? And they put Devin Haney as the most elite level because he was undisputed at 135. He beat Lomachenko, which was controversial. Goes up, beats Regis the way he did, and because he beat Regis the way he did, they were like, oh, sh 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 Ryan can't. No way, right? So, um, and then Ryan has a tough fight with Oscar Duarte. It's an unknown fighter. Could be still a good fighter, but people didn't really know him. So when people didn't know him, they thought he was fighting a hand-picked cherry to kind of get himself back together. And Ryan kind of struggled and took a late, like, let's keep it real. Oscar Duarte is a great fight for Devin Haney, all right? Maybe that's a good fight for Devin Haney to come back. The guy that Ryan used as a tune-up to get ready for Devin Haney, so. But um, they, of course they want violence because they want, like they want, they feel the, like validated, right? That all these time, all these years that people were saying he's a TikToker, yada, yada, yada. Well, he has a legitimate great win. You know, Luke Campbell was good, gold medalist. But Devin Haney was a former champion, former two division, undisputed, lineal. The man that beat the man, that beat the man, right? So they want violence and, and they should. Nah, bro, he still has a glass chin, was saved by the ref many times. Eh, yeah, maybe, maybe that's, this is fair. I'm over here trying to, I'm over here trying to deflect the shots, man. <laughs> um, Ryan made no change of improvement. I don't see him beating Tank. Yeah, I still got Tank beating Ryan. Um, that ref was Devin's secret security guard. <laughs> oh, you guys, I did see improvement from Ryan, but it wasn't enough improvement. I think the improvement was like, his mentality, his patience, his, his kind of way of kind of, maybe Ryan doesn't have a great gas tank, but maybe he knew how to use his gas tanks in spurts. And that comes from experience. So maybe that was the improvement. And Derek James, Derek James, the trainer that everybody was like, oh, training here, but maybe he's overrated. Jamel Charles lost, Earl Spence lost, Joshua lost. Um, or not, Joshua didn't lose with him, but they, he just didn't look amazing. Um, Freight Martin didn't look good. Um, so when you really look at it, Earl Spence lost to Crawford, which was kind of like a 50-50 fight in paper, but in my opinion, Terrence was pound for pound, so I picked Terrence. Um, so there's no shame in that. Jamel Charlie moved up two weight classes to fight Canelo Alvarez, okay? 
No shame in that. Anthony Joshua, which is heavyweight. Okay, whatever. Um, he still win won his fights. He just didn't win them in spectacular fashion. Um, Frank Martin, who you know was kind of a later amateur, fought a bronze medalist, right? Undefeated bronze medalist. Um, still won the fight. Got a 12th round knockdown that kind of closed it, but. Another unknown fighter that people didn't really know. So I think it's just Derek just got a lot of shit for no reason. Um, and I think, because I told Derek to his face that year, that I thought he was trainer of the year. Following the year, I told Bo Mac I thought he was trainer of the year. And so right now, I don't know who's trainer of the year, but I think that this win really solidifies Derek as a great trainer. And I think that if he can magically pull off another upset with Frank Martin being tanked, then there's no question that Derek James is starting to be looked at as a potential candidate of maybe trainer. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm being, listen, I haven't put a lot of thought into it, but if there was like 20 trainers, I think Derek should be in trainer of the decade. If, if he does get Frank Martin to be tanked, um, because those are some really impressive wins. You got Unified, Undisputed, and all these type of great accolades with these fighters, man. This Derek is really doing his thing right now. O'Malley's a clown, he don't want to step in boxing. He will, one day, he wants money. Trolling makes money, Ryan really fooled everyone. He fooled me. Oh, man, he was doing Haney bad. We joke all we want, but that fight wasn't even fair. It was fair, just Ryan, Ryan was the winner. Uh, O'Malley's funny for that video. If this fight was closer, would you said Devin won? Uh, bro, don't lie. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I can answer that. If the fight was any closer, I thought the fight was close. I just thought Ryan was even separating himself from knockdown. So if Ryan didn't get the knockdowns, would I said Devin won? Well, I mean, how do how do how do you how do you make an assessment that if Ryan didn't do what Ryan did, would I? No. I scored it Ryan regardless. So it had nothing about being closer. Um, I thought Ryan won the fight. I don't know. You're saying if Ryan didn't get, let's say Ryan didn't get one more knockdown. Yeah, so um, I don't know. This, this question doesn't really make sense. I thought Ryan won the fight. I don't know what you what type of beef you had with me. I thought Ryan won the fight. I'm not making any um, excuses. I thought Ryan won the fight clearly, definitively, fairly, fairly right? Um, Ryan gave away more money after the win than O'Malley made in his last fight. Damn, that's that's bars, man. That's bars. Tank versus Scores only fight at 135. I, I, I want to see it, man. That's the fight I want to see. Um, it's done. He took a beating. Yeah, Haney won't be the same. It's up to him to be a better or worse fighter person after this. Devin needs to rest this year at the end. He got hard. Yeah, you know, maybe, he, you know, he's been pretty active. He's been a very extremely active fighter. So, um, fighters are extremely active. At some point, might run into, you know, being too busy. So, and he's fighting good fighters, you know. I seen them at Sam's Club. Tell me something. Do you think that was Kylie for him to keep turning his back while fighting somebody? Um, uh, it's a fight, you know, I don't know, like, you're getting punched really hard, like, are you gonna react instinctually, right, maybe that was an instinctual thing, I can't call these guys fighters, because they were, like, cowards, because they were in the ring, punching each other, I'm not in there, I'm drinking a Zevia, talking shit with you guys, so, is there any truth that Haney's jaw was broken, I can't prove it, I can't, but, De um, Ryan said it was broken, so, um, yeah, potentially, um, uh, let's see. Saying, saying, not trying to take anything away from Ryan is taking everything away. Dang, dude, y'all, 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 you just on my ass today. Don't panic. You just on my ass today. Um, I guess you're true by that, right? Um, I guess what I'm trying to do is like, when I say I'm not trying to take anything away from Ryan, what I'm saying is I'm not making any excuses. I just want to give another perspective, right? Um, that I don't necessarily say I agree with. Uh, but I just want to, I like to play, I want to talk about the other side of the fence, even though, because the man ain't here to defend himself, is what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying I agree, 
I'm just saying the man ain't here to defend himself on the fight hype, the beautiful chat that you guys, and I'm just trying to, I guess, give another perspective. Devin needs to go back to his boxing ways. It's boring and the fans are gonna hate, but he's trying to sit down with his punches, just get some trouble. You might be right, Nathan, because he was really trying to press the fight. And you know, it could have been boring, but he could have possibly made that fight easier and could have won an easy, boring fight. Devin definitely gonna have some head injury tonight. He's gonna have a great bank account tonight though. I would totally get my ass whipped by Ryan Garcia for some money like that. Devin can't take a punch, he got dazed early. It was a good shot though. Who won? I don't know if you're trolling, but in all sincerity, Ryan Garcia won fairly. Yeah, Ryan did a lot of sucky shit, ducking, holding, hiding. He was so desperate to beat Haney, he would have done anything for one trust. You know, he was holding a lot, but you know, at the end of the day, clinching's part of boxing, right? Like if Devin clinched, I'm not gonna be like, oh shoot, you know, clinching is part of the game and Ryan used his brain and his intellect to clinch. So I'm not gonna say he was fighting cowardly or sucky shit, he was boxing and that's part of it, it's in there. Ryan needs to refine his right hand, more weapon is Arsenal. Yo, he was landing some right hands in there, and that was the, what I was saying early on. Like, we know Ryan has a good left hook, but if you can sneak a right hand in there, you can have some um, some really cool combinations. Late stoppage was a decent pick pre-fight. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of fell into the whole Ryan Garcia mental thing, and you know, I, I do really do believe that Devin is a very good boxer, right? I do. So, um, like skillfully, like moving, like all that stuff. So I thought he was gonna give him a lot more problems and um, yeah, it's just a pre-fight pick. But when all things are done, I'm gonna be fair and I'm not gonna try to be like, oh my God, guys, uh, really this is what happened. No, we all saw what happened. So I don't need to defend it. Ryan, Ryan got the better of it. Uh, I'm a team fan and even I like Ryan, I just don't like Devin for leaving 135. I mean, look, let's keep it real. There was a point in time that it seemed like Devin and Shakur was going to fight. Now, I understand there's two sides of the story. You got the, uh, I'll give you Undisputed for four belts. 25% um, yada yada. And then, you know, Shakur's like, well, if I really want to make the fight, I'll just go to the WBC, force the mandatory, I'm your mandatory. So, I do really wish we were able to get Devin Shakur, but... You know, that's a fight that I think they both knew that if they were continuing to win, they could make more money meeting later. And really, boxing is more than just being the better fighter, but also being the smarter fighter. And if you can position yourself to be undeniably the A-side, why take a fight where it's a good, tough fight, even though you think you win, and split the money 50-50 when you can try to position yourself to get these other exterior big fights and then be put in a position where when you do fight these guys, you're able to make 70% of the pot versus 50-50 of the pot. So it's all strategic moves to not avoid, but to put yourself in a more likely position to not just win, but make more money. And I think that's what they were doing. Um, and a Ryan Garcia fight would have put them in a position to demand more money. Off top of though, I know Bill Haney's only doing his job, but this is this was shot almost wrong. Um, so, I don't know how many of you guys are parents, right? But I'm a, I'm a new parent, right? I got a six month old, um, love him to death. I love him to death. Like, I've never experienced anything like this. You know, I got, I love my girl, and I know she loves me, but the way we love our child is like, we easily don't get mad at each other for putting him number one. So, as a father, you only root for your child. And you're only going to be your child's biggest fan. And Bill Haney has done nothing but support his child and put himself in kind of the the windshield of this this vehicle that that Devin's driving, and kind of put himself to take all the bullets and all the hits, right? Because notice a lot of people in the chat says, "Oh, where's Bill at? Where's Bill? Oh, I can't." Wait. But it kind of takes the heat off a little bit of Devin. And the big thing that I can respect and I admire about Bill, which you know I've talked to Bill many times, is that he's just a loving father, and anyone who loves their child would be more than happy to take the backlash, the ridicule, um, all the eating crow for their child. Right? It's better to have the humble child who doesn't really speak too much, um, 
who just does his job, and the father who's loud, who takes the the humble thing. So I know that a lot of people feel that Bill Haney talked too much, and may, maybe he has, but he also helped sell the fight, but he also did a great job, I think, um, just loving his child, right? Like, I can't, like, just like, like, his man loves the child so much, man, that he's, like, out here, like, how dare, he, he talked all this shit about this, he loves his child, right? So, but that's me just maybe thinking too deep into it, but as a loving father, you know, myself now, I can, I can, I can empathize with that. Haney was clinching for his life. There was a lot of clinching in that fight. Haney took a beating like Medrick Taylor took it from Chavez. Yo, you know what's crazy? I was literally kind of thinking about this fight a little bit, Romero. Um, in some sort of dramatic fashion, right? It felt like at certain moments of the fight that Devin was starting to come back. But then at a certain point in the later rounds when Devin was kind of starting to edge on my scorecard and Chris Mannix's, it started to get worse for Devin the longer the fight went. And you started to question that if this was a 15 round fight, that if the punishment Devin was taking, if this was going to lead to some sort of damaging punishing fight. So um, that's funny. I was definitely thinking about that, 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 that actual series. Um, Haney Rolly Crosser fight. Gotta see it. I love it. Oscar Dorte is a good fight for Ryan to see how he feels at a higher weight. It was a good fight. It got him ready. Right? Um, Devin held on to Ryan for support. Kind of reminded me of Floyd holding up Logan. <laughs> you guys are funny. I don't think Dorte beats Haney. I don't either, but I think it's a good comeback fight. Right? Think about it. Right? Uh, because if he wants to fight guys like Matias, um, who's very aggressive, come forward. I think that would be good. And I think it will be able for him to kind of reset um, for whatever game plan that went in the Ryan Garcia fight. Um, if there was a game plan issue, um, this fight would totally allow Devin to take a fight where he can work on it. Um, Ryan's problem is his defense. Yeah, I think Ryan can prove a little bit on his defense. I think Ryan's problem is maybe his stamina. Because can you imagine if he's able to fight at that rate for such a long, a longer period of time? Um, Tank tried to warn everyone, but Ryan, uh, Tank tried to warn everyone about Ryan. Everyone dismissed his claims. He also said he isn't going to cash, crash out. So if he fights Ryan again, it would be at 140 with rehydration. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. He's big. He's not going to fight Ryan at any weight outside of what Tank feels comfortable. Tank's going to be entering his fourth weight class. So I agree with you, Danny. And shout out to you, Danny, man. You, you know, yeah, you came in here with the, man, I'm telling y'all, man, Ryan Garcia about to win this fight, man. Uh, is my volume low? Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, there. Is that better? Sorry. Sorry, Hollywood Heaves. Uh, props to Ryan 100%. I gotta say that because his fans think everything is personal. Uh, I mean, that's boxing, dude. I mean, imagine if Devin won tonight. What do you think the chat would look like? Right? The chat wouldn't change. Um, let me see. I got to mention of talking about this desk. I got to keep the... All right, cool. Got my... Um, not everyone thinks Tank's going to lose. I mean, weight classes matter, but, you know... They would have to fight in Tank's terms. So, um, uh, let's see. He couldn't make Ryan go back. That's what causes the clinch. And it was Devin is the boxer. Why are you trying to walk down Ryan? I think there was moments, John, that I think maybe Devin panicked a little bit, right? Because you gotta understand, Devin is this like slick defensive fighter who always looks good, and um, you know it's tough because. We're human, right? And there's a lot of pride on the line. And if you get caught a little bit early, and, and maybe you were told, like, you have to win these rounds and you have to come back. So maybe there was an understanding that you have to make something happen. And Devin was trying to make something happen. Um, but when you get punched in front of the world, right? Like I said, we got, we got a thousand people right here at 427 East Coast time. And early on, there was like twenty to 40,000 people in here. And overall views, this video had, this stream has 1.47, 1,474,564 views, 
all right real time and it's still going up um the whole world's watching i was opening up my apple app and the first thing i saw in the app store was the fight at the top heavily advertised i'm sure on youtube trending this is going to be all over the place so my thing is what do you do when the whole world's watching and you get hit you might freeze up you might panic you might you know what i mean so um when you're never in a position like that, then you kind of might fall victim to what a lot of these fighters do. And they do things that make them look desperate or they get off their game plan a little bit. So um, Devin's never been rocked in the first round like that and hurt that early. We've seen in the Lenaris fight. So um, so maybe that's why. Um, super chat from Kid Charlemagne. Uh, let me highlight you because you super chatted for I uh, appreciate the five dollar super chat. You didn't have to do it. Uh, very entertaining, fantastic content. Don't let it get to your head. You're outstanding at what you do, and your future is bright. I appreciate it, kid. And uh, I'll try my best to humble myself. You know, really, um, I'm really blessed that uh, I was able to work with Ben Thompson, the owner of Fight Hype, and he's given me a lot of opportunities. I've been covering boxing for some time, and then I came over to Fight Hype, and he. It's a tremendous person who I'm blessed that he believed in me, allows me to go to fights, cover, do a lot of interviews, um, and even believes that I can go on live and on his platform to go, you know, create this kind of cool little layout and talk with you guys. So um, just blessed, right? This is such a cool opportunity just to be on an established platform already. Um, and not saying that I don't work hard, but it definitely takes a team. It definitely takes someone who believes in you. And, um, you know, he's someone who's really backed me for a lot. So it's more of luck than more of my very fantastic content. It's, it's, I'm just blessed. So I appreciate um, you, kid. And I appreciate everyone in here, man. You know, you don't have to super chat for those compliments. But um, I appreciate it. Because all, all the super chats do, all they do is just allow me to get, like, different equipment. A lot of platform to grow, a lot of travel costs, right? We're not sponsor based, so everything that we do is out of our pockets. Um, you know, so all these things do help. So I appreciate you guys. Um, Tank still got whoop Ryan's ass on. <laughs> Tank's that guy, man. Devin did walk Ryan down though. Bad move. He did. You do. You have to understand Ryan's defense not that he doesn't have good defense he tries to bait people in with them thinking like what the fuck go after yo you're right i mean look a lot of times ryan will high guard back right but he's 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 trying to catch him with a left hook right and honestly i was a lot more impressed with ryan's defense today than other fights you know what i mean and you know i know Derek james was clowned in an oscar duarte fight but i was always told from a lot of great trainers that you can't change a fighter in one fight you need more than one so this might have been the more than one fight that Derek James needed. And it was just Devin Haney, man. So, um, um, John says, Devin believed he was walking Ryan down. He wasn't, uh, he was, that he got caught multiple times and he misread the energy, right? He was essentially walking into a trap, right? I already kind of sensed in the first round and I was saying it is that I just didn't like seeing Devin reach. That was the most I've ever seen Devin kind of force reach, um, which goes to, once again, Ryan's defense. It's not the sexiest defense. It's not the slipping shoulder roll, James Tony on the ropes and, you know, the Canelo upper body movement or the legs of like a Pernell Whitaker. But those little kind of small, uh, bro, I was screen recording waiting for you to talk about my comment. Oh, I'm sorry, Hollywood Heaves. <laughs> Did I miss your comment? Um, can you... Can, can you put your comment one more time? Just put it down. I'll highlight it. I'm sorry. Uh, screen record. I see it. And I'll highlight it. I'm sorry. There, I, I think I skipped a couple. I'm just kind of skimming through. So please repost your comment. I'll definitely highlight it. That was my bad. Um, Devin Bleed. So I, I just lost my train of thought. Um, but no. Hollywood Thieves, please put your comment back in there and I'll highlight it. I'm sorry. Haney's heart is solid. I agree. Everybody got to see Tank. Uh, they do. 
Ryan's turn his back was nasty work. Ryan's done that in the Oscar Duarte fight a little bit. So um, Devin tweeted. What did Devin tweet? Um, oh, shit. You're right. 10 minutes ago. All right. Um, Devin tweeted. Okay. Uh, unless Ben beat me to it. Oh, okay, he did. Okay, he, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go work on this Devin Haney video real quick. Um, appreciate you guys. And um, my boy, uh, Heavenly, please repost your comment. Um, give me a second um, while I'm going to make this quick video on this. So um, I have no broken anything, by the way. Like I said, I'm okay. Okay. So, Devin confirms his jaw is not broken. He said, uh, he makes no mistakes. Uh, fought like a true champion, got up off the canvas, kept fighting. I'm 100% okay, and I would love to do it again while we both while we both make weight. Mm, so, there you go. Kind of spoke. Thought the, fit, the, the weight was, um, you know. It wasn't fair, is what he felt. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, I'm gonna highlight your comment heavily because I don't wanna actually forget um, Devin Shaw got broke, hence why he couldn't do post interview by the time he walked out of the ring. With Mo he lying. Probably screaming, recording Wayne. Were you talking about my comment? You skipped it. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo, what was your comment, bro? What was your comment, man? What do you guys think about what um, Devin Haney has to say? He says his jaw wasn't broken, so he's okay. Mm. Right, give me I'm just making um, this Devin Haney video. Devin Haney reacts and confirms his jaw is not broken. Devin Haney's first words, right? That's a good title. They um, add in. Where's the Devin Heaney footage? Okay. We'll get some music. second guy so this is this so just so you guys know this is what it looks like on my end right i'm waiting around for tweets yo shout out who whoever said uh devin tweeted if we're ever at a fight i owe you like food on me like for for pointing that out like i'll whatever um where's the guy that did that i need to highlight you for that um, Devin tweeted, Oscar De La Coca, man. Yo, if I ever see you in a fight, I owe you like a beer or whatever, your food or whatever. For, um, let me find the right notes. All right, give me time. I'm going to mute my mic so the music doesn't bleed. I like to protect the BT beat me to it. Uh, if 
Man, Thompson, stay working, man. You know, uh, I got another notification. Yo, Teal tweeted something, but it went away. Um, say when you dish. Um, okay. So Devin also said the same way you dish it, you'll be able to take it. I'll be back. So respect, right? So he's just saying like, look, if we made weight, I would like to fight. If we made weight, quote unquote, I got up. There was no mistakes. I fought like a true champion, got up. Have no broken anything, by the way. I'm okay. Same way you dish it, you should be able to take it. All right. Um, actually, to be honest, I probably should text Devin, right? I'll, I, honestly, I'm probably gonna text him something nice. You know, I know that it's very easy to get caught up in here, but on my end, just so you guys know, like, um, you know, it is a brutal sport. Um, shit, my phone died. And um, I actually do know these guys in person. So a lot of this stuff is for entertainment, but really, you know, out of true compassion, man. Like, I've seen these guys really work really hard. So, um, um, and then even even though the chat trolls a lot, I'm gonna say you know from the heart of everyone in here, um, the way Haney digs those body shots when Ryan was shown his back. Should Haney have two losses on this record? Uh, I thought Haney won a Lomachenko fight, but you can have it. O oh, two. You know, um, I think Frank Martin and um, Tank are about to go back and forth. Yeah, there's a little back and forth right there. Fuck it. Yeah, I bitch, you know you better be in that gym. Yeah. All right, let me get back to Devin's tweets. So that you guys who are just coming in. So these are quote unquote Devin's first words, really, actually. It's pretty clear who has the best skills tank right now. Nobody wants to give that man credit. So he stopped Devin. I want to see a rematch. Devin, I mean, tank... Each fight that goes on in boxing makes Tank look better. I can't lie. This fight actually made me like Haney. I don't care for him much prior to this fight. Yeah, man, Haney's, Haney's, a, Haney's a good person, man. You know? He talks shit, but as you can see, he'll either back it up or he'll accept it, right? So, Haney was holding a lot more. No real warning either. Klitsch King Haney. Can we watch the highlights one last time, bro? I'm done. Let's look at Devin Joe after. I can't post the highlights on here, so... If I could, I would. Right. They'll they'll strike the the video. Ryan could have went hard and put Devin in the hospital, like he said. But I truly felt feel he felt sorry for Devin. He had a change of heart. I respect Ryan so much for that, and he fans were fans were booing. I don't know. I thought Ryan was trying to get his ass out. But then again, you saw things I didn't see. So Devin' game plan was terrible after the first no down uh, first knockdown. He should have switched the game plan and kept coming for it. Feel like he should have boxed. You know, I think he probably felt like he had to get that get back, right? Ryan stuck to the game plan that Diddy gave him. I knew it. I knew there was gonna be a Diddy comment in here. It took so long. Um, so where's Tank since y'all can admit Ryan can fight? Um, like I want like pound for pound or something? Tank should probably be on pound for pound. Ryan needs to work on his shell if he's going to continue to use it because I see fires like Tank Matias and even Teal taking advantage for angle changes, combinations that Devin didn't show. I agree, but then again, it's like, is it Devin not doing it or was it Ryan that kind of forced Devin, right? But I agree. I think, I think, um, but each fight he's getting better. So I don't care about honey. I'm just telling you how it is. I want 2.5K on this shit. Nasty work. Shut the fuck up. Bill Haney just talked too much. Yeah, I respect. Yeah, the later rounds, Devin took some heavy shots. Um, Bill protect Devin like Kenny Poor did with Sean, and I respect that. You know what I mean? I, I do. I generally do respect that. How are you going to boo, especially if they claim to be Devin fans, but get mad at Ryan for not trying to kill him? Clear anyone who can see how much Ryan homed himself didn't go for the stoppage and go 12 rounds. Damn, I have to watch the fight again because I was too caught up in the moment to really pay attention to that. I was just like, in utterly like surprised that what I was watching. At first, Haney's jab worked really good at the early ends, but then he tasted the knockdown game plan was ever. You think he panicked? You think like his composure? I didn't get to hear the, because um, I was talking to you guys. I didn't really listen to the corner. Was there good instructions on the clips that they were showing? Was there bad instructions? Um, 
Initially, I thought Shakur would whoop Ryan, but considering Shakur and Haney both struggle with power punchers, I don't know if he can beat Ryan. Hmm. People did start to question Shakur next. I don't know if I should bet money on Ryan or Shakira. That's a tough one. I hate you guys. Um, is my volume still low? Oh, am I reading O chats? Damn, I think I might be reading O chats. All right. Um, I can't believe people thought Haney would have beat Matias. Matisse would have slaughtered him. Ryan just beat a top five pound for pound. Kind of crazy. I mean, it's boxing, right? Um, Ryan got dropped a couple of times. He never had shaky legs. Generally, Devin has weak legs. Haney ain't no top five pound for pound. He was top 15 at best. Now he's top 20. I think Cormel Moat and Whoops Devin. They're totally two different weight classes. You know, Cormel sparred Tank, Shakur, Keyshawn. I watched him spar Richardson Hitchin. But he's never sparked, Dev sparked Devin. Um, when Devin said I'm done, it sent shivers down my spine because I then realized this is all his dad's fault and Devin should fire his dad as a trainer and move on with his own team. Um, I don't want to comment on that because I need to really put some thought into it before I openly speak on it publicly. But, you know, um, this is part of fighting, right? And... Um, you win some, you lose some. Not everyone could be Floyd Mayweather, right? So, Regis down bad tonight. Did Regis tweet? I didn't even check for Regis. Oh, shit. That's actually a good Regis pro grade. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Regis did tweet. Um, you know who was screaming my face tonight and breath smell like straight shit? Oh, Tank's tweeting right now. Um, but yeah, Regis actually did. Um, I'm gonna pull up his tweet. You know who was screaming in my face tonight and breath smelled like straight shit? I don't know how to spell the bum name. He had a Canelo weight class, though. Yo, what? Is, okay. Boxing. Uh, what did he say? It was his dad. <sighs> Covering boxing is so wild. Tank is tweeting, and I don't think he's tweeting or deleting. Let me see. It's going wild right now, huh? All right. Is he talking shit about who's in Canelo's weight class? That he said it was is it was his dad. It's about the bum name. Boxing. Who do you guys think Tank was talking about? Um, boxing rankings. So this doesn't know how to spell the name. Jaime Mungia, Christian and Billy. There is some pretty damn difficult names to spell. Sergey Derevchenko. Pacheco. I don't know who to speculate. I mean, David Benavides is in there. So, but all these people have dads, so. Would he slight David Benavides? Hmm. Benavides Sr.? I didn't want to just assume that. Like, you know what I mean? It's, do they have beef or something, Ben? Huh? Benavidez's dad? 
They're fighting on the same card, right? And he spoke highly of Tank. Huh, I wonder what that's about. No name for a few. He's from New York though. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. It ain't, it ain't. I'm getting some clarification. He said it's not David's dad. He says he's from New York though. Yeah, it's not, it's not David. Well, Edgar Belanga is from New York. Edgar Belong is from New York. It has to be Edgar Belonga. I'm going on, that's my answer. Belonga, yeah, I think it's, I think he's probably talking about Belonga. <laughs> Hold on, man. This dude, Tank, is probably one of the funniest dude in boxing. Ryan Garcia, where you at? Yeah, Edgar. Yeah, Edgar. Uh, let's see, what else? Sorry, guys. I know I kind of skimmed through a lot of the chat. It's getting a little late, so... Bench, I'm getting uh, a little tired. Um, Tio would beat the brakes out of Devin Ryan Garcia. Tio is scared to death of Ryan. He's been ducking for years. A few adjustments, and Devin can beat Ryan. First is he got to respect Ryan's power and not stand in front of him. Oh, chill out. Uh, Michael, who won? Ryan won. He knocked him out three times. The mess part, mess part, uh, the messed up part about the Diddy situation is when Diddy was pounding. Oh, man, I'm literally trying to just read the chat, and then you kind of push me through. All right, you got your, you got your shine. You got me, Doctor Corey. Um, with this fight, King Ryan has changed the landscape of boxing. He didn't. Oh man, why I keep clicking your things, Doctor Corey? Ryan versus Broner at 147. I don't think they will fight each other. I don't think they will fight each other, <clears throat> but I think I think Broner was rooting for Ryan Garcia in this. Heartfelt message. Okay. Okay. But <clears throat> oh, I, I told you guys I was gonna do. Um, I gotta make Regis's. Um, I have to make his video, but I'm gonna show you guys what Regis said. As long as people are tweeting, I guess I'm gonna be here in the chat, all right? We ain't going to sleep. Uh, Regis Progre. All right, I'll put this, but put. And then I'll put this clip in. I'll put a little nice little. Sorry, I'm just working on this video. Once I'm done with the video, then I'll be able to get back to the chat.
All right, cool. All right, I'm rendering this video. Um, this is what Regis Progress said. So, you know, respect. Yo, Devin Hay, keep your head up, champ. All the great ones always bounce back even harder. You know, the man who just came off a loss with Devin. No Diddy. Let me get the chat back up. Doc. Uh, that's good. Uh, no, it's all, it's all good. I got a Dev t-shirt. Same one Ryan got. Bad idea for Ryan to go 147. Jay Farrell being a straight weirdo. Troll gonna go crazy with the Diddy shit. I mean, look, you trash talk, right? When you do the trash talking, um, it's part of the game, right? You gotta be able to take it. If you're gonna dish, you can take it. I was like, bro, you took worse. Oh my God, I keep clicking, yo. Yo, <laughs> all right, man. Tank over everybody, tank over, tank over everybody. I keep hearing that sound bite somewhere. Uh, Puffy left. <sighs> Set me up, man. Uh, Devin soft. Yeah, tank's different. Uh, I'm gonna start reading this before I click it. Y'all doing a lot of ditty work in here, man. Can you see P Pitbull beating Ryan? Uh, yes. I think that's a good fight. Um, that's one of those fights whoever lands first, right? Um, because Ryan can land something really quick and um, can have the same effect on Pitbull. And Pitbull is a lot smaller. So, But Pitbull took a lot of tank shots, right? He went the distance with Tank. Uh, even though I think Tank was injured, he had an injured one of his arms, uh, but he has a hell of a chin, so. Mm. It's Oscar, oh man, there you go, Dr. Corey, Ch set me up. I'm just clicking through the chat. Oh man, uh, Ryan versus Pitbull, give your analysis. Um. Okay, let me, let me, I think Ryan and Pitbull is one of those fights, right? Where, you know, Devin's pressure did make Ryan uncomfortable at spots. Spots, right? Obviously, you know, there's moments where Ryan, like, come on, I'm trying to set you up, right? But I think Pitbull's pressure is a lot different. However, Pitbull's a lot smaller, right? Extremely a lot smaller. So, um, Roley was able to land some good shots on Pitbull. And Roly's not as fast, um, really strong. So um, Pitbull was able to take good shots from Roly, but Roly was never able to plant his foot and actually land a solid shot. I think Ryan can actually land a solid shot on Pitbull. But at the same time, um, you know, Ryan's defense is not the best, but this fight showed that he does have defense. So I really do think that Ryan has, especially after tonight, has an extremely huge chance. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to favor Ryan because Ryan was able to drop Devin Haney three times, who's a significantly bigger guy and more defensive. Now I know that the Heat ain't coming back like Pitbull, but you know, Devin ain't no slouch. He ain't throwing like pillows that everyone says. So, um, cause Reed just said it, like he has respectful power. Um, but just not like knockout power. Um, I think I got Ryan because I think Ryan has the longer reach. He does use his lead arm, uh, which is able to catch Pitbull coming in. I mean, he was able to make Devin lunge, right? Um, and I'm only basing off the fight I just saw, right? Maybe Devin was a little off, but if he was able to make Devin lunge, I think he can get Pitbull to lunge. And I think... He's able to possibly catch Pitbull. Now, Pitbull has never really been down or hurt, things like so. I don't know what his chin is going to be like. Um, I think the fight is going to be so hard. Um, I kind of have it as a 55 45 fight only because I'm kind of in the moment of Ryan beating Devin. But um, I think it's a really good fight because Pitbull's pressure is going to be a lot more uncomfortable than Devin. And he's going to throw a lot of punches, a lot of heat. And even though he's smaller, I think it's safe to say Pitbull can punch. So, how tall is Oscar Duarte? Oscar Duarte, All right? Because this is going to give me a good idea. Oscar Duarte is 
five nine. Okay. Isak Cruz. Oh, that's not the right pit bull. This one is. He's five four. He's five feet smaller than Oscar Dorte. Yeah. Good fight. I got Ryan. I got Ryan by 5%, but only tonight. I have to really think about it. So they're going crazy on the, oh my God. When Lawrence had Devin on new legs, I was like, oh yeah, Ryan would sleep him. Also for the fact that Ryan stopped Dorte and made the disbelief even stronger because I watched his highlights. I've only watched the Dorte fight first and I'm not gonna lie. I did kind of clown a little bit on the shoulder roll and it was not a great performance. Um, Ryan's kind of had some lackluster performances. So this is why I think this fight is, um, performance was really great because if you look down Ryan Garcia's resume <clears throat> you know Oscar Duarte was a guy who yes was undefeated but he was relatively unknown unless you know unless you were watching Golden Boy cards and you know but he was knocking out and beating guys that you know if you see their resume aren't really that great so you don't really know how good Oscar Duarte really is except for he's undefeated um, however Fortuna was a guy that moved up in weight a little bit older so um I think this was the fight. Emmanuel Toge. Um, this fight kind of made me a little bit questionable, Ryan, because, um, you know, he hasn't fought out of his country. Um, I know he's Ghana, uh, from Ghana, so he, people from Ghana typically have been known to have really good natural punching power and ability. Um, oh, Anthony Joshua's left? Okay. No, nah, okay. He's just at some marathon. Um, so he has half knockouts, but you know, once again, I'm always suspect when I don't really know his opponents. And so, um, he went the distance with Mason Menard, who's been known to, I guess, go to sleep. His only loss that hasn't been a knockout was Devin Haney and Devin kind of cooked him for about what? 10 rounds. Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Oh no. He. He did get, Devin did get the stoppage. I think it was like a kind of a weird stoppage. But so because he wasn't able to get him out, I know this is boxing math. It doesn't work that way. Um, I think the Luke Campbell fight was impressive. This was the first one. Uh, Romero Duno, I mean, you know, Francisco Fonseca <laughs> fought Tank. So, um, you know, it was a good barometer. But Pitbull was a lot smaller, man. But I can say Pitbull punches a lot harder than a lot of these guys. So, good fight. Triangle theories don't always work, though. And, um, you know, boxing math isn't a real thing. Clearly, if you see today, you know, boxing math did not work in my favor. It didn't work in anyone's favor in a lot of people's fights. So, you can't always go with that. You just got to go fight by fight. And so, with that, I think, um, I think Pitbull can win that fight, so. Um, Haney ain't letting his father go. I don't think so. However, Haney, with the help of Robert Garcia, can bring out good stuff from him. I wish he was able to get Ben Davidson to kind of be in his corner. Like, oh my God. Haney, oh my God. Third degree, Haney can't do ish. His ass. Um, Ryan's actually tall and long with power reaches, short with no reach, with decent power, and he sucks. Um... Yeah, I agree. Pitbull has never been hurt. I mean, I can't say he's never been hurt. He's just never vis visibly and, like been rocked. And so I think Roley did hurt him a few times. It's just we just couldn't see it. Like Pitbull is just a beast. I like uh, I was there. There's no way Ryan's fighting this dude after lo losing the tank. He's coming off a 13 KO streak and dude can take a punch when Ryan KO'd him. I was like, Devin would not hurt Ryan and walk him down. OK, so you've been at a lot of Oscar Duarte fights. <clears throat> yeah, he's been on a lot of Golden Boy cards. You know you're boxing, Danny, man. That's why I had to highlight you, man. You were the man this week. My dream fight right now is Matias and Chris. I agree. That's everyone's dream fight. Plus, it has that nice, sexy Mexican versus Puerto Rico rivalry going on. So, I think that fight could sell out the Madison Square Garden. What do you guys think? Pitbull is a hard fight for anybody, I agree. The dude has no neck. I'm so heartbroken at Devin's loss. It's boxing, you know. Um, when I was a kid, I looked 
that Roy Jones is like Superman. So when Antonio Tarver knocked him out, you know, I was kind of like crushed as a fan. But then the more and more you watch it, the more and more you start to realize that, you know, it happens. You know, you win some, you lose some. These guys was three and three in the amateurs for a reason. So, um, you know, Ryan's a 15-time national champion. Uh, uh, um, uh, yeah, national champion, which kind of gets extremely overlooked by his antics. But Pitbull's going to dog walk everybody around him. Let me stop the crew's hype. Ryan would destroy him. Also, his team knows this and kept saying they want the Ryan fight, but never made it happen. Ryan has tons of experience versus crew's type opponents. Damn. Okay. Henny, Cruz. I thought Dev was unstoppable. Nobody's really unstoppable. Any given night, anyone can lose. Um, the fight can't plan with the finesse of Haney's, and they just did that. They never plan on making weight. Hey. 3.2 pounds, man, right? Regis isn't as fast as Devin, y'all. Um, Devin supports trip, and you can only handicap or in small. Loma got robbed. Regis is small, short midget. Cambo says a small frame. So with this theory, John, I hope you put some money on Ryan Garcia because <laughs> um, good fight for Ryan. Yeah, Haney got hustled. It was a my fault. No, did he? Look, I don't know what it is about the matchroom name, but when you have matchroom, you, you're you kind of in a tough fight. Like, regardless of what people say, it's almost like a curse, right? A matchroom curse. Um, exactly my point. Door takes bigger crews. Look at his KO ratio, and he's bigger and stronger version of crews. Mm -hmm. Triangle theory uh, doesn't always apply. Ryan Garcia invented a shoulder roll. I agree. Ryan Garcia did. Ryan taught James Tony. I agree. He did. Um, dude, why would you read his tag on my name? Huh? Uh, read my previous comment aloud. I want my lick back. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, dude. It's like two on the West Coast. So, <laughs> all right, where, where's your lick back? Where is it? All right, hold on, hold on. I got you, bro. Uh, is it super far up? Uh, yeah, Haney definitely panicked and began to fight Ryan's fight. I kept yelling at the T, remember who the fuck you are, Devin. He was someone else tonight. Undisciplined, unfocused. Um, I'm trying to think where else. Where's your, where's your look back, bro? Are you atting somebody? Did I read someone's atting you? It says your message retracted here. I'm sorry, dude. You got to bear with me, man. I've been on, on this damn computer for hours and I'm editing videos and reading the chat. So, but I got you, bro. Um, Roy Jones was different. Matisse is overrated. Honestly, he needs to prove more. Uh, I don't think he's overrated, but I would love to see them fight. Ain't no way we got 900 people in it because it's just five of us running this. It could be someone. Some of these people could have went to sleep, bro. All right. I know, I know, I'm getting a little tired. Pitbull ain't beating Ryan. He has heart, but if Cruz doesn't do it at a catch weight, hold on, let me process this real quick. I'm just reading. Pitbull ain't beating Ryan. He has heart, but if Cruz doesn't do it at a catch weight, it's gonna be a long night. I uh oh well, Ryan ain't doing no catch weight, so Ryan's Ryan's bigger than Pitbull. Ryan beating Devin has made him a bigger star than Pitbull beating Roley. So Pitbull decides to fight Ryan, it would have to be on Ryan's terms, which I don't think Pitbull is going to do. And I think they're going to go another direction. But if they do happen to fight, it won't be at a catch weight because Pitbull fought at 140. So, and if Ryan can't make 140, Pitbull is going to have to move up even more. So, but if Ryan does try to go down and does this, or he just says, fuck it, we fight at 143, 144, just like I fought Devin if you want the smoke. But I don't. I think Pitbull has options, so. But I agree, if Pitbull fights some of the higher weight, it's gonna be bad. Um, John, not a, not a Ryan hater, just don't see him overcoming Pitbull's pressure. I agree, style makes fights. Ryan never been pressured like that, and that Pitbull can crack and crack for two hours. Devin was giving Ryan uncomfortable pressure at times for him 
moving forward. And he's nowhere near like Pitbull. Um, but Devin has the size and definitely has the... Um, but we'll see. Fight height. The one and only. Ben Thompson. Shit, that Mayweather curse is in full effect tonight. You ain't lied, man. That boy really, ha Floyd really does have a curse out here, man. You say his name too many times, he's like Candyman, right? Uh, man, y'all sleep on a cruise, but I respect the opinion. I mean, look, I'm not saying people don't win the fight. I'm just tired. I'm in the moment, right? It's too not, like, to really have an honest opinion, I have to first visualize the fight. And then I have to actually accept that the fight's actually happening, right? And the fight isn't happening. So, um, I don't really like breaking down and putting my brain to the full max unless the fight's actually real. Um, I, and I'm definitely in the moment because Ryan just beat, beat Devin, like, decisively. So, I do feel like 55-45. I'm only just adding Ryan because Ryan just beat Devin. And I think Devin's a lot, that's a better win than Pitt will be in rolling. Um, but Styles make fights. Really? What do you mean by the match room curse? Didn't hear that. Uh, you're good, bro. No, there's a, they call it rematch room, right? Um, rematch room is kind of a thing where if you look at the history of match room fighters, uh, they tend to match their fighters with matchups where you think they're going to win, but they don't. Kid Galahad had an upset loss. Anthony Joshua fought um, Andy Ruiz and lost. Uh, Terry Harper fought Alicia Baumgartner and lost. Devin Haney fought Ryan Garcia and lost. Richardson Hitchens had a very controversial potential loss against Gustavo Lemos. I mean, essentially all their fighters tend to beat, get beaten or have to do a rematch. Um, Lee Wood, um, Josh Warrington. So they call them rematch room because of the simple fact that their fighters tend to lose and they have to rematch them afterwards. That's just, just, you know, anti-match room philosophy. But there's some truth in that. Speaking of lick back, oh, man. Pitbull got cracks, man. He does. Keep keep up, host. Let's go. I'm trying. I'm drink. I'm drinking. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to drink the Zevia. Where are you guys at, by the way? Like, how are you guys not tired? If you're on the East Coast, it's like 5 in the morning, right? And I might be tired because I'm on that, like, new dad schedule, right? The new baby schedule. So you guys probably know. Like, sleep is so good when you're a new parent. Um, Pitbull made it to 12 rounds with Tank. Ryan got knocked out six rounds by Tank. Let's just leave it at that. Don't say Tank was injured because every boxer has some sort of injury. I agree, John. I agree. But what I mean injured is that I felt that Tank was more than just normally injured. I think he was actually handicapped. I felt like one of his hands was... Ah, that was good. Sorry. I actually think that he was actually not really capable of throwing one of his punch or one of his hands very well. But at the end of the day, that's not at the fault of Pitbull. You know, he almost won that fight. So <clears throat> fuck it. Running back. Uh I had Ryan. Did you? Man, props, man. I had Devin. I can't pick I can't pick a fight for shit right now. Ryan, uh, really, Ryan was never pressured like Cruz. So what was Duarte doing? Uh, that's fair. That's fair. Duarte did put some pressure on him. So, you know, and that's why I'm saying I think Ryan and Duarte, would, let's see, Ryan, uh, Devin versus Duarte. But yeah, Duarte did put pressure on Ryan. So I, I, I got to agree with Danny. Yeah, I don't think that fight goes down between Cruz and Yeah, see, uh, it's just putting this, my brain power to that fight at this hour doesn't really um make sense. Are those two different type of pressure, buddy? Learn your boxing. They're different pressure, but I just I do think that um, Ryan has dealt with some sort of pressure. Um, Oscar Dorte is a little bit bigger. I do think Pitbull is a lot more skilled, and I think that Pitbull's pressure is going to be a lot different and better, more effective. But Oscar Dorte is a bigger guy, so you, you got to kind of weigh out the two. And I think that it, it's it's fair. I mean, once again, I don't know who the Oscar Duarte ain't fought nobody really to really get me to be impressed. 
So until Oscar Duarte does that to someone at a higher um, skill set, then I can really then come back to this win and kind of give it more credence. But as of right now, it's just, it's unknown, right? It's very unknown. And um, Oscar Duarte has not shown anything outside the Ryan Garcia fight. So, you know, if he fights a little bit more and has more names, then I can come back and kind of can reflect on it a little bit more. But it's hard to do hindsight. Um, but but I, 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 I do edge Ryan a little bit, you know, just because of size, right? Like, what weight would they find it? Because Ryan wasn't in fight shape. Where Tia feel like Ryan versus Tia would make money and says, I like that fight. And it could happen because Golden Boy and Top Rank get along. Tia had some sort of tweet or something and then it was removed. So I wish I was able to get it for you guys, but I was a little too slow, man. I think he did it and removed it within like seconds. So maybe he had a change of heart or maybe he retweeted something, but I didn't see it. Devin Haney was super focused his entire training camp. His best best isn't good enough for Ryan's skill level. Oh, wait. His best best isn't good enough for Ryan's skill. Devin's career is over unless he beats Shakur or Boot. No other name would do justice. You know, it is a little wild to think that if Ryan was definitely not at his best and he was able to beat Devin, you know, um, Ryan low-key kind of styled on him, dude. Like, he was saying he was drinking and partying and all this shit. Like, this is probably most, one of the most wild storylines I've ever covered in boxing. Um, Ryan absolutely has been pressured. His defense allows his opponents to pressure him, but that hook is what separates him from many. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't know like how good Oscar Duarte overall is. I mean, he was obviously able to put on a better performance than a lot of other people Ryan fought. But that was Ryan's first fight with Derek James. So um, he had to adjust with a new trainer. Um, but Ryan definitely, when he gets pressured, he definitely has a high guard. And he kind of baits them in. You know, so... Um, and he definitely sets really good traps. So, um, Ryan Grace, um, Ryan didn't get KO'd by Tank's best punch, which is the second knockdown. Ryan got KO'd by a body shot from a previous injury. So how are you going to say that about Ryan's chin? Danny's ready to cook tonight, boy. Danny got hella good points, good narratives. I, you know what I mean? I mean, fair, fair, right? Um, they did say he did get injured to the body, so... Damn, man, Danny, one day, man, if I'm able to get uh, in front of Ryan Garcia, man, I'm going to shot you out because you you be you be in here cooking. Do you think people can beat the version of uh, this version of Devin? Um, I mean, I don't see why not. Right. I didn't. Well, look, I didn't think Ryan was going to beat Devin. So. Um, so he's definitely beatable. Um, I did see some technical flaws from Devin. Um, I didn't see Devin essentially lose to a pressure fighter tonight. I saw Devin lose to a guy who was able to catch Devin um, in between shots, um, which made Devin get maybe off his game and take advantage of Devin's aggression. Um, Devin was the aggressor in this fight. So would Devin be the aggressor against Pitbull? And would you favor Devin if he was fighting Pitbull at his game versus his, uh, at Devin's normal game. I feel like Ryan was able to get Devin off his game. I mean, Ryan's fast, bro. He's just fast as hell because Devin's reflexes are really good. So for Ryan to, to snatch him up in between, I mean, just freakishly fast. Bro, Ryan submits a half-ass body shot. He has that quit in him. I understand he won tonight, but let's be for real. I mean, I'm not... I don't want to, once again, I, I said this earlier, I don't take away credit, right? At the end of the day, you sign a contract, Tank won the fight fair and square. It's not really much to discuss. But, you know, Ryan claimed he was injured. He claimed it was like, you know, um, a spy. Um, Ryan did have to do the rehydration clause, which clearly, if he had to do that tonight, I think it would have affected him clearly. So, um... I wouldn't call it a half-ass body shot. I mean, I thought it was a good body shot. Tank punches hard too, man. You know, Tank's resume is aging super well. It is Pitbull versus Ryan production. I see Pitbull with the guard. He always do pressure in the body, of Ryan. Then coming to the top and knocking Ryan out cold. I can see Pitbull ending Ryan in three rounds. I can, I can see these things too. Um, 
Ryan's a tough kid, man. You know? Definitely, Devin definitely beats Cruz any day. He's strong but slow, and he'll be timed by Devin. He times for styles, right? Different styles. So, um, I think Ryan's style, it was just fast, man. And Ryan's defense was pretty on point. Nothing flashy, but he was able to get Devin to lunge. It's okay, bro. Your favorite fighter lost. I would actually completely more transparent. Like that proves twenty one eight uh, twenty one eight no savage. Um, I was a little. I was a lot more invested in a Crawford Spence fight, to be honest. Um, I think if Crawford lost to Spence, I think I would be a little because I think that fight I put a lot of brain power into the Spence fight. Um. Not saying that Crawford's my favorite fighter, but I think Crawford was one of the fighters that I was invested in the most. Um, Crawford, I think, was one of my first press conferences I've ever covered in boxing. So Crawford really is a person who I've really kind of, I want to say, based my boxing career on. But like when when Floyd retired and then Andre was retiring, you know, I was kind of entering the boxing room when Andre Ward was at the end of his career when it comes to like media and stuff, right? So I didn't really get to cover Andre as the way I wanted to. But, you know, Terrence was the guy who I thought was next up. So I think if Terrence lost to Spence, which I put a lot of, you know, breakdowns and all that stuff, I think that one would be a little more upsetting because I really put a lot of a lot of effort into breaking that fight down. So when that fight happened and Crawford won, I know there's going to be a lot of excuses and a lot of things, like, but I think that one made me feel vil um, vindicated. And if he lost, then I think I would have felt a little bit like, damn, um, cause I put a lot more energy into that fight, um, breaking it down and studying. I've covered so many Terrence Crawford's fights. Pfft, it's insane. Uh, Roley had Cruz's forehead looking crazy. If Ryan hit some, um, but just real quick, um, but because I have a relationship with Haynes, I I, I am a little, um, a little like ah because you know they they know my um, I see them they're here in Vegas so you know they they are they're cool people so at least with me so there is a little like ah, um, but I also Ryan's dad is cool as fuck like I like Ryan's dad a lot so um, so there's also a happiness for me in there too. You know, that's what happens when you cover boxing. You cover both sides long enough, you're happy and sad at the same time, you know? So, um, Roley had Cruz's forehead looking crazy. If Ryan hits him half as much Roley did, he would KO him. Um, Kansas City, 5 o'clock a.m. Damn, dude. Do you, do you guys not have work tomorrow? I'm going to be sleeping in. Um, but I can't because I got to come back and go live with you guys tomorrow or today. So, um... Tank still won decisively versus Cruz one hand. He did. And that's how I felt. I thought Tank won the fight. He edged it. And he thought he was one-armed. That goes to show Tank is levels behind everyone. People can make all the excuses they want. They signed the dotted line. Rehydration clause or not. Tank is that guy right now. Tank didn't hurt his hand punching Cruz. How is that valid? Um. Well, this is what I'm saying. So I was sitting with my guy, Frankie. Shout to Frankie at Vilify Media. He covers boxing with Fight Height. He's out in LA. One of my favorite guys to cover boxing. I haven't covered boxing with him um, since I think Jake Paul Anderson Silva press conference. So Frankie is one of my favorite guys to cover boxing with. But um, he pointed it out to me when we were at the Staples Center that he was like, yo, check it out. Tank ain't throwing his, I think it was left hand. I can't remember what hand. His right hand, right? I think he's like he hasn't, what whatever I can't remember. He hasn't thrown whatever hand was uh, potentially hurt for like X amount of time. And I was sitting there and I was like, "What are you talking about?" A round goes by, two rounds go by, three rounds go by. I'm like, "All right, dude, there's no way in hell that he's fighting this dude Pitbull with one hand." Go watch the fight. But that's just my opinion. I was there and that's what I thought, but. Maybe he's a scapegoat. I had Devin. This is Ryan's biggest win. I agree I had Devin. Uh, Ryan had done nothing before this. I agree, Cool Beans. What up, Cool Beans? Um, bro, Ryan ain't beating Pitbull. Bit my money on it. That's a good fight. 
I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if you know either one of these guys won. Duarte was not good versus Ryan. He was slow, didn't apply enough pressure, had no answers for Ryan. He just followed him around and stood in front of him to be punched on. He's a bigger guy. Ah, stop. Y'all stop comparing Duarte versus Cruz. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Cruz is the. Um, bro, it's like, stop with the Ryan Cruz right now. I'm not in the set mind, mind, um, the frame of mind right now. It is a 45 55 kind of fight. Ryan and, and um, Tank is all I got to say. Ryan should be at 154. You don't understand. People has that pressure where if you run, he's going to chase you all day. Kind of like Earl Spence. Pressure. He's going to break you down mentally and physically. No chance. My only thing is not... I think Pitbull's pressure is way better than Duarte. I think Pitbull's skill set is way better. My only concern is the size. Pitbull's small in comparison to Ryan. So I really look at that fight as more of a battle of like what weight class are they going to be at and how they're going to get the fight. You know what I mean? If Pitbull was the same size as Duarte... I might comfortably favor Pitbull by far, but because he's so much smaller, he's 5'4", um, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a huge problem. Um, do you even know Duarte is going to look at his resume? Because before Ryan, he had 24 wins, 20 KOs, and was coming off 13 KOs, 3. The only thing with Duarte, Danny, is that I just, I need Duarte to fight a little bit more elite. Maybe, I, you know, I haven't watched enough Duarte. But if he can fight a couple more elite guys, then I can come back and then I can kind of go, all right, you know what? This he's consistent with these type of guys, you know. Because um, a lot, I know a lot of people were like, "Who the hell is Gustavo Lemos when he fought Richardson Hitchens?" When we know him now, so Dorothy Pressure is different, not the same. But he was at his best, bro. Who is this guy? Here, let me help you out. There you go. Trick, I know who was talking about my statement stands. Yeah, I mean, I'd be great if we got that fight, man. I just don't think we'll get that fight. Brian's just too big. Punches hard. Uh, Pitbull tucks his chin. Ryan's jaw is always exposed and been cracked plenty of time. Uh, maybe, but even if he was drinking, doing drugs, dude is definitely a functioning substance taker. So it's not like he's really impaired by that. Who takes a fighter seriously who drinks before a fight? I had Devin. I had Devin too. But you know, he wouldn't, Ryan's not the first fighter to use substance and win fights, right? So, uh, Ryan's chin is bad. That's not a good point. We've seen him hit that canvas by multiple people. Ryan, oh yeah, I guess you're right. He did go down by tank. But can you say tank by tank dropping him that he has a bad chin? Duarte brings that pressure that you can deal with, but Pitbull brings pressure that pain that makes you throw all your game. I mean, Roly was was struggling a little bit. Look at made Ryan lose control. I agree, Romero. Hell no, bro. Ryan and Cruz ain't the same. Cruz is slow. Look at hooks off the entire fight with zero ten. You come on now. What are we doing here? I got Ryan right now. So Devin was hawking. If Devin lets Cruz pressure him and having to run Cruz will most likely stop him depending on how Devin takes his punches. Pitbull fight is tough fight for anyone. They're all tough fights. You know what I mean? I mean, the Ryan and Devin fight was tough. I mean, even though Ryan clearly won the fight, it was still a tough fight. If any fighter allows Cruz to take control and apply his pressure, maintain momentum, it'll be a hard fight for anyone regardless of your game plan. Facts. Coach Derek James definitely helped Ryan Garcia. Facts. Devin was a perfect match for Devin. Don't you see those hooks? Ryan throws a design of type of... I mean, now we found out. We found out today. These excuses taking me out. Devin can't take a hit. That's it. Maybe so. But I think Ryan can punch. So. Uh, bro, B Hop. Delahoy and Derek all helped Ryan out hustle Haney out of that title. Technically, Ryan still has that title. Because Ryan uh, missed weight. Um. 
All right, I'm gonna shoot a quick ten. So that'd be worse than any good. So. Let's see. You have a jab. Passing. Champion. Will be back. Uh, let's see. So I'm just shooting some quick text and I'll get right back. Um, let's see, left, right, text, text. Um, third degree. Well, he didn't get the belt, but yeah, he still won. Um, I'm calling it right now. Crawford losing the next fight against the Russian guy at 154. Don't tell me that, man. I, I got Terrence, but you know, them random Eastern European dudes out of nowhere always scare me, man. So I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a ride on that one. If if Terrence loses to um Madrimov, I'm I'm just gonna take L's this year then. This, this last year I got almost everything right. I think I got every fight I caught last year right. This year, if Crawford lost, then yeah. Ryan was too fast for Devin. He was. All right, let me wake up. <clears throat> Almost at the home stretch, y'all. Devin is my best friend, so he uh, he will win tonight. Oh, Dave is my best friend, so he will win. David? David Benavides? Yes, he fights very similar, like Triple G. Uh, I think it showed Lance that Ryan had to go. To be overweight and never plan on making way for the belt, he gets to brag, though. Ryan versus Shakur, who you got? I need to see another Shakur fight. I'm going to hold off on that. Um, left hand. I'd like to see them both make the same sacrifice and then see both go for it. That's what Devin said, right? Guys didn't um, see Devin's tweet. Um, Ryan's having a field day on social media right now. Timothy Bradley said you would stop commentating, being a man, bitch. This proves 21 ain't no savage. Um, yeah, so Devin made the statement. Um, uh, Allah is the perfect planner. He makes no mistakes, fought like a true champion, got up off the canvas and kept fighting. I am 100% okay and would love to do it again while both make weight. So, he agrees. Plus, I think it would be better if Ryan was able to walk out with the belt, right? Because um, Mauricio Suleiman, I hear the, um, the president of WBC, the belt that Devin Haney has, he spoke on it a little bit. Um, okay. Congratulations to Ryan Garcia to find all obstacles and winning a huge fight. Congratulations to Devin Haney for showing huge heart and class. Just as Corrales versus Castillo too, with the challenge of not making weight, Haney remains WBC champion. Why doesn't the belt become vacant? Stop changing the rules. How about you 
about you learning the rules. They are public and have always been. Castillo didn't make way versus Castillo 2. I think he meant to say Corrales. Um, Corrales remain as champion. Facts. Facts. Still a champion. That's what I'm saying. Like It would have been nice if Ryan was able to run off and hold the belt. Because the big thing is like Ryan ain't never been a king of champion. So. Ryan knocks out Pitbull. I agree third. Ryan can crack, y'all. He can crack. I fucks with third degree and chill sports tonight. That's cool, man. I'm glad you guys are vibing. You know what I mean? And that's really what it is. We can all just chat and disagree, but, you know, we're just here in a... Eventually, what I want to do is get, like, a little call-in show so we can call in and we can chat and kind of... Instead of you guys having to type, you can just kind of talk. We can chat. I can let you guys debate with each other, too, so... I wouldn't have Dare agree to the fight when he didn't make weight. It would have been over. Yeah, but Devin really believed he can beat Ryan. So when you have that overwhelming confidence, you're like, whatever, I'll still get you. But in hindsight now, right? Let's say if Devin beat Ryan, then 3.2 pounds wouldn't matter. But because he lost, now it matters. 32 fights, Devin's only lost now. He can't take a punch to people. Damn. Ryan versus Teal, when it gets tank. Pitbull fights like Fonseca, and Ryan knocks him on 30 seconds. Mm. <sighs> they won't fight. Cruz ain't fight no 154 pounder. Ryan all of a sudden can't make 140, but can make 135 for tank. He couldn't make that weight and rehydrate, and he knows it. But the plan was the plan. So you think it was Ryan's plan intentionally to come in heavy. Ryan got a chin though. Y'all help me get a YouTube famous so I can beat Jake Paul. Truth teller. Well, what's your YouTube channel? We got 790 people in here. I'm sure someone wants to see you beat Jake Paul. Ryan wasn't drinking, he proved it, y'all. Y'all slow. I mean, maybe he's still putting on an act, man. So, Ryan got up though. Ryan got up both times. Tank would have knocked out a lot of other people. Go watch the spar with Rolly. Ryan couldn't even handle Rolly's pressure and you think. I mean, that was a long time ago. Fighters changed. I already see Ryan has already changed as a fighter as we speak right now. Um, can you explain what Shakur tweet robbery is about? He's delusion. Wait, Shakur said the fight was a robbery? I don't think Shakur said that. What? Um, no, he never said it was a robbery. See, Ryan faked our dumbasses. He got me for sure. Here. I'll put Shakur's tweets up. Shakur didn't say it was a robbery. Got me for sure. Much respect to Ryan Garcia. I'm keeping my word and giving you respect. Now keep your word and let's make the fight happen, my guy. Beautiful performance. Yeah. No, he gave he gave Ryan his flowers. That's his fault though. Cruz is good, but he's not good. He's only good. He only got hooks. Devin can take it away with jab and his length. Ryan as well. Mm. Devin equilibrium wasn't there. Everything he got. Ryan got his hand, his feet underneath. All right. So. I'm gonna read a couple more chats. I might have to say goodbye soon because we have to wake, I have to wake up and we have to do this all over again. But this time we're gonna have a couple co-hosts, the owner of Fight Hype, Kevin Garcia, I think, who was actually at, who was at the fight. He covered and did a lot of interviews. So I'm gonna kind of speed run through. So um, I'm just gonna not really commentate, but I'm just gonna throw up the, just because it's 237 over here and it's 537. So I have to make sure that I got to make a quick phone call too. Um, so with that quick phone call, um, that's going to probably be a little bit too. So um, let me throw up your guys' chats.
Oh, okay. Shakur was talking about McCombs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I thought Barboza lost the fight. Cool. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do my final sign off. I'm going to make a quick phone call. I know I don't really want to cut the chat because there's 753 of you guys in here. and We can do this all day. Um, before you end the live, a top 10 pound for pound list. Um, I don't have a solid 10 because I do feel like there's so many good fighters. Um, I can give you fighters that I do like. I mean, I think Terrence is number one, Inouye is number two, but it could be changed either way. I'm not trying to be a hipster and all, but I do really like Inouye. Um, Usyk, Canelo, Better Beef. You know, you can put Bibble, you can put Bam Rodriguez, you can put Tank in there. Um, it's a lot of good fighters, man. And I really, I don't really like doing pound for pounds. I can kind of, do my who I think might be the best fighter, one or two or three. But when you start getting down to nine and ten and all that stuff, it's just too many. So um, I'll probably I'll do a pound for pound for you, John. All right, and it will probably change a lot because I'm fickle. I'm like any other boxing fan. So, um, but right now I got Terrence Crawford as my number one. Anyway, I mean I like a lot of fighters, even though they don't have the resumes. Like Jerron Ennis is great, but I don't think he's has the wins to be valid as a pound for pound, but I, I can see him being a pound for pound. So, um, you know, you gotta look at Ryan Garcia a little bit. You know, you gotta look at Tank heavily. Tank definitely belongs. You know, all this all these wins around Tank just can't not age him up. Like, just for, um, so I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out, man. Um, but just uh, come, everyone in here, if you guys enjoyed, we're gonna do... Um, uh, a podcast with a couple of us, Kevin Garcia, who was at the fight, the owner of Fight Hype, Ben Thompson. Um, I'll be on it, and um, we'll get you guys involved with we'll chat. Kevin can tell us all the crazy stories that I wasn't privy to. I didn't cover the fight physically, so he can tell us stuff. Ben, who boxing guru, um, he knows almost everything that goes on in boxing, and then. Me, who you guys are already familiar with. You know what I mean? I cover out here in Vegas at the moment. so. Um, but I definitely would try to get some interviews. So there's going to be a lot of interviews if there aren't already on Fight Hype right now. So um, take peep, take notice, and uh, we'll get some more. Uh, say less. I, and real quick, I just want to tell everyone, I really appreciate you guys being extremely respectful. I've seen a lot of chats and other YouTube channels where they got really personal got really discriminatory by race and gender and ethnicity. And this was a really chill chat and we've had a crazy successful chat because when this live ends, it's gonna say about one point, almost 1.5 million views. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, you guys are incredible for sticking around for this long. And, I, and everyone in the chat, please like build a community around each other. I don't know, maybe I'll make like a I'm hesitant on discourse because I hear discord nightmares, but we'll try to create some sort of community so that you guys can, you know, kind of stay in cahoots. Um, maybe I'll make like a social media page, but, um, you know, really at the end of the day, you guys have been an extremely awesome chat. I've seen some nasty chats out there and uh, it's not me dissing anybody's chats, but you guys have really, really kept to the code of just being respectful, debating, having your own opinion. If you had Devin and you were wrong, you ate crow. If you had Ryan, you know, you got to celebrate. So, um, yeah, we love you, dude. We love the sport of boxing most. I appreciate you guys, man. And I appreciate you guys just being respectful. You know what I mean? What time's the stream? I don't know, Fade. I, I have, that's why I have, to, I have to call the big man. Um, kind of discuss some of that stuff out. Just keep, just keep an eye out. We'll have, like, kind of, it like, 
pre-posted you can have it notified so um, first time up in here yeah I hope you like it I hope you guys like the layout too this is like a work in progress 25 to 30 bro do your research oh uh, yeah you guys are debating a little bit now um, can't play boxing sport but eventually expose who you really are bars bud but cheddar but um yeah just keep an eye out we'll have it probably like listed up previewed right um, advertised so but if you if you guys have the bell icon on fight hype you'll get the notification just keep an eye on it and then you will be able to just jump jump back in here you know maybe I'll try to get a call in thing situated in a couple of days so you guys can call in we can chat this week you know I want to talk to you guys more than just chat I want to hear you guys talk have you guys debate so make a telegram or something Okay, we'll figure something out. We'll figure out what works best for the chat, right? So you guys think about it, come into the chat tomorrow. Um, we'll get something going. You know, I want you guys to actually not just be chat buddies, but maybe you guys could be boxing buddies because really we know boxing is a niche sport. You know, when you go to work, yeah, you're gonna have a lot of guys that, oh yeah, I watched the Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney fight. This was a big fight. So you'll have those, but they're casuals. They might, you'll spend more time explaining versus having a conversation like you guys are here. And, um, you know, it's cool because, um, you know, when I grew up, I didn't really have a lot of people to talk boxing with. So now we have the social media age, we have these YouTube channels. And what's really cool is that um, because of it, we actually have access to these fighters. So one day I want for you guys too is to have an opportunity to talk to these fighters. So, um, I'm gonna start hitting up some fighters. We'll do these lives with the fighters. I'll have you guys be able to talk to them. You know, and obviously as you as, as you guys have been really cordial and respectful, you know, um, you know, I'll give you guys an opportunity to talk to these fighters and talk to them, ask you guys this question. You guys could be, you know, ask the real tough questions and um, things like that. So um, we'll get it all situated. And, um, and maybe it's just best for me to cut off the live so you guys can get some sleep too. You know what I mean? I want you guys to be fiends, but um, this is my social media right here, right? Uh, I don't use it. I'll probably start using it. Maybe I'll start tweeting. I'll start posting on Instagram. But for right now, if you want to follow me, you want to say what up, you want to stay in touch, you know, you can message me. Um, what's it? I'll follow, but I can't pull y'all up your channel. Can't pull a fight hype. <laughs> I fell asleep you're still streaming. No. What up, Heather? You asked for commentating. I remember you were earlier in the chat. Yeah. Oh, it was a long stream. It was a crazy one. It was one for the ages, man. What's the next fight that we got covering up, right? Um, what up, dude? Boxing schedule, right? What's the next big fight that we're going to have a big fight party for? Uh, Canelo versus Munguia, I'll actually be at that fight. I'll be actually um, covering that fight. So that one's going to be tough because I like, I like doing these. I want to do these, but I'll be present at that fight because i got to cover it. So um, what I can probably do is I'll probably go live for the post-conference, right? So I'll maybe go live post-conference. Um, if it's a shorter stream, and the stream won't be like immediate, like how people watch it. But probably when the post-conference comes, I'll post up. I'll set the camera up. I'll have Canelo, I'll have all those guys. And then I'll come back in the chat, talk with you guys. And then um, I don't, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I'll be at that fight, so we'll figure it out. It's hard for me when I'm at the fight that I can't, because I didn't cover this one. Um, so Canelo Munguia is the next big fight. So you guys will hear a lot of interviews from my listeners. Um, but I know who I am. Maybe the next fight that I won't be at but have a live is anyway, Luis Neri, but um, you know, that'd be late. It's still Lomachenko, Josh Campos. So the next really fight, big fight, Tyson Fury, Usyk, will probably next. I'll be here, so I'm not going to be in the UK. So, and I plan on going to Crawford's fight, and then I'll be at Devontae versus Frank Martin. So uh, just followed you. Awesome. Yeah, just shoot me a message and say, like, hey, X, Y, and Z, um, um, you know, I was in the, in the live chat and whatnot, so. Um, I don't tweet, I don't post, but I'll probably start doing it now. I have to have social presence now if I want to do this right, so. I can't hide and be like, so, all right. But, um, look, I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, we'll chat a little bit more. Um, Eric, appreciate you always. Uh, bro, your channel's the best. Thanks for staying up late with us, fans. We'll, we'll do a lot of these late, you know what I mean? We'll do morning nights. I want this to be a normal thing, so. Um, this won't be the only one. But when it comes to fights, I'll be at some of these fights, so. But, all right, man, you don't have Instagram, Heather? Yeah, it's all good. Just Twitter. You know, if not, don't worry. It's not like I'm hiding from the world. I'll be on here. So this this will be the best place to really talk to me. Because I don't, I don't tweet on Instagram. So this will be the best spot in here. So all right, I really appreciate you guys. Right, You guys have been an awesome chat. I'm going to let you guys get some rest and sleep. And um, you guys say goodbye.
But yeah, stay tuned. Stay like, we'll be live today. So, all right, appreciate you guys. Peace.